Welcome to the Dragon Ball Fighters World Tour Finals 2023-2024. We are here in sunny Los Angeles, California at the LA Convention Center. And we are here on the show floor of the Dragon Ball Games Battle Hour 2024. Surrounded by Dragon Ball fans and aficionados who are all here to see the best Dragon Ball Fighters players in the world battle it out to become champion. We've got players who have won power events, players who have topped the global leaderboards after a competitive season and seizing that last place only yesterday on this very stage in Zem, who won the last chance qualifiers. It's about time to get the show rolling, so I'm gonna hand it over to my pair on commentary, Rinch and Jake Ryan, over to you fellas introduction from one of the best in the business. Thank you, Logan, for the wonderful work. We are here at the Dragon Ball Battle Hour here in 2024. It is Los Angeles. It is the place you to be. Know. And the West Coast you know didn't come out on top for the finals yesterday. Inzem took it over us for the East Coast. But we have some of the best groups in the business. Like we said, from all over the world, we have competitors. Not only have they played to earn that prize, they're playing to earn the grand prize today. There was a beautiful trophy you saw in the trailer. But I've got the best co-commentator I could ask for on my side. Ring right here. My How man, are you bro. feeling, man? My Group man. A starting early, but we're starting strong. Absolutely, baby. Beautiful morning for some Dragon Ball fighters. And we are talking dedicated players here, right? These guys have gone through the rigmarole, the tournaments after tournaments, right, to make sure they get to this spot, the finals, to crown themselves the Dragon Ball Fighters World Tour Champions. And we're going to kick it off with Group A. is going to be a, a clean group. I oh, can't yeah. wait to see what happens, Ooh, bro. Man, in all of these groups, there is not an easy group in the entire bunch no. when you look across the board. And if you haven't been paying attention to the socials, it is going to be four groups of three. Mm -hmm. And it is going to be two, you know, winners, losers, or you're out. There is no differential there. And as you can see, we got the graphic that's going to be coming up here. The standings will be updated as we play through the matches. But Group A is going to be none other than Yasha, Kosliga, and Lucar. Very different teams across the board here. A lot of different, um, you know, utilization of, you know, tried and true classic teams ad adapting to the new meta. Not, we're not going to see many perfect attacks in this pool, yeah. more than likely. Most but again, stuff. Yasha has some stuff head in the pocket. But if you're looking at this from, like, an outside perspective, looking at these players, what is your first and second here? So uh, I think Yasha is going to be the clear favorite for everybody, but oh, yeah. I, I'm thinking like it, it's kind of interesting with Yasha's journey, right? He obviously got second at Evo 2023, first yep. versus fighting, first UFA, top eight at Bum's birthday bash. But last year at the World Finals, he didn't make top eight. No, he, he didn't. He fell a little short. Mm -hmm. So I want to see we're back on this big stage, right, crowning the world champ for the finale of the World Tour. I want to see if we get the result that we expected him to get last year. Exactly. It's like when all those events seem like they're culminating to this massive win, top four placement exactly where you'd expect them to be and it just comes short it's like what have you adjusted in that year what have you adjusted in this tour to get to that point and then you look at another player who had strong placements across the world in the likes of Lucar mm -hmm. who was just short of qualifying finally gets the opportunity clinches it out at the last event and says you know what I don't think anybody can pass me in points it's my time to shine and finally he is here with one of the most unique teams not a lot of people are still playing Videl yep. and he's going to be putting it back onto the roster but then you look at Kasuga who has been cooking for the longest time. Anytime you talk about the French players, it's always Wawa Yasha Wade, Wawa Yasha Wade, Wawa mm -hmm. Yasha Wade Kane. Everybody forgets about Kasuga, and Kasuga has always performed, yeah. always. Uh, absolutely. Incredible stuff from Kasuga throughout Dragon Ball Fire's lifespan. By way of Brazil, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. right, as well, of course. Plays with the French crew. I think he stays in France now. But second at UFA, top eight versus fighting. He got top eight at the Dragon Ball Fighters finals last year. Exactly. Right? I think a lot of people were sleeping on him last year. Definitely has awoken. Now I want to see what he does. And on the other side, you said Lucar. He's been incredibly consistent, honestly. First at first attack. Third at Thunderstruck. Third at CEO Taku. Fourth at CEO. Third at Combo Breaker. Like, this dude has gotten top four pretty much every NA tournament he's been to this year his medals have medals for his medals yeah at these events and that's the thing he's also such a um the crowd loves him he's always engaging absolutely love to watch him play and he really shows how much he cares about the game with how he uh, presents himself in game and yeah 
We're getting in here pretty quick. As you can see, the first match is going to be Lucar versus Kasuga. And starting off strong in these pools is so important because you do not have the most amount of games to play. It is no. going to be two out of three. And Ooh. if you make a mistake, you are you are done, right? Because it can come down to game differential. You, if you yeah. go 0-2 here, you're, you're done for. I don't think two people could go 0-2 at this point. So looking here, we're going into a button check, getting yeah. everything set up. And yeah, it's USA versus France, as you can see. And... I think if you're in the chat, the favorite has to be Kasuga here, but Lucar definitely has his own fair share of fans as well. That's the thing, right? Definitely Kasuga going into it as the favorite on paper, but like we just said, we just read off Lucar's resume from this year. Incredibly yeah. consistent. Like, this is the type of dude that's going to upset a lot of people's brackets, their fantasy brackets, I should say, for this World Tour Finals. I'm not counting them out of coming out number one in the entire group, to be honest with Absolutely. you. Absolutely. That's been one of my things, too. And I, I uh, like, as somebody who's constantly communicating with the players and in the scene, I've been having a lot of discussions, especially with the players who are new to like this is their first world tour this is the first time they're competing and really like tapping into what it means for them to be a competitor right mm -hmm. because when you're playing fighting games the true players that are able to elevate themselves are the ones that elevate their characters and when i asked lucar that that's hopefully what we're going to be see reflecting in his team because mm -hmm. he took a long hard look he had a couple of team adjustments not everything was completely clicking but hopefully we get to see the team that he innovated, the team that he's yeah. developed. And the same thing for Kasuga, because both of these players have very particular styles, and we're going to get to see that shine as we get into our first match of the Dragon Ball Finals World Tour here. Kasuga versus Lucar. A lot on the line. And you know what? We already got 18's Angels on the side for Kasuga. What is it going to be for Lucar? And I just love the way you put that, right? Where it's like, I want to see him really bring characters to the forefront, right? That's the team. And this is what we're going to see right now. Vidal 16, you UI. That's the team. Definitely not fashionable, oh. but it will get the job done, especially when you're not anticipating, when you're not practicing the matchups. I want to see what he brings. He's trying to figure out this last anchor character. He might be looking over at us. Yeah, it's got to be the 16, right? 16B, kind of his signature style. Yep. So the first team that he did highlight is the team that everybody got to know Lucar on as we were playing heavily in the online era. Lucar was just, everybody was like, how are you losing this guy? And then they play him and they're like, I get it. Oh yeah, I well, get it. Makes but, sense. You know, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. We have Lucar versus Kasuga, and it is gonna be Vidal versus Kefla on the point war. Very interesting here. And Kefla, it's gonna be if Lucar can use every single gimmick in his book, every single trick, every single setup. Is Kasuga ready? He plays with plug all the time, but we're not playing around. The first match of the finals starting now, it is Lucar versus Kasuga. Let's get it! Let's get it in deep, baby. This is going to set the tone, right? It's going to show Yasha a preview of the players he's got to deal with later. Maybe a chance to strike some intimidation, some fear Let the in future run. opponents. Cool, dude. I, when this character came out, I was absolutely loving her. I mean, Tachikawa made us all remember, but I'm still loving her today. This is going to be great. Let's get it. Let's get it pop, man. Like you said, can Lucar break out the shenanigans, the different things? We got to see if he's going to be able to weather the storm of Kasuga early. He locks him down and immediately scoops her up. That was a tick throw and a half, and that's one of the things that's the 50-50 you never saw Ooh. coming. And the chase down. That was godlike. Use the super jump to get the auto turnaround, too. So uh, dang good. Oh, you were standing up. Head scissors off the bat. Lucar hasn't taken a scratch on him and then beats it to the punch again. No way. DHC, you gone just like that. No. Just a pixel. Living on a, a pixel. Kasuga not trying to tag her out just yet either. And he can't now. He just pulled assist, which means he's on lockdown for a couple more seconds. Can he weather the storm here? The AT is help. available. Oh, he knew the AT was available. Somehow, though, Kasuga coming out of the scramble. Man, this is a scramble and a half so far. Both of these players are incredibly scrappy, right? Kasuga wants to scrap with the barriers. Lucar wants to scrap with the grabs. And man, trying to get a grasp on the neutral here. Trying to get a grasp on the pace. Kasuga finally slowed Lucar down. This 2H is going to be massive, and it's going to be a dead 16. The point war may have looked great for Lucar, but it's all blown apart quickly. Yeah, Lucar definitely was trying to just force a chaotic pace, right? Yep. High tempo, chaos, scrambles. Kasuga finally blocks the Super Dash, 2 ages into the heavens, and now it's Kasuga's game. Oh, yeah. Lockdown. Oh, and that 6 8 the block stun from the orb was a little bit too much. That assist is dang good. Horizontal assist, the beams be damned. Let's see if the sparking comes out. Lab code on lab code action. It's the sister sister on the screen. Oh, the, the Doja Cat Rico Nasty? That's right. Okay. Okay. Oh, no 50 50. Blocks the 6 H. Again, has to hold down the sparking pressure. Sparks right back. Does not want to risk losing any health on this character, but you're still under duress. Give me out. Oh, the slicey. Nah. Every man. which way, brother. The savory slicer. 
Rough stuff here again, a full extension, but no, it doesn't go for the soft extension here. Hardy's oh. been knocked down and just got picked up, likely jumping. No counter hit, but it's all Videl. She's got to jump ahead of the game. Has to defeat two androids and a fusion. Uh, I don't know. That was straight grill to grill. I'm just going to stay and low you. Oh, and the slicey again. Stop thinking you can approach. Got to let it rip right there, and Kasuga is not playing with any reservations. Completely confident in the approach, because not only can you Barrier. escape the main blade, oh, oh no my punish, god. But it was okay, it's okay. Live to fight another day, but you might not be living for long. Kasuga gets another hit. Plenty of bar to finish this one off. It's looking like a 1-0 to start this. And the thing is, I loved how we are starting playing yeah. this match. Completely confident, the reads are on point. But it was that last pixel that didn't come off of Kefla, because she survived. The full team was intact, mm -hmm. the synergy was there, and Costco had no fear moving forward. I need to see Lucar maybe take a second, go to chair to select. You know, really adjust here because losing this first match, especially if it's an 0-2, is, is a death sentence yeah. in these groups. Absolutely. Like, you you have to play cleaner than clean in the next set. You can't make mistakes. And, Yasha's no slouch. Yeah, yeah, 100%. And it's classic fighting games, right? Where yeah. it's just one of those things where you let somebody live on a pixel, it always comes back it's to bite you. And even, especially in a team game, it's even worse because if they're able to get that character out, then they can call their assist, they can regen their health a little bit. So yeah, it's always a heartbreaker for the player. It does look like Lucar has switched up teams, going with what I expected him to start with, which I believe was the, the Gogeta 4, the 16, and who else was it? Yeah, right there. Oh, the, 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 oh no, he went back. It. Okay. He's we saw in the preview he started switching, but he is going. And you I know like what? It. <sighs> Again, that comes down to it. Like, Lucar has been doing a lot of searching on what, like, drives him as a competitor. And he, if he would only pick this team because he's confident in it. And I really want to see it shine because there was that moment right at the beginning. But as soon as you lose that, that edge, as soon as you lose that, that touch, mm -hmm. it's so hard to get it, especially at the world class level. Kasuga, round star, super dad. Yeah, remember last round, I mean, it felt like Kasuga didn't even get to play for the first 60 seconds of the game. Yep. Oh, it just sees no. it and goes straight through with the super dash. And Lucar, he's been a sparky for this as well. Oh, meaty for days with the dodge! That was clean! That is some matchup mastery right there. That was beautiful because every other character you reflect there, you're still stuck. He's like, nah, I'm playing spot dodge. But again, the curse super dash, the U turn. It's Straight my up. turn. The Google Maps. Meaty this time. Oh, and then fades it out. Just had the Android 18 there in case you wanted to get frisky in another way. Kasuga right now, he is controlling this. Yeah, and that is going to be a dead 21 on the side of Lucar once again. It's just Videl in 16 versus the onslaught that is Kasuga. No spark, not a lot of bar, but there's still hope. And Kasuga, he bouncing in his chair right now. He moving back and forth. He is feeling it, bro. And that's how you have to be. You have to be in the right mindset. You have to be in the right mental to make this happen. Lockdown once again. Oh. Fidel trying to escape. Beautiful assist call from Kasuga right there. Yep. Perfect timing on the, the lab coat. And that's the thing. The way he Ooh. layers his defense, the way he layers his assist, it feels like it's your turn. Baby. And he always has the barrier prepared. Yeah, an 18 can call the 17 barrier now as well, right? She gets even a little bit more movement off that. This time, barrier no. plus the Kefla. You ain't doing nothing right now. Three perfect health bars on the side of Kasuga. The celery is looking good right now, all right? Oh no, gets hit by the green once again. Incredibly terrifying, but again, the command grab. That goes half screen, actually more than full screen, 24 frames, just about. I might be off by a frame or two, but it is a jump scare. Straight up. The original raid boss, can 16 do it all from long distance. How you got command grabs from the logo, dog? How you got Steph Curry range on your command grabs? Uh, yeah, the three-point line actually changing the whole dynamic of the game. This is Lucar's marquee character, though. This is the one that has been with him since day one. So hopefully, continue to find these command grabs because that is the counter of the barrier. 16 versus the world. Oh, Lucar, he's got half a bar. He wants to feel freaky with the tackle. No, he tried to do it. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Yeah, he has Spark on deck. He can actually try to close it out. Is he going to opt to do it? Maybe. Is it enough? Oh, it's going to be so close. I think it is going to be lights out, though. He did have Spark, so if there's a pixel in a dream, let's see. Can Lucar make it happen? And it's not enough. Oh, 16, bro. The raid boss. Super dash is out of the tick. Goes out. No, that dragon no rushes. No way. What? Oh my god, if, if, if Kasuga left this on the table because he was greedy with the Spark, there's no shot. Spark's out this time. You cannot make it. Oh, again, going straight through the projectile! No way. Oh my goodness, he doesn't have the level 3, he just has a soft knockdown. He has oh, to be oh my god! 
Every read is on point. Lugar is playing with his heart. I can't believe it. He goes for another reset. Oh, I thought he was going to 2-H him. Look out the reflect. You still got to deal with this. Oh, take it to the skies. How is he alive, Jake Ryan? I am out of my seat. I cannot believe this. I can't stand right now. Lugar has a magic pistol. Kasuga did not spark in that moment. He oh, the clash. Finish, 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 finish. This, this is, is so the scary. most magic in a pixel I've ever seen. Holds it down. Not down yet. Oh, oh the six eights, but Lucar fought with his heart. He fought with everything. Everybody, hands up for Lucar. That was incredible. Kostiga closing it out, clutching it out. Almost a critical error by Bro. not sparking. But that is the magic. That's what makes Lucar Lucar. Yeah. That was wonderful. Bro, I had PTSD for a second. I, I was thinking back to week one versus Reynolds, that 16 comeback. <laughs> the raid boss. I was like, no, dog. You were like, he put I his, remember these times. He put his quarter in? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. no. But that was, that was beautiful. Oh, man. I was legit. Like, I remember these times, bro. I used to, I used to Where pray I for tackled. days like these. <laughs> yeah, I used to pray these days, but stop. I used, to pray, I used to pray on days like these. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Where you see 16 and you're like, please stop. Oh, no, like, but no. man, Not the like action this. doesn't stop. Dude, that was incredible. The, the amount of right reads he had to make with that amount of health in a row, I mean, that was such an impressive display. I know he ended up falling short at the end, but it felt like almost 12 right reads in a row. You know what I mean? Like, it yeah. was just ridiculous. And, like, stuff that was so scrambly, too. Like the tech out of the corner into the dragon rush as he went in the just wild, wild stuff. Great stuff from yeah. both players in the in round one of our group A. And I think that's what I want to see for Lucar when we go into the next match. Obviously, he's going to have to be playing Yasha. If he can tap into that right off the start, like that's where he plays his best. Every reset, he knew that he was prepared for the situations because he was deliberately creating them, deliberately looking for the tech options, and then presenting weighted rock, paper, scissors, right? Mm -hmm. Luckily, Kasuga had already established such a lead at that point where Lucar only had to make one more mistake. And exactly. like, at that point, at this level, it, it, that yeah. mistake is so hard to avoid. Yeah, right? like, like, uh, for them, if your opponent at the World Finals to not take a pixel of health on you in like, you know, a hundred or more seconds, it's just not gonna happen. These players are too good. So, like we said, Lucar put on a hell of a show, but Kasuga just had too much of a lead. He had too many chances to get that last pixel and the double axe handle found its home. Yeah, now next on the leaderboard is gonna be Yasha versus Kasuga. And again, if Kasuga gets the win here, he is guaranteed out of the group winner side. You have to remember that. So oh, that's Kasuga, a good point, yeah. the pressure is not off at all, right? Because yeah. now the, his fate is in his hands, right? Mm -hmm. It comes down to, all right, I win here, I'm out in winners, I control my fate. But if it ends up being Yasha that closes it out here, if Lucar gets 2 0 Ryasha, then it's all hell breaks loose. Whenever you're in a type of competition that you're going to have to advance to another round, you always want to just control your fate, right? Yeah. You're like, I'm just trying to win out, I'm not trying to put what my result is in anybody else's hands. And that's what Kasuga has an opportunity to do right oh, now, yeah. as you mentioned. If he takes down Yasha, he's out in the winners. He completely controlled his own fate. Of course, Yasha going into this is the favorite. And we're going to see, obviously, Yasha wants that winner's side spot as well. As we mentioned last year, fell short of the top eight. We were expecting him to be in at least top three of the finals last year. Yeah. So he's definitely going to be here to prove something, even with a, an immaculate uh, record and accolades results coming into this with second at Evo, first versus fighting, first UFA, etc. Exactly. And yeah, I mean, right here we're doing uh, what I would call the legendary button check. Everybody knows. Hand warmers. Bro. Everybody knows what that is. The hand warmings. Hand warmings. Nah, I, I think we actually timed one of Pred's button checks and it was like 48 seconds. <laughs> And we're like, dang, that's a legendary button check. But Yasha also wants to make sure that everything is looking good. This is the moment where you need to check your T's, dot your I's, and make sure that your uh, Saiyan powerhouse is uh, attuned correctly to the setup. And I'm very interested in what Yasha's going to play. Obviously, he has the tried and true team, right, which the Vegito, the Gogeta Blue, Android 17. That's and it looks saying. like that's what he is going with. We have seen him in casuals, and I saw some online matches where he was playing Team Gohan, Cell Nappa, right? Definitely some characters that got shown love in the latest patch. Oh, but yeah. he's going with the tried and true right now. Like we said, he fell short of the result he wanted last year. He's not trying to let that happen again. Exactly. I mean, this was originally called Team Yasha for a reason. Yeah. He revolutionized the game. Obviously, after Hikari won Evo, he said, nah, this is Team Hikari. But again, maybe it'll be decided once again here. I want to see the mirror match. It's always fun to watch. Um, but yeah, Hikari has had the edge there. And it cost the playing the team, and it's got better and better and better in the patch. I mean, the reason I love watching Kasuga is because he's got Kasuga's Angels. Yes, sir. That's the team right That's there. That's such a sick team, He's got game, the three-piece. And I mean, on the other side, you have to deal with the MVP of the universe and the Yasha's two favorite blue boys. 
And right now, second match of the day, it is Yasha versus Kasuga. If Kasuga wins, he is in winner's side. And if Yasha is able to take the dub, then this pool is all over the place. Mm -hmm. We're fusing up. Fingers up, gamers. Oh. That's so cool. <laughs> Blew it up, bro. Blew it up. Mm. I want his vest. Nipsey would be proud. If they sold that as merch, it's an instant buy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. I'd be like, yeah. Yo, Kefla, bro. I love her intro. Kefla. She's so cool. She I love this character. And they make, she's she's super strong now. Like, yeah, she yeah. is absolutely bonkers. Very strong character. All right. Group Bay continues here. Starting off strong. Yasha, one of the best neutral players in the world, really revolutionized the game. Oh, that hurt they immediately to start. No way. Do you keep them together? Nah, oh. the drop out. You got lucky 21. Can you do something for me? Come back to the screen. No, nope, keeps her in. Yeah, just wants to get rid of this Kevlar. We talked about how threatening of a character she is, and it really feels like Kasuga gets so much mileage off her on point with the two assists back in. Oh. Kids are straight up the 5 0 in the face. Kasuga looking for some type of escape route. Couldn't find one. Missed the re jump here. That's actually going to lead to Kevlar being alive. Huge Ooh, and the fadeaway jump medium converting off of it. All right. She's got swords for legs, man. Indeed. The new sword normal. She's just a different type of green. The blades all meaty all day. Yep. Super dash mix up. Tried to face something out. Didn't give it to him. Oh, Ooh, the black sandal. That's how he closed the setup against Lucar. And you know, that's the hardest thing, too. You see the barrier, and it's like she's already got so much green in her kit. Mm -hmm. You can't see where she's going. So hard to decipher what exactly is happening on the screen. But we are easily deciphering here right now. Kasuga sending Vegito to the afterlife. Yeah, absolutely cooked. Android 18 doing her job right there. Doesn't even need the best Oki in the game. Got to deal with just Gogeta Blue and 17 here now. I mean, still one of the better shells in the game. Not as strong as he used to be. Has the mere me me debuffs. But again, you can't press. That might just be it. No way. Happy birthday. Unbelievable. This is going to be a dead 17. And it's just Blue Gogeta versus a full Kasuga. No way. He's playing out of his mind. Oh, bro. Kasuga, like you said, got kept out once again, right? Sees that she's not healthy. Just takes it to the back and... Whatever form his team is taking right now, it is controlling the opponent. Yeah, this is going to be the most anime comeback if Yashka is able to make this happen, though. That's the thing that's scary. Oh, it wait a minute. With the empty banish, the legs of the legendary Saiyan. Let's that's see how right. it goes. Level three. Three. I was going to say, he's got seven bars. He's going to hold all of them right now. Yeah, he wants to save it just in case. They get Tiki, and that is another character. Ooh. Money well saved. A it's great investment. Indeed. So, I mean, lab comes going down. You can see Kefla. I mean, she is definitely... Gonna be going down with a combo. Doesn't even have to be a super finish, most likely. So this is gonna be a great spot for Yasha to be in. God. Yeah, it doesn't even have to break the spirit with the level two. Do so much as look at Kefla and she dies. Yeah. Hey, remember he's got the bedroom balls. Oh, exactly. I'm glad. I'm glad Ooh. you enjoyed my monitor for that one, and that is a great DP. Unbelievable. We really happy that see. one caught on. No, nah, that, that's like, I love that one so much. You, you're a beast for that one, for sure. <laughs> oh, the, oh, the 17, though. That has proved destruction for Yasha time and time again. Unbelievable. Level 3 is there. Kasuga, one match away from getting into winner's side out of the group stages. Yeah, that was better safe than sorry. And again, that was one of the buffs that 18 received. She can call the 18 barrier on the air Well, like you can that. see the Play Brazil out. flag in the back, oh, too. Yeah. Holla at Jabuala, bro. He Let's go. Shenron behind. Brazilian Shenron? Yeah. Oh my oh. god. Absolutely nuts. I've never known. Alright, going back into a game two has already begun. Kasuga laying on the heat. Still at the barrier assist behind. You have to be so careful for the call. The defensive calls have been so strong from Kasuga. But I've got a barrier too. Big yeah. brother, what to do? Exactly, bro. It's barrier gaming out here. You gotta respect it. Cell says you think a barrier would work? That's why they made him top tier. They saw what was happening. They corrected the time. Okay. Already knocked down Yasha. Just waits for a second. Applying the stagger pressure to Kasuga, finally calling the assist. Great defense, though, very disciplined, even had the 18 there. And then the dragon rush off of the scramble. Yeah, and I absolutely love that. Utilizing the, uh, the command dash right there to sneak behind. Yeah. You get dragged down because of the up ball. What's up ball? What's, what's it do? And a dragon over at the absolute. 
I did not know that he was a Royal Rumble fan. Uh, apparently, bro. King's crowd coming from the top rope. That's right, baby. Oh, got the brother up and a DP oh, right now. Yasha not afraid to challenge, knows that there's no assist left. And even though 17 behind, the DP will not trigger. Great point, right? That's the time to really get frisky if you're on the defense. The opponent doesn't have assists available. Now you got the time. Yashi has his 17 assists available. What's he gonna call it there for the mix-up? Yeah. Oh! And that should be, actually it's gonna be close because he does have the meter, but no meter, no problem. Gonna build the super close here. Three bars is more than enough. Yeah. 18 is no more. Two girls left. Can the Android and the Fusion get it done? And that's huge for Yasha, right? Because in game one, we saw multiple big hits come from the barrier assist calls. Yep. So, or that I should say the barrier 17 calls. Yeah, it is definitely a key part of the team gone because now a lot of the risk you take you do not have that barrier insurance behind you. Yeah, again, now Kasuga kind of gets him playing some full screen game. Trying to approach safely, but man, the Gogeta jump buttons. Those legs are incredible. And again, Yasha converting off of every single thing. That was the thing that impressed players the most. Felt like any hit he got, he would squeeze every ounce of damage out. You could not stop him. But the nurse on the AS hits don't give you a free confirm on that anymore. So even though he escapes the pressure, no full combo. Let's see, Kasuga. is about to be back up, and he gets the beam raw. That's going to be a dead Ugo Gita if he optimizes here. And that is what we are going to see here. More what than likely, level one into level three. Absolutely vanish, command grab, everything, the whole kitchen sink, and you are dead. Great commitment from Kasuga right there. Committing to the beam at the end, catching Yasha, trying to start moving, trying to start to get his game going. And now, I mean, this is anybody's match here in game two, and Kasuga only needs that one more dub. And the thing that's right on it, too, is if he reflected in the rock, catches the rock at full punch. Oh, that's two! Another Akimune! No way! Kasuga! And then he's gonna get the spin. He has smart. He Slice can absolutely, just absolutely end this! Vegito's not gonna get to play the game! I cannot believe it! And it gets the confirm! Kasuga is one character away! One touch! No way! Bitch, Slice it, everybody! Vegito's gone, Yasha. He's got the 17 and the Sparky. He's got to make big things happen, though. Kasuga is one touch away from doing what no one thought was going to happen in this group. The unexpected potential 2-0. Oh. Can Yasha clutch it out? Finds it with the 4 LL. Seven bars. He's going to be able to cash out here. Should not be able to kill. It's going to be a... Oh, the reset! That oh. was ridiculous! Nah. Yasha pulling out the grind, the dirt! That is actually going to be enough. Level one, level three with the limit break. I think he's dead. It might be a magic pixel. Unbelievable. He optimizes, and it's an even game. I'd even say Yasha's in the lead. My man took you to the mud and left you there. You ain't getting out there. Oh, no! That but the stilettos, the heels, the crowd around. Can Kasuga finish it? He just needs to have his execution on point. He's going to build the fourth bar. Level one, level three. Kasuga, winner side. Group A. Unbelievable. And not drop the game. Kasuga. KO indeed. Breathing a big sigh of relief on that one. He knows he's advanced to the winner side of the, the next part of the competition. He wants the Brazilian flag, like we said. France by way of Brazil, baby, repping both home countries. Let's get it. Kasuga does it again, and that is why. Kasuga, that's my goat. That's my goat. Everybody give it up for Kasuga one more time. And again, Yasha's got to still play. Mm -hmm. And that's what we were saying, man is that you want to control your own fate. That's exactly what Kasuga just did, right? He won out. He was like, I don't got to rely on anybody else. I am here in winter side in the next part of the tournament. I'm big chilling. And again, we talk about Yasha, right? Incredible results oh, yeah. time and time again. But finals last year fell short. And now it's looking a little iffy. Dropping the first game, he's got to go up against Lucar. And Lucar is one of those players that on any given day, he's going to smoke your favorite player. Absolutely. And you know what? They put the two best commentators on this, because if you call 1-800-COMMENTATOR-CURSE, <laughs> then you too might be able to get out in winner's side. Players hit our line, bro. Hit our line. line. Hit our line. What's up? No, but for real. It's actually wild because this is not the expected result we would see here because obviously the favorite of the group is Sly Yasha. Yeah. He's has the track record of a Dragon Ball GOAT, right? Yeah. Has has so many wins, so many titles under his belt, but just fell, falls short at these key moments. And Kasuga comes in with the team that he has been refining year after year after year, and it is in its penultimate state like this is the best version that his team has ever had and it is cheap and broken and mm -hmm. now it is literally up to heart like 
Lucar is playing the team that he made his name on, the team that he has innovated. And Yasha is trying to do the same, and it just wasn't enough here yet. So it comes down to a first to two. Yep. They and both lost two games, so no, no GD, no anything. This is everything. And that just goes to show that being able to react and adapt to the different environments you're gonna find yourself in tournament because we can only control so much as players yeah. in the game, right? Like you said, like with the changes to the characters and whatnot, Lukar, Yasha, both of them feel like they're kind of soul searching a little bit. Like yeah. you said, Lukar going back to his tried and true, really trying to make it known, make it happen and work. Yasha on the other end, going with his signature tried and true team. But we've seen him play yeah. characters that are a bit stronger this patch, but he chose not to break out that team here. Mm -hmm. So this is a tough time to go through stuff like that at the World Finals. Well, on the other end, Kasuga's like, bro, I've been playing this team, they made it better, and now I'm cooking even harder. I mean, that's the best way it goes. And I mean, looking at Lukar and Yasha here, I feel like you play what you believe is most comfortable. You play to show everything that is going to happen. Like, every, every trick that you culminated, every tech that you have developed the entirety of this game, this is the time to show it, right? Yep. You have one set to decide if you are in your group to stay or if you are done for the weekend. The final game of Group A here between Yasha and Lukar, and they're both taking a second. They're both thinking it out. What's the theme song gonna be, though? Let me see. Does the music taste good? Android 16! That is the original banger. And this is gonna be one hell of a match to close out Group A. Winner stays on, loser goes home. Oh, that's wild, man. Between Yasha and Lukar, Kasuga making it out in winner's side. Yasha here, as we mentioned, fell short last year. He's one of the favorites every tournament he enters. He needs this dub right now to survive into the loser's bracket of the next part of the tournament. And that is what's so hard. And you know what? We're getting into the final game, everybody. Yasha versus Lukar. Please make some noise. Winner gets to move on and stay fighting for the grand prize. Oh, boy, that trophy clean, too, boy. It is clean. That I want the Shenron clean trophy, too, man. Boy. I'll tell you what. So dang good. The yeah. great say, man. Helmet or do-rag, how do you feel? Uh, the do-rag with the cape out. That's that's what it's about. Mm -hmm. Pigtails or ponytail? Yes, sir. Oh, pigtails. There we go. Good, good. I, I, I'm a man with, of this type of vibe right here. There we go. Perfect stuff. But we shall see long hair with them all day, every day. Ooh, both players just dash at each other's faces, call the assist. Yeah, super dash. Ramstar gets the 50 50 right at the start. The records were more than enough, Lukar. Starting up strong like we saw in that previous set. And I don't think either of these players have had a more nervous moment in this year. Just goes for the whole auto combo. My goodness. Straight up and just hit him with the heavy light, right? Caught Yasha trying to press something on the wake up. Get a little frisky. No way. Oh, to get the command grab. Dude, it's the, already dead. it's the free 50-50. I can't believe it's not mix up. Nah, Lucar with the first character lead. Gogeta Blue is no more. This is wild, man, Lucar. On the 16, we've seen this character get his rocks off already. Dude, he is Ooh, krillin', krillin with the brown. the spacing on that landing, though? Dude, that 5M was incredible. And yes, Yasha is surgical with the buttons. Lucar gonna be taking 50% off the top. That's why the Mohawk's there on 16, but it doesn't matter. The raw tag comes in so clutch. Huge knockdown here for Videl. And the Frankensteiner. Oh my goodness. Covering the up text right here. Lucar again, back to back with it. You're not ready for these Videl mix-ups. Again, my man is scooping you. You get tossed right now. Dude, he is literally saying, were you aware of the knowledge check? Did you pass the capture? Are you a robot? Because I'm an android. I'm a machine. I'm built different. I have learned to adapt. And he even threw out the bomb. He threw this, out the super. This man is grappling right now. This is insane. Oh, man. And now, again, it's up to 17, the MVP. Yasha has made countless comebacks on this character, has sparked, and is fully capable. This is a battery of a character. Androids have infinite energy for a reason. And he's got meter to spend, meter to build, especially with that spark. And hey, Lucar's looking like a beast. No! But the Monster Island Ranger, he's used to hunting creatures of that nature. That is true. He said, I will contain this. Level one should do it. Look down on your opponents. You're the new model. Well, I'm the old hotness. Mm -hmm. Let's see here, though. Let him know straight up, Yasho. Oh, with the back dash. Give it a super dash with the pierces coming through. You got to respect it and stand it up into it again. Again, Lucar is just 100% on the command grab hit rate. Not afraid to challenge, not afraid to lay the pressure down. And again, you see that slight stagger there just to get the 16 assist back. Mm -hmm. Taking a little extra time. Oh my god, again, again! Every single time, bro. She's looking like Rey Mysterio out here. I cannot believe it. 619, see you later, man. Let's use the ropes. Oh, oh the trade on the power blitz. That was actually really awkward. It was. Ooh. She went tumbling. 
Again, you gotta be able to take the fall. Hit the mat. Let's see how this goes. Again, goes for the Rekka series. Goes for the Dark Cancel Vanish, but again, now out of meter. Still has to can build a ton of bar here. Trying to find the opportunity. Spawn Strike back. Doesn't want to take any pressure. Let's see him in. 16's available now again. Rocket Papanji, Super Dash. Oh, no. This is so tense. 150 seconds on the clock, which means there's more than enough time to really grind this one out. Good mobility from Yasha, though, just staying away from the B assist. But now the sparking's gone. It is indeed. Both shots no longer glowing red. We got the oh, vanish! Oh, it's too far! She moves forward! Oh my goodness, as long as he's able to close this out, it should be a kill. And that is going to be the first game to Lukar. It is one game away from Yasha potentially going 0 and 4. Bro. No way, Lukar, one away. Keep it together, buddy. Look, you can see the emotions on his face. This is what the FGC is about, baby. Oh my Look at God. this. One, he's sending it. You can see this. Everybody. How much he cares, how much he wants this. Yasha has got to lock in. He's got to keep it together. We're going into this next match. I love this. Like, I, just I, just look, at the, look at their faces, bro. You can see how much it means to Lukar. And Yasha, he's on the other end of the spectrum, I'm right? He's trying to, to keep composed. I'm about yeah, to Yeah, I understand. And Yasha, he's not wearing his heart on his sleeve, right? He's trying to keep composed. He's trying to keep everything locked in right now. He's considering which team to go with. Like, this is do or die. If yeah. Yasha loses this match, he is not advancing to the next part of the tournament. He is one of the favorites to take the whole thing. I know. it's The storyline here is absolutely insane for Group A. It is not what we expected. And taking this extra second, taking the time to think, there's so much on the line. I know. He's looking at us. He oh, knows one more. I've been in that chair. Like, that feeling yeah. is unmatchable. And, it, like, overcoming this, that is what fighting mm. games, that is what competition is about. And he is playing the way that he's prepared. He's playing the way that has given him success. And Yasha, he's soul searching because, like you said, he was rocking the team. Yasha, he is 0-3 on that team right now. He's going to stick with it. We said he's been playing with a team that's a little bit more meta-friendly, but uh, you want to go with what you're most comfortable on as a, a point you made earlier. Yeah, and do or die. There's no breaks right now that you can't walk away. You have to finish the job. You have to complete it. I don't think I've ever seen either of these players this stressed. I don't think I've ever seen like, I'm no bro. Like you said, I'm shaking. Like, yeah, like you said, you qualified last year. You sat on this stage. You know what's at stake. You know it's do or die in some of these matches where you're not going to get to play again. Your year of competition in Dragon Ball Fighters is over. That could be what Yasha's facing right now. And it's up, it's up to this. It's can Lucar close it out? Is it going to be a 2-0, or are we going to a game three between these two? Man, I can't believe this is a, what? This is the third match of the day and how intense it is already? Like The stakes are high. My hairs are standing in the intro. Oh, my God. Starting it out. Game two. Lukar between Yasha. And again, there's so much stress. Nine of these players. One of them going out. And the start goes to Lukar. The Dragon Rush to start it off. It's not going to be the most damage. But still, I love that. He conditioned him a lot just to deal with those BSs. He didn't show oh, oh, any Dragon Rushes last game. Raw tags, you can see him, he's nervous. He tries to go through, but again, the assist does connect. Do you get the rejump? Yes, sir. That's Optimization the, is there. That's the thing, right? You still gotta compose yourself. You can't get too thirsty for the kills. Yep. Dragon rush down. Lukar is the one who's gonna be on the defensive here. No assist, but he gets caught trying to escape. Mm -hmm. But the drop again, that is uncharacteristic. Oh, man. No way. Lukar's gonna get a big chance here. Oh, no! DP this time. Good. It's a, it's a hit grab, so I mean, if you are able to DP, you can find your way out, but no follow up. You don't really get the most off of it. Card cancel huge. Lucky punch. And he raw tags out. Videl is safe. Oh, oh the dash under. That was so sick. Predicting the float. Oh, but that's a pick up. That is going to be a dead. Gogeta blue. That is huge. It doesn't matter that it drops there. And even though he's smart, the point war is won by Lucar. That is huge, man. As you mentioned, left. Taking down a character, dismantling the team, not giving you your full force is so important in this game. Yasha still has his sparking, but taking down a key member of the squad is huge. Absolutely, the S does connect. The Captain Sword makes it happen. The Plasma. Can you hold out? That's a low now. You have to be able to block through all of this. 16 trying to find a way. Chase is down. Not able to escape just yet, but again, no pressure. It's all mids, but mids mix Americans. Not able to punish the command grab there just yet. Finds the movement. Finds the hit on the super jump cross under. Incredible neutral from Yasha right there. What a way to find the hit. 
Oh, but we wake up with it. The info makes sure that you catch it. Mail gets smoked by the low, but it does not matter. Finds the hit. Gonna go ahead and get the sliding knockdown. Luke Hart trying to find the hit. Here goes the tick throw again. Massive. It has like almost 100% hit rate. I think don't he's up only tech, with don't one. Up tech. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. You know he's gonna be looking for the head scissors. Yeah, that's right. Oh, crosses up. Not able to get the hit, and that empty banish is gonna be massive. This should be a dead Videl, as long as there is no drop. There's nothing else to keep it simple, keep it clean. That's huge for Yasha, because Lucar's Videl has been forcing this tempo, this pace, that is so hard to deal with. You want to up tech, she's got the EX head scissors. Uh, there's so many things that, Yasha, you would normally do and get away with that you can't up against Videl. Absolutely. Ooh, boy. This is so close. Sparking is still running for Yasha, so he wants to be able to use that time. He's able to run in for the spin. Comes through the tried and true. As soon as this character came out, we knew that we were born to spin. Oh, born to oh, back, and he got caught running away. Boy. He doesn't have enough meter to kill, but this is dire straight to one touch. How do you deal with this pressure? Oh! Again, Lucar, these reads are out of control, oh, man. Oh, my goodness. The objects are just getting smoked left and right. And he's going to be able to kill here with the level one teleport. It's Vegito versus the world. Yasha's marquee character. You cannot afford to get touched. I don't, I, I can't believe this is happening right now, Rich. Yasha I can't believe is it. My, on the verge of going on four. Oh, what? You're kidding me. As it's soon as Yasha left the ground, he knew. No, oh, the bust yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, want to yeah, get yeah. command grip. He said, I can't afford to get debuffed. No way. Yeah, the debuff would have spelled the end. Still a chance to fight back. No oh, meter. Doesn't confirm. get the confirm. No, confirm again. Double drop. Doesn't matter. He tried to match out 16 versus Machito. 5 of the God right there from that distance. It's going to be very hard to contest against him. This is mental. This is mental. One bar it means one command oh, grab. Oh, man. Oh, it's a one touch game, both sides. This both players. Sick. Scary situation. You can see both of them, right? Full screen. Not wanting to commit to anything. Good jump block. Oh, he gets the, the cross He's Lugar. gonna be able to do it after all this time. After not qualifying, Lucar moves on. Yasha is out. 2-0, 2-0, and he does it. Lucar from Florida takes out Yasha. Not out of the group. No one expected this. I, I cannot believe this, bro. You could see the emotion. We saw it after the first game. This man was almost in tears after game one. He wanted it more than, I mean, anybody I've seen here today. And he's gonna be able to advance into the loser side of the bracket on the next part of the tournament. But a shocking result in Group A. I literally, Absolutely shocking. Before this tournament, he wasn't gonna play Fidel. I literally had this conversation with him and I said, when do you play your best? When you play what you created. And that's what he created. Everybody, give it up for Lucar. Give it up for Lucar. Lucar, repping Florida. Like we said, he's been so consistent this year, man. First at first attack, third at Thunderstruck, third at CEO Taku, fourth at CEO, third at Combo Breaker. Top four everywhere wow. he's gone. And he's trying to make it top four at Dragon Ball Fighters World Tour Finals as well. I cannot believe that in Group A, this is our result. I, I, I had Yasha as a shoe in. I, absolutely. I think everybody it. did. Like, fantasy brackets completely busted. Who would have had Yasha not making it out of this group? And I mean, I think it, I think it comes down to it where it's like, everybody has been playing against Yasha's team for so long. Yes. Everybody has been witnessing what mm -hmm. Yasha's team is able to do for so long. And you don't have, even if you have like one Videl to practice, like that's yeah. not going to be enough sample size. That's not yeah. going to be enough for you to deal with. And Lucar was able to make it matter when it mattered most. And the thing is, that was a 2-0 from Kasaga and a 2-0 from Lucar over Yasha. Yeah. Like, he, like we said, that team, Team Yasha, he went 0-4 in this group. It did not take a game. It's a good thing Hikari picked up a new squad. Yeah, you know. And, and it's like you said, Yasha's team, I think it's the most duplicated, replicated team in yeah. Dragon Ball Fighters throughout Absolutely. every, all the years, all the seasons. So it's like that is the team that these high-level players are going to have the most practice against. And you saw it. Kasuga and Lucar were ready. They were ready, prepared. And I mean... I don't think anybody in the, the, the room was prepared. I don't think anybody at home was prepared. But you know what? The hometown hero, Lucar, able to come out on top. And Kasuga making it happen, too. Winner's side. Didn't drop a game. Lucar able to close it out over Yasha. And uh, I have no idea how the rest of the day is going to go now. Because yeah, that throws exactly all right. notions, all, <laughs> like, all ideas about the future out the window. <laughs> and I mean, both of those players, I mean, you get to see the peak and the uh, the lowest, the pit of competition. It's absolutely. And like, that's, that what's make, that's what makes it beautiful. Yeah, 100%. Oh, like, man.
man. It, this is what fighting games are about, right? We saw after that first game, the soul searching from Yasha, the emotions almost overwhelming Lucar. The way he started that second game, right? It looked like he was getting too thirsty. Like he was uh, smelling the victory a little bit too much. We saw him get hit on the up tech. We saw him trying to force his way in on the Android 17 barrier. Oh, yeah. We were like, it's looking like maybe a little bit too thirsty, not enough composure. But man, he got it together in the middle of the game, was able to take it 2-0. You love to see the growth in game like that. It was incredible. And I mean, iron sharpens iron. Oh, yeah. When you have pressure, that's when you get the highest level of moments. You get to see players show how strong they are. And you either crack or you become the shiniest diamond in the room. And right now, I think Lucar has never felt better as a competitor. And uh, I, as, as someone who has competed with him, played with him in tournaments against all these guys. Yeah. I'm very proud of him. Absolutely. And I'm, 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 I'm happy for all the competitors, too, because, like, I know Yasha will come back stronger from this. Absolutely, absolutely. And you said, like you said, you were on the finals there last year. You felt the electricity of being on the stage, right? <laughs> like that pressure, that overwhelming just sense of atmosphere is very different yeah. than almost any other tournament you're going to get to play in. Exactly. When, you, when you're there and you're sitting against the world champs and you're like, oh, they're sweating? Yeah. You're like, oh, maybe I do belong to be here. But all these players here are on another level this mm -hmm. time. Shout outs again to Group A. Once again, Costco out in winners and in loser side, it is going to be Lucar. But Group 2 is even, it's, it's a wild one as well oh, yeah. because there's a lot of conceptions about how Group 2 is going to go. And I have uh, my actually pick to win the whole tournament in that group. Yes, indeed. Yes, I indeed. Do. So uh, Group 2 com uh, consists of Iguan, Garlic Bread, and Wade, right? And tell the folks at home who your pick to take the whole tournament is, Jake. Uh, STG's own S tier gaming, Garlic Bread, <laughs> the 16 year old wonder kid is my favorite pick. For you, it's the best combo you're going to see in a fighting game ever. <laughs> For me, it is Tuesday mm -hmm. in Last Coast. I mean, West Coast Last Lobby, not Last Coast West Lobby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, he plays the team Super Baby 2, Ginyu, and Krillin. Not a team that you would uh, imagine is uh, incredibly strong. <laughs> But, uh, but you're it's gonna the learn. best team in the game. You're yeah, gonna, you're gonna learn today. You're gonna learn. You're gonna learn today. That it just he, might be. He looked at Justin Wong and said, "You gonna learn today." It looks He's like, "I'm sorry, broke. my friend. You're like, too strong." Yeah, if you haven't gotten the privilege or the pleasure of seeing Garlic Bread play Dragon Ball Fighters, you're in for uh, something special right now. As oh, you yeah. mentioned, a very unique team. Qualified, getting first at Thunderstruck, right? He got top eight at Evo, second at CEO, underperformed at Bum's Birthday Bash. But for the most part, Garlic Bread has been getting better and better as the years have gone on. Yeah, and I mean, I, I remember the first time this kid, he entered WNF online. I see him enter, and he's playing, like, he was playing Kepla. I think he was playing, like, a couple other characters. He played Piccolo. Yeah. And... He just kept entering week after week after week after week. And then it was either him or Zane or Scientific KOF, Scientific Cough, shout out to you, winning the tournament. So the fact that he has been grinding this game for three years since he was a 13 year old and now he is on the world stage, the talent's there. And yeah. you know what? He was. He was honed in the West Coast rushdown zone. Absolutely, absolutely. He knows. He's like, man, these players are aggressive as hell. I should learn how to block. Yep. Yeah, and I, I think that's a great point you bring up. We should put some respect on his name. He's basically a back-to-back -back qualifier for this event because, like as you said, he was too young to actually compete in the final portion of the event last year, so he couldn't actually qualify. You took his spot, did a great job, but now he is here trying to prove why he qualified last year and put everybody on notice. You don't even know how to play this game till you see me. Oh, man, it is going to be a treat right here, but he Ikuan, again, one of the strongest players from Japan, got second in the LCQ last yes, year, sir. only to Wade, who again is in this group. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you know what, run the LCQ back. Wade showed he could do it before, and we're going to see if we can do it again. I'm not sure if we're going into a button check, but we are locking in the correct teams. Yeah, I was going to say, at least looks like the teams are their business teams. Of course, Ikuan first at Rev Major, second at the LCQ, as you said. Fell short of top eight last year after getting through from the LCQ, but obviously he's here to improve upon that. Absolutely, and I mean, Garlic Bread, he, there's nothing that he can do that would uh, lead to disappointment here. He's here to show how hard he's practiced. It is a button check. Yes, sir. Um, but I I love what this team is able to show off. I love how um, he's created his own, and like I said, the best players are the ones who innovate on their shells, the ones that really create their game plan. Because Absolutely. Because in a tournament setting, if you're not playing them every week, you're not going to figure out 
exactly. layer number 18 on mm -hmm. game two, it's not going to happen. 100%. And that's the strength that players like this, like a garlic bread, have, right? It's like where you, when you're able to put the work in and come up with all this innovation and come up with your own strats, it's so much work to get to that point where you can be competitive. But once you do get to that point, Ooh, yeah. it's such an advantage against all the other competitors because they don't have that practice. They don't have that team that they're going to be showing all these mix-ups, these setups, how to play the neutral, all this. They're, they're not going to have that practice, especially exactly. if there's somebody that's duplicating them. They're not going to be on the level of the originator on top of that. Yeah. So a lot of the time, we're definitely going to have those type of players having the advantage. We get the handshake beforehand. Equal versus Garlic Bread. First match of Group B here. And the thing that's so beautiful about this, too, is, like you said, it's, it's even if you have played against somebody who plays this team before, are you prepared for what he expects you're going to do? Like, the right answer, right? Mm -hmm. Because he's on page five of the test. He's yeah. got the scan trunks. Like, the pencil is sharpened. It, it's extremely rare, in my opinion, when you get in a situation like Hakari, right, where they can, like, take a team and play it as good as the Originator or even better. Elevator, like, yeah, he yeah, takes that, it. He's that, like, that doesn't happen. Though. Yeah, and, like, especially with a team as unique as what we're seeing from Garlic Bread, that's really not going to happen. So we'll see if Equan can weather the storm or if he's just able to really enforce his own offense and put Garlic Bread on the back foot. Garlic Bread is going to be stopping. We're rocking the intros here. Super Baby 2. This character's sick. Uh, this, is, this is honestly my favorite character in the game. I, he is, he's definitely the most creative character on the roster. It used to be a dope Gohan, but when he came out, he, he took the crown. I mean, he, I really love him. Big Prince fan, Purple Rain. You know? He just lets, he lets it go. We're going to see all kinds of purple stuff, most likely. He is a projectile fiend. But what if they were purple? He's got the boomerang projectiles. He's got the spin the block. Oh, and he's got the palms, baby. One of the best moves in the game for so many reasons. Oh, it's time to party. Call the whole forest. We got, got, he got no down. Oh, yeah. We want to we tired of this already. You don't like the nonsense that he was looking at. Goes low after the overhead to stay in the L. One of the most potent tools, but again, misses the re jump here. Lock down, sparks uh -oh. right back, doesn't want to hold it. Jace! The assist comes out, but again, the wrong time was so dang good. Oh my goodness, he go on. Yeah, the reflect raw tag getting out of the baby B assist and then chasing the up tech from Garlic Bread. Garlic Bread might not get to show off as much as we were building up in this game one. Yeah, oh, you spin know, the block. Yep. Can you no longer going to be a factor here, level one, level one. And it's going to be Baby and Krillin. No sparking on either side, though, so I love that respect, right? Mm -hmm. Said, I can afford for you to mix me. I know what you do. I am familiar with your game. Precisely. This, this is the hardest matchup for Baby right here, the lab coat. Yeah, the beam, the slice, he's all oh, and the, just the dragon rush straight through as soon as he gets locked down by the assist. Nice stuff. Oh, locked down again. Guard cancel damage to escape there, which is massive. Super Baby 2 gonna go with the stagger pressure here. Nah, Ooh. no gaps. Loud, wonderful spin here from Eco up. And it's not gonna be enough meter build here. I think actually no, he can active switch. That is gonna be two bars built down. We go. No, he can't. There's no way to get to the ground. Go Tanks has that one weakness, and the, the bananas are staying on the tree. Ghost of Styles P. You're gonna have some good times. Ooh, escapes and just backdashes. No attempt at a whip punish though. Rocks, tech, eco on ready. 2H. Remember when I said he's the young man reaction. That's, That's a good 2H from uh, Super Baby as well. Straight down. Look at this man spinning. We got Zensu too. Oh, oh yeah. I was gonna say the ricochet. That's why he raw tags. Go through all the key blasts. Very smart. Yeah, not enough meter to kill here, though. The two levels wouldn't have done it. Rocks comes out. D tech, DR is teched again. Eco on is prepared on the defense. Oh, oh no, the one inch once he jumped that. Nah, he reacted again. That was ridiculous. Yeah, Garlic Brad's reactions. Very much on showing the rocks. Actually coming through in the clutch right there. Stuffing Goku Blue. Somewhere in the world, Reynold and Noka smiled when they saw the rock assist. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. Show me the loop, brother. Unlimited meter works. Oh, look at this man. Cursed Oki, can I see? Online. Oh, some of the best Oki in the game. Probably the best level three Oki in the game. Where is he? Oh, the empty low. Where is he? Which way did he go? Where is he? I can't see him. I thought about after, but all I'm seeing is images. Mm -hmm. All you seeing is dirt, bro. You just got buried six feet under. Oh, now it's the small battle. Battle of the smalls. Rat one versus rat two. Mm -hmm. Oh, he tried. Again, spin on the block. Look at Baby. He's actually oh. destroying Baby. Garlic needed to bust out there. He was going to lose the character. Yeah. Oh, the beam cancel at the watch end. This, watch this, watch he this, watch this. He showed him the key blast and went into the beam. Ah, uh, uh, uh. oh, dude, the car cancels that this kid does. So dang good. 
Rocks. Oh, we reflex it. He did rock reflect. Yeah. As layers. Oh, he caught the after him. It's super dashing. There is a bold move caught. Oh, man. Oh, what a way for Equal to answer that, though. Brave but confident. He knew that was going to work out. Put the level three on him. Absolutely. What's the mix going to be? Talking to Ed. Yep, guard cancel vanish. Willing to take that risk. The assist comes through. Look at this. He's going to completely control it. Everything. Great block. Oh, what a oh. tech from Equan. The defense is wild. The clash. Oh, man. And the 2H doesn't connect. Just not close enough. Stubby normal. The beam falling again. Dude, Absolutely that, nuts. He's doing it. The key blast into the beam. It's gotten the multiple hits. Equal just wants to take his turn after those key blasts. Oh, and the counter there. Yep, Meaty will catch you every single time. Oh, it looked like he was about to hit the recovery, but the reflect was still active. Garlic bread even reeling back in his seat on that one. A little bit rough there. He tried, but just not fast enough. Only one touch left remaining. You gotta be so careful here. And he gets hit by the DR. First game goes over to Equan. Really strong performance. Uncrackable defense same coming up. And it was huge because Equan was able to kill that Ginyu early, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. really nullified him. Took Garlic Bread's team kind of apart right there. When you see Garlic Bread, when he gets overwhelming and suffocating pressure, it's when the entire team's intact. It's so wild to try to defend against it. Exactly. So the fact that Equan was able to take that down early really made the rest of the game much more stable for him. So we get some advice from his SoCal mate Zane in the building as well. Yeah, the training, the training crew, the trifecta, right here, going yes, right sir. back into it. And Garlic is one of the best players at adapting to new information. So I want to see exactly how he's able to present here, because a lot of the time he's been getting caught because of the key blast game. But it's a time to call the goons, time to call the boys. Set up once again. I want to see what he's able to present here. Do you know the escape plan he on? And it's sparking. And just like last game, right? He was uh, locked down by the Ginyu. He was going to have to start guessing on defense, so he just sparks up. And yeah, both sparkings are now out, even Stevens. He tried to medium. Oh, he, he tried to JM the super dash. He just was not fast enough there. Yeah, unfortunate valiant attempt from Garlic Bread. But locked down the command grab comes through this time. Nice. Show me the loops, brother. This character still got the sauce. Uh -uh. Yeah, I'll take Super Dash's response here. Called the Krillin as well. Daisy's coming through. My goodness, now you're just locked down. Great defense from Equan. Oh, again, dash block, dash block. Wow. And Ginyu is no more once again. This is some a really impressive defense from Equan, man. Being able to weather the storm of the assist, the calls of the Ginyu Force, then taking him down with something simple like the Tick Dragon Rush. This is uh, how you defeat somebody like Garlic Bread. And I think it's interesting, too, because it really totes back to the original like Japanese domination playstyle, where it's like you're either playing like Kazunoko and just layering on the you know aggressive options that are unrelenting, or you're playing like Goichi and just trying to block everything and play. Correct. Yeah, and that's what Equal is doing right now. He hasn't gotten caught slipping. This is a very easy team to get caught slipping against. I'm prepared for the answers right here. Let's see. Going to jump out. Rox does connect. Mm -hmm. Garlic Red looking good here. Super Baby 2 going to get a chance to play. Yeah, he needs to make something big happen here. Put himself in a good Oki situation. He is going to drop the ball on him. New Year's came early. Or late. Who knows? Mm -hmm. Try to oh, go for the take throw. Yeah. And all the nice. nah. in there to see assist. Oh, it's gonna spell the end for baby garlic bread. He's only gonna have Krillin left. Somewhere, Zeus that's in the world is like, please give me the clip. <laughs> I need it. Give me the content. Garlic bread though on Krillin, one of the best Krillins in the world. This is the character that he's made so many countbacks on. This is the character that people know him for. Mm -hmm. Crowds love him for. We're gonna see how he's able to make this happen, but it's so hard. And beat it. He wants that three bars, right? That Oki is so potent, he gets off the level three. So even just having to work towards that is rough. Best key last in the game. Oh, he gets died. He get the confirmed. That was a hype. Oh, protecting himself against the C assist. Too. You even see Go takes on the screen. No way. He after him. It's through the C assist. He actually was able to invul because of that entire period. That was actually Mad Clutch goes for the car cancel combos to get the full extension. And guess what, Ridge? It might be a dead character. It's gonna be so close. Yeah, I think it, with the limit break, it should be dead. Yeah, there it is. One to go. One down. Two to go. All right. Good. And Lab Coat, not the healthiest character in the world. Garlic Bread's confidence, I think, growing little by little here. But no meter and got caught key blasting. That's been his main strat. 
Yeah, the Super Dash is coming clear, coming through. I mean, it's like full circle in the option. Super Dash gets punished in the mid-level, but then it becomes so strong again at the highest level. The bell curve, baby. Yeah, dude. So we got Ikuan putting the damage he can on. Obviously wants the situation as well. Can Garlic break the fence? Oh, oh nah. gets caught with the second load and an overhead for your trouble. Ikuan taking it 2-0. Very clean, incredibly hard to crack the defense, and it doesn't look like Garlic Red was able to get the Super Dash punishes that he was looking for. Nothing but respect on both sides yeah. for these players. But now we got another match that is going to be coming up. It is actually going to be Garlic Red staying on, and it's going to be Wade coming up to the stage here. Another incredibly hard match. And the thing is, this match could also just decide the group here because if Wade is able to take it over Garlic Bread, then Garlic Bread is just out. But then if Garlic Bread wins, both players, Ikawan and Wade, they got to decide. And then it could become a 1-1-1-1-1-1. Yeah, head to head nightmare. Yeah, it could. So those are the different scenarios we have right here, right? And like you mentioned, if Wade ends up getting the W, then Ikuan versus Wade is for who makes it out in winners and who makes it out in losers, right? Yeah. So even if that happens, that round three match is as important as any other match in this group. Exactly. And as you can see here, Garlic Bread with that O2 with Ikuan. Ikuan's got to be feeling good about that. Now has a little bit of a breather going in to this next match. Wade warmed up, ready, got to watch a little bit of Garlic Bread. He's been playing so many games this entire weekend. He has not taken a moment to take a break. Like he is, I, I every time I see him, he's got his controller in his hand. He's sitting down with either Yasha, Obi, you name it, grinding. So hopefully yeah. the fruits of that labor come in right now. I was gonna say, every time we've uh, passed by like the player practice area back here backstage, like he is always there. Exactly. Uh, rain, sleet, snow, no matter, I'll walk uphill both ways. My man is there grinding it out. Exactly, God. And I'm again, this group has just begun and it, it goes mad fast here. We've seen two O's. Um, in multiple places here. Obviously, Lucar taking down Yasha, and then you had Kasuga taking down both of them. But now Wade is the one coming up the table. And his team, I I'm curious, is he going to play hit? What's he putting on the docket now? Yeah, it's definitely something I'm going to be looking for as well. Of course, Wade, an incredible Dragon Ball Fighters player, first at Tiger Uppercut, fourth at Versus Fighting, yeah. first at the LCQ last year, which you mentioned earlier, and got second at the entire tournament last year. Pretty good. Coming in from the LCQ. I don't know what it is, man. Those LCQ champions, they just go on to get a top four, almost guaranteed, no matter what the World Tour is. We'll see if Inzem can continue that kind of trend later on. But yeah. of course, Wade right now, as you mentioned, is he going to play like the Kefla hit Android 18? I've seen him working on Kefla cell lab code. Like, I'm definitely uh, interested in what he's going to bring to the table right now. Yeah, me too. And especially with a talent like Garlic Bread Hand. Honestly, like on the West Coast, we don't have the most hit practice. So it's yeah. like, do you pull that out as as your, you know, ace in the hole? Because that's the character you've made your name on. But Garlic Bread, happy to be here, happy to play. Got the pep talk from Zane. Shout out to my boy there. He's going to be playing later today in Group D. But uh, you have to show up or shut up now. There's no pep yeah. talk that can make you execute as hard as you need to, you know, close this out, especially against... Second place last year. Yep. Like Cinderella, he's trying to be the bride this time. Exactly, man. And it, this is the time to bear your fangs, right? You exactly. have no safety net. You have no game that you can drop and still be in the tournament. So when some people get their back into the corner like this and they're like a cornered animal, that's when we see the true potential get unleashed, right? Yep. They go with Dol Gohan. They go level seven. They go beyond what they're normally capable of. So I want to see if Garlic Bread can kind of rise to the occasion right here, dig deep and find that. Or if Wade, as you mentioned, has been so dominant at this event last year, winning LCQ, getting second overall, is he just going to continue finessing everybody? Absolutely. And I mean, that's hopefully what we're going to get here. I just want a good match. I want to I want to see both these players play to their potential, play to their peak. Garlic Red, deep in thought here, knows how important this one match is. So hopefully, again, locked into the team, likely going to be doing our normal button check. And I do see the cell on so, the yeah. side for Wade. So this is looking like the Kefla cell lab co-team. Kefla with the beam, Cell with the shoulder assist, actually the B assist, and the, the lab coat on the C beam as well. Yeah, shout out to Shank, still here in spirit. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. God. With the Cell. Exactly. But yeah, doing a quick little button check here, making sure everything is good. Once again, you got to make sure that we're good. Also, everybody in the crowd, I hope you guys are having a good time, enjoying the games, enjoying Dragon Ball. Absolutely love it. I yeah, know we all love Goku. We got a nice sea of people tuning into the group stage, of course. We are crowning our champion today as well. So don't go anywhere. The Dragon Ball Fighters action not stopping all day. And Garlic Bread, of course, is in a tough situation right now. He has to stay sitting after that first game, try to get his composure back together, turn the momentum around. 
up against Wade. It's not going to be an easy task either, but that's the thing about being at a World Tour Finals. It's nothing is going to be easy. Yeah. No matter what set you play, no matter who you play against, no matter what your matchup is, if you're favorable in it as a player, as like with your characters, nothing is going to be easy at this level. Yeah, every player you run into, it's like, yeah, they won a tournament, they got a medal, uh, they're my best friend's demon, I'm their best friend's demon. Yeah. You never know who you're going to run into, but now... Like, Fighting games are fun, getting your rocks off on offense is fun, but playing against the best competition is intense, it's stressful, it drains your life energy. So we gotta see who has more in the tank right now. Yep, and it's again, first game for Wade, we get to see really how this shakes up. And I love how it's Zane and Damascus sitting next to each other. This is a very conflicted uh, audience here. <laughs> I don't know if they can be friends after this one. So uh, yeah, getting into it now, it's garlic bread versus Wade for our second match of Group B here. Garlic Bread needs to win this one if he wants to stay alive in the group, and Wade obviously wants to ensure, like he gets to just win one game and get out on winners or losers. That's a pretty good feeling. So let's see how it goes. What is going on? What the, what is, what? <laughs> Wade was like, I don't know what that was. He was like, you guys got to keep that to yourselves in SoCal. Did, just, did you teach him that? No. That's not one of your secret handshakes? No, you the, the Trinity? No? Absolutely not. Okay. Yeah, it sounds like you don't approve of what just happened. No. <laughs> he, he did a, he, no. You don't like the loop handshake? I don't like the loop. Okay. Show me the loop, brother. That's not what I was talking about. That's like the super baby handshake, bro. Super You're baby two handshake? Yeah. Super carry too. I, I just love Wade's reaction. He was like, <laughs> he was like, mm, okay. Jesus. Not sure about so that you're one. you trying to be a little spicy, all right? Yeah. <laughs> Garlic bread versus Wade. Loading in here once again. Here you go. And to me, that was a little bit of like Garlic Bread trying to loosen himself up, right? Yeah, like, he's trying to relax. Like, that was definitely like he's coming off of a loss. Like, he knows if he doesn't win this game, his tournament's over. I think he's trying to make sure he's loose, comfortable to play in this next set, not too wound up. Here we go. I'll wait. He's going to be making his debut in the tournament right now. We got the Kefla on point with the Cell and Lab coat. Oh, and again, the Super Dashes have been so good. Garlic Bread trying to get the Key Blast game established early, but everybody has just been heading to the sky for some Yeah, what we're going to set up with here. You have the Meaty into the Cell call. And we immediately spark up. We don't want to hold that. No. Oh, way. the reflect on the machine gun pump into the check on the raw tag. The that was ridiculous. The preparation is there. Unbelievable. Automatically going to level three. Burn out the sparking time. Garlic Bread just has to hold this pressure now. I get that. How you, the first time you showed him the machine gun palms, reflect and punish the raw attack. And then the float low. Nah, Wade is looking different. Dude, this is why he was the LCQ winner last year. Damn near closed out the whole tournament as well. Can he get the kill? I don't think so. He doesn't have a C assist. Again, locked down. Oh, DR oh, does it. Garlic oh. Bread cracking. It even looked like Wade might have lit the Hezzy before the Dragon Rush too, because he knows the assist got blocked in the air. Maybe if he would have did it too soon, it wouldn't have connected. He's just aware of everything right now. Yeah, the patience has been good. Oh, man. Oh, rocks. Try the alley -oop too. I see locked down. Super Baby 2 getting the pressure of the stagger mm. into the bait. Did not want to hold any more of that pressure. Absolutely going to melt here. No oh. draw. It's a big drop for Garlic Bread right there. Way that Kevlar is going to be on life support, if not in the grave. Oh. Yeah, it's punish. Oh, Absolutely. Beautiful punish right there. So dang good, and definitely something you need to present against Super Baby 2. You have to punish every single opportunity. You can't let him start his key blast game. The oh, rocks. trying to take his turn. Rocks on the way up. the ascending stone. That's right. Uh-oh. Time for the loops, brother. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Curse Oki. Can't see. Curse Oki, baby. Where Krillin gonna go? Left, right, nobody knows. Which Hello. way did he go? Joe Schmo. He oh, reflected. reflected indeed and sparked up. He forced the spark, which is huge, but now locked under pressure. Can Garlic Bread hang under this offense? So far, so good. Oh, Trying to 2H. He did. He wanted to send it to the skies. It's too short. Nah. Oh, ripped up. Great stuff from Wade right there. Finally finding a hit here. Garlic Bread, he showed discipline defense. But man, when you gotta go up against a full team still, it's almost inevitable. Nice. And again, not gonna build a ton of meter here, so getting the next touch to kill is quite difficult. Bark cancel vanish, and he goes for the after image. Keep yourself safe, rock OP. Nice delay tech from Wade, avoiding a lot of that rock. Good defense so far. Another 50 50 block, but again, the 6 H, the 3 H. Yeah, I know that 6 H, so dang good. Mm -hmm. The stilettos. 
shining up the dome of Krillin. Not Number dead yet. Cell. He's got half a bar though, that perfect attack. Oh! Yeah, no. that perfect attack was done. Like I said, half a bar, brother. Spine broken. Super Baby versus this whole squad. Garlic Bread is gonna have to pull out all the stops here. This is mad hard. And this comeback is, is just so difficult. Like, any perfect attack you get hit by and you are lights out. MD right now, Garlic Bread. Gonna go with the level three here. See what the mix gonna be. He didn't switch sides, so it's not the curse Doki. Oh, he went for oh, oh, he like faked the tick throw and went he back did. into the auto combo. I like that a lot. That was clean. Doesn't matter if you have one touch left, Garlic Red will just not get hit. That was clean, yeah. He even smiled on that one a little bit. He was like, yeah, yeah. I'm kind of nice. He said, like, that was smart, right? That was one of those things that only works against smart players. Yeah, exactly. That you get maxed on against somebody who doesn't know. Yeah. Let's see. Chase down, no command grab just yet. Locking down, do you opt to throw the key blast? He's already been punished multiple times. He does decide to go for it again. Yeah, that's the thing with Baby Ray is that you kind of have to establish that game. It's just scary. So you do it too much, one wrong super dash. Oh, that's about doing. yeah. But Fuck let's him. get it. Gonna build a ton of bar here. Ah, uh, he's got the combo this time as well. <laughs> oh, does he build the third bar? This man is styling it's, right now. Oh, he actually, oh my god, he's saucing and it's blue. Blue beat, it don't matter. You know what's crazy? Even though it's a blue combo, yeah. it doesn't drop. Oh, really? Yep. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a, he's a cheater combo. Baby glitches. He makes you think that you Baby can get out. Baby glitches, bro. Oh. Trying to lock him down. He did block it in the air, which gives him the perfect opportunity. Does he build the third bar here? Uh -huh. Oh, penalty is in too long. Is it enough? No, it's not. Still has a chance. Oh, man. Garlic bread. How much magic you got in this pixel, fam? We saw what Lucar did earlier, but no. Shuts it down, anti-magic field with the 2H. Yeah, and that was so dang good too, because he did the Larry at first, which repelled the key blast, and then the 2H gave him the invul. So, so dang good right there, Wade. Clutching it out at the end, but Garlic Bread was one touch away from really stealing that one. He had to make him sweat at the end. All right, now yet the pressure is applied. Ooh, just low after that, the rocks. Yeah. yeah, a bit confusing. It looked like he just sailed over Wade's head. Yeah, so depending on when he calls the rocks and which string he does it from, it can go back and split them apart. So he got the wall bounce on the rock. That was sick. And that way, yeah, he don't want to deal with the pressure sequence like that again. Nah, he tried. You see the counter right there, too. He was thinking he was going to spin, maybe yeah. jab, but he didn't recover in time. Yeah, I assume it was the spin, but jab definitely is a potent answer as well. Wade's going to bring the cell in. Speaking of potent answers, this man's got them all. Level 3 is the best Oki in the game. Do you force the spark take not? He holds on to it there. It finally comes out. Sensu Bean. Good blocks here from Wade. Oh, nice. That's a potent 50 50. Again, has another one in tow. Gotta be so dang careful. Look at the score. My man is hunkered down right now. Oh, he tried the perfect attack. He was too far. He recovered but not get punished, though. Yikes. Yeah, you're not allowed. It's a perfect attack. A name of uh, the most befitting of a move I've ever seen. In a fighting game? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. So dang difficult here. Garlic Red trying to weather the storm. Dragon and Rush does connect, and that is a dead Ginyu once again. Garlic Red has not been able to get mileage with this character this time. All the work he's done, and everybody's done the studying as well. They said we know how to pass midterms too. Mm -hmm. Again, like we said, nothing's going to be easy here at the finals. Even oh, yeah. if you're playing a unique team. Even oh, but wait a minute. There we go. Don't think you can approach for free. Great jab check. Oh, but again, the drop right there. Normally can get the extension on the loop. That's right, Gotta be man. so careful. No gaps allowed. The perfect attack is ever looming. Finds the firm though. And he is so important for Garlic to hit these combos. He goes for the tough ones, but that what allows him to make this team so successful. Look, look at this meter build. Unlimited meter. Let's see how this goes. How do you deal with Oka Pokey here? What is your option, Garlic Red? Right? Are you prepared to lock down Wade? Is it going to be a guard cancel? Is it going to be a raw attack? Just the perfect attack again in the C assist from behind. What in the world? Cell oh. ending up on that side. Then, yeah, you said the C assist coming through. He tried again, oh. he got caught. And that is going to be just Krillin versus the whole squad from Wade. Garlic Bread's tournament life on the line here. The Garlic Bread, he's got to dig down deep. Oh, oh I wow. see Wade. He's 
saw the way he played up against Ikuan, right? And the the key blast smash. into the falling Kamehameha. Wait this time, ready and waiting for it. Perfect punish. Man, oh man, and again, it's gonna be one mix up away. Garlic Red only has Krillin, one character left. Potentially gonna go 0-4 in the tournament. Another unexpected result. Indeed, Wade right here. Wakes up with a Solar Flare, gonna give him a chance to play for a little while, but Wade's defense has been so clean. Oh, it's just not saying that the after image. It starts. This is where it begins. Can you find the hit? Garlic Red, that 2 and connects. One character down, two to go. Garlic Red has a pixel and a dream. But well, didn't get the sense of being either, so he's not gonna get that extra health check. Fortunate. Oh, the after mirror and the chase down. Again, this is what he needs to rely on, right? He finds the sense of being. He gets in there, and then he punishes the perfect attack. That's a dead. That's a dead cell. Krillin able to make it happen with the card. Oh, but he drops it again. Garlic letting it slip through the no. grass. Potentially snatching defeat from the jaws of victory. And that is the 1-800 commentator curse right there. It is defeat. And even though he had the cell dead, he's going to be going home and upset instead. Wade does it. He pops off on me. That's my goat. Garlic bread is out. And that means that Wade is moving through. Whether it's winners and losers, we're going to find out. But shout out to Garlic Bread, guys. Amazing performance from him. Made it here. And Wade guarantees his ticket to the next stage. What did he tell you? Oh, no. I told, he told me he was going to pop off on me if I said he was going to make it out in losers. Oh, OK, OK. So okay. Uh, I earned that, yeah. <laughs> You're my go, Wade. Because you, so you did pick Garlic to win the whole day. So that obviously means that Garlic would win, would make it out in winners exactly. in your bracket, right? So yeah. Wade was like, nah, 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 nah. He wants to be known as the favorite in the group. He's proven exactly why right now. Again, he controls his own fate. Yeah. If he wins out here but gets equal on, he'll be able to make it out in winner's side for the next part of the tournament. But still, amazing showing from Garlic Red, 16 years old here, showing up to the 16. world stage. 16, back to back. I'm still getting back to back qualifier for the finals, even though he was too young to compete in it last year. Back to back at 16 years old, ridiculous, bro. Yeah, and I mean, now one of these players is going to show who the strongest in the group is Equan versus IZI Wade. And Wade, again, Won the LCQ last time, and you know who he beat to do it? Yeah. It's that guy on the other side of the indeed, table, Ikuan. So Ikuan definitely has a little bit of skin yeah. in this one, too. He wants to come out on top. He wants to show that, uh, you know, he did pretty well in that tournament as well. Yeah. And, uh, oh, God. Because last year, right, we had the, the top two make it into the tournament, yep. right, from the LCQ. So despite <laughs> Wade beating him, he still made it into the finals, had a great showing as well. But Wade, as we mentioned last year, won the LCQ, got second at the overall finals after winning the LCQ. Wow. So he's definitely looking to repeat history at the very least when he has to face Ikoa. Yeah, and I mean, Ikuan again has been playing the same team, really refining it as Wade has been finding his style and, you know, elevating too, because before it was the Janemba, now he's made the adjustment and he looks stronger than ever, right? Yeah. Uh, like, personally, I know a lot of people are getting caught in between, like, playing what they're most comfortable on and playing what's stronger in this patch. Yeah. And I really, if you could put the work in to make this, or the thing with Wade, right, is that he also kind of hybrided the team. Right, where like his original team that I know him for very well is the Kefla that hit the Android, what is it, Android 18. And then this time it was Kefla sell into the lab code. And so he still has that Kefla, he still kind of has that same basic strategy and mindset yeah. when approaching the game. So he was able to kind of blend like the his comfortability factor with what's stronger in this patch. Exactly, and that's what you need to do too. It's like pick something that is incredibly strong and then add your own style to yeah. it, right? Because he did the right thing. He slapped Cell on there, and he's like, I'm going to master this character, and I'm already great with these two. Let's find the synergies, which we obviously saw come to fruition here. Ikawan doing a little bit of his own flavor there, playing the only lone Go Goku blue player I've seen all weekend, yeah, yeah. like it, at, at the end stage only of the one. LCQ. <laughs> yeah. So, oh, man. This one is going to be for all the marbles. Yes, indeed, right? So winner of this so gets out into the top eight winner side. Yes. Loser gets out into the loser side. So we are deciding that right now between these two. Wade and Ikuan, who had two incredible showings up against Garlic Bread. Let's see who's making it out in that privileged winner side. Yep, button check right here once again as we are getting prepared for the last set of Group B. Group A has been decided. Two more competitors are moving on. We're just figuring out who has two lives and who has one. Did you bring your quarters? That's what we're finding out. Yeah, we're gonna find that out very shortly. Hand warmers, again, this is the world final stage. We wanna make sure everything is crimped proper before getting into the game. We'll make sure though, Wade definitely riding that momentum right. He's definitely gonna be in that hot seat 
having coming having come off just beating garlic bread and taking that dub gets to carry that momentum directly into it but equal on he had the opportunity to sit there watch the match try to dissect some of what wade's gonna be trying to do here up against him absolutely and now the button check is over group b is coming to its conclusion we have the climax at action now it is wade versus Ikoan. Yeah, France both. versus Japan. Taylor's oldest time. I was going to say, two juggernauts of the Dragon Ball Fighter scene. Absolutely. And now the handshake. Hands have been shaken. Games have been taken. We're going to see how it shakes up here in the final match of Group B to determine who's on winner's side with Kasuga. Is it going to be double French all day, or is it going to be France and Japan? We shall see, man. Uh, just the way Wade has been moving, like his uh, body language, his mannerisms, the way he just kind of, the aura he's giving off, he looks very comfortable, and he looks very much in control of this high-level competition. Absolutely. Jacket's coming off. He is ready to grind this one out. Eco on again. A lot of expectations here already moving forward to the top eight of the stage. So has to feel good about that one. And yeah, it all exactly. comes down to a first to two. Yeah, but you want to give yourself the best opportunity to take the whole tournament. So this is very important for both of these players. They get that sense of relief that they'll be moving on to the next part, but you want that winner's side. Oh, the yeah. statistic difference in winning a tournament when starting from winner's side versus starting from loser's side, Grand Canyon size gap. It's so difficult, especially because you just the mental fortitude to do it. And it's now where you have to put all your salt on the table, and you better be seasoned. And it looks like Ikoan, he was ready. He said, no, 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 sodium is white. Mm -hmm. Stilettos, the overheads every day. And again, yeah, just the 6 this time. Lock him down. Nice reflex from Wade. I've been really impressed with his defense all day. Nice. And again, just for you guys' reference, it is going to be Ikoan on the base color lab coat, and it is Wade on green. So you be rocking sure. the green team. For That's sure. right. Not forced to spark in this situation, but maybe later. Oh, he tried. I like that a lot. And got the catch right here. Ikoan immediately cashing out on that sparking. That goes with blue assist, just breaking in the elevator status. The knighthood. Mm -hmm. So Spitting. much bar, and Ball he gets goes. to go so deep. Shout out Styles P. Hold it down. J2H to escape the assist call, oh. and the whip reflect is a massive here. Um, nah, going to the easy bake oven combos. A little bit of an awkward situation, right? That falling button from Wade is completely whiffed. Yeah. Ikawan got caught in the middle of the reflect recovery. Now Wade's got the cell. Let's see how he imposes his will. Left, right, high, low, what's it gonna be? Goes for the bait. Oh my goodness, Super not even counter hit. Yeah. Kevla just let her do the heavy lifting. Tom Gotenks confirm the combo and confirm the kill. That's a team game classic. My assist will do the work. Yes, sir. I was going to sit here down back and look at you. I mean, hey, better safe than sorry, but the air swords come together. Kevla is a menace in this tournament so far. Are we going to get two Keflas in winter side? It's looking just, likely. On paper, hey, this character has been downplayed, I will say. Big Perfect. Dragon Rush. Oh. oh, it's my turn again. Ah. The punish from Wade. You don't even get to land on the ground. Bro. Incredible. Wade is now only going to be against the left. Oh. Mozart is oh. here to play his symphony. My man making Rembrandt out of you. That's ridiculous. He said, not quite my tempo. Mm -hmm. Not my speed. Do you have a perfect attack, a perfect tempo, no shot. Oh, again, the lariat in the grass. So many layers. Exactly like the suffocating pressure that Kefla can just bring to the table with these two assists. Any moment, bring the double axe handles, the low lariat. Oh, oh anti-reflect. Anti that was so smart, Wade. Every base covered. Game one to the boy. I'm sorry for ever doubting you, my goat. I'm sorry. <laughs> I will never speak against Wade again. France, you got it. My bad. I'll tell you, just the way he's looking, like the vibe he's getting off, his mannerisms, his body language, he's looking. He's in the zone? Yeah, different right now. He is teed up. He knew that today was the day to perform, and uh, that was a magic trick I don't think he wants to see again. Now you see him, now you don't. The beam was still present, but the drop is even worse. Wow, and he gets away with the raw attack too, and of course teaches Equan a lesson with the cell perfect attack. It's like, you know what's better than perfect attack? The second one. <laughs> oh yeah, by the way, half a bar for us, uh, 60%. Yeah, you know, casual. Oh, and he wanted it again, but Equan with the perfect timing on the raw attack, it managed to avoid it. Yo, that was cool. I like that little knockdown, and the tick throw does come through. Finally, Wade 
Getting cracked open by the DR. Keep going, looking good. Ghost Oki, get your friends out, get the credit card ready. Two good times. Oh, oh no. the elbow from long distance here. So fast. Whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah. The side switches into the overhead right there while the plasma was on the screen. Too much. Ain't to nobody think. defending against that. Yeah, wait too much. Think about it. the rack moves too fast. And that'll be a dead sell. Very yeah. good pickup here. Great awareness of Equal right there. It's a sneak in, like an overhead assist the sequence, right? In a scramble like that, it's going to be one of the toughest areas to defend against it. The smoke and mirrors were potent. A perfect, uh, yes, perfect word, bitch. Smoke and mirrors indeed. Now playing it slow. Full screen super dash off the beam. And again, the six age is so dang good. Demra. Double axe handle, but that's the same classic, part of the same lineage, lineage excuse me. Gets really good OP here, too. Steals the, steals the corner once again. Exactly where Labco wants to be. One touch on this go tanks. Mm -hmm. got no sparking either. Yeah, he's got to earn his way out. Bets on the reflex and bet well. Playing it full screen, patient. Knows that he has to find the right opportunity here. Doesn't want to challenge with the beam. Doesn't want to deal. Oh my god. The challenge is at the perfect time. The confirm with the beam. He go on losing the go tanks. And we're even again. How did we know when to call the assist right there? That was perfect timing, bro. He's a gamer, man. Team game master. And then again, yeah. Oh, but recovered in time and just immediately out of the recovery. Oh, but a drop again got a little awkward on the hit. Unfortunate for Ikawan, who runs to the key blast. Beam, full super dash. Gonna get a nice knockdown here. Do you opt to command grab to get a little health back? Absolutely not. We want our corner. Oh, oh yeah. that was so clean. That was Lair's. I think that was on purpose, too. Oh, yeah. Three the false sense of security. I see my opponent with I got a press. Nah. So good. Exactly. Like, covered the up escape and then had the ground for the assist as well. No oh, way. Oh, that jumped out into the flow back for the punish. This dude, Wade, bro, I'm telling you, he is looking oh, unmesswittable right now. He is floating like a butterfly. My man is ready to sting. Careful. Oh, this time, wait for the rejump. Nah, just go for the 6H command grab. Does I like end that. Up connecting. I love that from equal one. So many options because you hit the assist. Yeah, do a 6H and overhead like, or excuse me, overhead into command grab like that. Like, it's just, you're not going to be ready for it a lot of the time. It's evil stuff. Yeah, because usually you're expecting them to like wait and react to how the overhead played out, whether it was block or a hit, but Equal was just committed. Yep, all right, see the defense. Just goes for this new post. Oh, no, neutral super jump, and that's a massive starter. Let's see how this goes here. He's not gonna build that third bar to kill, but now it's a one-touch situation. And he's gonna spend the meter to get a little bit of blue health back, too. Feels more confident on the Kepla. One more touch will do it. It's gonna be the 3-H. No, he blocks the side. Oh, he wanted it, he wanted it. Yeah. Oh, the two H's there. Wade making it out of groups in winner's side. Equalon making it out in loser's side. Incredible stuff from both players. Yeah, Wade not dropping a game, showing why he was the LCQ champ last year. Yo. Reminding Equalon what happened in the LCQ last True. year and reminding the world that he is still one of the best in the world, one of the best in Universe 7. Shout outs to Wade and Equalon, your qualifiers for Group B, guys. Everybody make some noise. Definitely big ups, man. Wade was looking different in both sets, whether it was Garlic Bread or Ikawan. He just seemed to have all the answers. Like, literally, against Garlic Bread, the first machine gun palm got reflected and the raw tag got punished. It was incredible. Like, when I saw that, I was like, oh, okay, he may get it out in winners. You that's, know? Yeah, that's well, how you knew he watched the tape, and this is the results if you're just joining in now. Garlic Bread down 0-2 to Ikawan. Wade with a 2-0 over Garlic Bread and then a 2-0 over Ikawan to decide the finals for our group B, that is going to be Garlic Bread bowing out. Still an amazing performance. Got all the way here with his tournament win at Thunderstruck. So no slouch. But we are going to also look at Group A once again. Range, talk to me. What happened here? Indeed, right? We saw Kasuga take it 2-0 over both Lukar and Yasha. Obviously, on paper, going into this, Yasha was the favorite to make it out in winners. Didn't end up making it out at all. Lukar also with an incredible upset to make it out in loser's side. But Kasuga, most impressive showing right there. 2 0 in both players for full four points in game difference. Yeah, absolutely nuts. And I mean, again, not ex how we expected the groups to shake out, but this is the World Tour Finals. You would see how everybody, you know, can 
can show up or shut up. And I think we're also going to get another update. I think I was hearing it. Did I hear bracket? No, no, it's the, it's the B standings. Oh, we're going over the B the standings, B standings now once as well. again. Sorry, I heard B and I'm like, bracket? Yeah, yeah, bracket? You know I got excited. But yeah, as you can see, the same scoreline. Yep. On same the other line. side. Man, Wade, Ikoan, and then Garlic Bread, 404. Garlic bread not found. Yeah, definitely not, unfortunately, for the man. But he'll be back, as you mentioned, 16 years old. His fighting game career is only at its fledgling state. Yeah. So I expect to see him for many years to come. As I do all of these players, Wade and Equan, incredible showings as well from them. But Wade was looking different. I'm excited to see him in top eight. Yeah, and that top eight is going to be even more mental because, I mean, that was just group A and B. Group C and D are yet to play. We still have what is considered on paper to be the hardest group in group D due to the LCQ and Group C has the Evo champ. So there is so much more to look forward to, so much more to enjoy. Please continue to enjoy the Dragon Ball Fighters World Tour Finals because we've got more action on the horizon. We'll see you then.
Welcome back to the Dragon Ball Fighters World Tour Finals 2023-2024 season. And half of the groups are now completed. The action has been electric here inside the Dragon Ball Game Battle Hour Arena. And I know all of you guys and girls here inside have been enjoying it. Let me hear some energy, please. Beautiful, beautiful. We have some of the very best Dragon Ball Fighters players in the world assembled here today, and we will crown a champion. It's time to get into our second half of the group stages. So uh, any further ado, let's hand it over to two voices that are synonymous with Dragon Ball Fighters, Tyrant and Damascus. Hey, what's up everyone? Tarot, it's time on? for the finals, we're in. How are you doing, brother? I'm doing good, man. Listen, man, I've been sitting there watching the action from the front row and it's been amazing, as Logan said. Uh, and yeah, it's just been crazy, man. Like we've seen some of the highest play in the world, a few upsets, actually. And I think that might continue because group stage, you know, three player round robin groups, anything can happen. Anything can happen and it's the kind of the nature of having only beasts in a tournament. One of the monsters is going to go down early. No yeah. matter who's eliminated, you're going to be like, Damn, that guy is eliminated already. I mean, obviously, Yasha is a big surprise. Bro, Garlic Bread. Oh. Garlic Bread has been, like, one of the most dedicated players on this game yeah. for so long. And he keeps getting better and better. And every once in a while, it's like this. You can't really hit your stride in a tournament. Happens, you know, like set your sights on the next tournament. Next event, you still have room to improve. And yep. We'll see these players again. But first two groups are done now. It's time to go for the next two groups. Before we go towards top eight, of course, all day long today, all the way to the end, we will crown a new Dragon Ball Fighters wow. world champion, yep. current world champion, not in attendance, of course, shout out to Fenrich, who, you know, uh, set his sights on the other games since he uh, got, he beat the final boss of Dragon Ball. You know? That's it, he won. Yeah. You know, he, he did it, he achieved his goal, uh, and there he is. He's, he's uh, set himself in history as one of the world champions of this game. So yes, we will have a new champion crowned by the end of the day. So very exciting here at Dragon Ball Fighters, um, a world tour here at Battle Hour. And it's pretty cool, man. Like out here, you know, we, it's, it's not just Dragon Ball Fighters here. It's an entire Dragon Ball convention. Yes. So all kinds of stuff happening over here at the weekend. So uh, it's it's really, really cool. Yeah, uh, we've got a huge, huge line, the whole Bro, like this... length of the hall right now. I can't uh, lie, I'm seeing the lines. I'm seeing the cosplay. Yeah. I'm thinking, why not? That's good because you get to line up and watch some Dragon Ball That's Fighters. That's what I'm saying. So of course, let's talk to the people, Charles de Paul, who are uh, watching us today. I do think, Tarn, this honestly might be the best meta to watch because everyone has it. different characters. We see a lot and right now we're about to have a ridiculous group. It's been called <laughs> the Group of Death yep. for a while. It's Group C with Kane, Obi Assassin, and the Evo champion himself. He carried two Europeans, one American. How is this one going, Tarot? Yeah, this is definitely the group that um, caught a lot of eyes. I included myself. When I saw this one was announced, I was like, damn, that is the crazy group right there. Um, so yeah, of course, we're going to have uh, a couple European representatives in this group, as well as your EVO champion, uh, Kikari, who yep. has been absolutely uh, unstoppable. Absolutely, uh, he's yeah. very, very strong player, of course, from the East Coast. Some players, uh, you know, some uh, people Evo might Champions consider him the best. If you're the EVO <laughs> champion, you know, you are the best. EVO champ is enough of an uh, accreditation, you know, yeah. of an acolyte to uh, work with. And of course, you know, Kane and Obi Assassin. Kane, we've seen on and off, you know, throughout the season, because obviously he's been playing a lot of Street Fighter as well. He's been going around, you know, from game to game. He's now representing Team uh, BK Rug, uh, you know, throughout the regular season. And, you know, he's been getting back on that Dragon Ball grind. Of course, obviously, you can't qualify to World Finals without consistently grinding and doing well in tournaments. His opponent, Obi Assassin, of course, the boy, you know, like, we love this guy. My guy. <laughs> you and I have been seeing him around before. AG has been loving this guy since season one, back when he was the, pretty much the only one to put hits, you know, at the forefront of the competition. It, and he's been going around. It's, all, it's always been hit. And yeah. then, you know, two other characters that support him in yeah. whatever meta it may be. Yes. Um, so I know right now he's been dabbling with a, with a few different characters. Um, you know, he, he's... It, it, it's hard to say what time your team is going to settle on, but he does have a few under his belt. Yeah. Um, you know, he switches be, uh, between a few characters. You've got Team Gohan, for example. You've got Trunks. Um, he was playing 16 for a while, Lab Coat. So a few under his belt. And, and if we're talking about people that like to switch around the, 
characters. <laughs> Kane is the guy for that, bro. This guy must have at least like 20 different teams yes. under his belt. Yes, I've always liked Kane, you know, as someone obviously who plays a lot of characters, but also someone who is actively trying to break the meta. Dragon Ball has been a game that's been defined by top characters for a while, you know, where everyone plays a subset of like five or six characters who are really good at high level. Kane has always been the guy to be like, hold up, that one character might break the thing. I remember him yeah. uh, putting out Blue Vegeta back in the Lab Coat era, because uh, he found out, you know, obviously using Big Bang Attack is amazing against the spin. He always looks for specific counters to the meta. The thing today is, today's meta has 25, 35 characters I that know. are viable. And, and uh, everybody's viable. Think? Everybody's yeah. viable, yeah. as you just said. You're right. Uh, so, <laughs> you know, it's really hard to say what he's going to come with. Uh, uh, but let's get into it here. I guess we're going to get ready for the action right now. Um, so let's see. It's going to be UK represented by Obi Assassin. Oh, the names are switched around there. Yeah. We'll get that fixed in just a moment. Uh, on yep. the left is Kane, representing France, and on the right, OB, representing the UK. Thank you, production. Let's go. So this time, are we going for a Trunks anchor? OB likes to, uh, you know, swap between Trunks, go for black, you know, casual uh, Android 16. Uh, Trunks mentioned, Trunks is finally a character, guys, as a Trunks. <laughs> Bro, Trunks is actually... <laughs> as a Trunks enthusiast is... myself, I am Yo. eating. Trunks is actually kind of nasty right now, yes. I can't lie. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. yes. I'm, I'm enjoying I'm enjoying playing him, I'm enjoying watching him, and Obi, of course, he's been repping the trunks, you know, forever. Team Gohan, hit and trunks against Blue Vegeta, GT Goku, and Tien. Tien kind of took a back seat in this current meta since everyone does a ton of damage now, so we don't really need Tien as a high damage utility anymore. But Kane stays with the Tien. It's time for the first game of Group C. It is Kane representing France against Obi Assassin from the UK. Let's get it right here. And of course, Kane starting out with that Blue Vegeta, a character that has been improved. Maybe, maybe the most improved character overall. If you think about where he was and where he is now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, currently he's one of the absolute menace of this match. Blue Vegeta is here a lot, but Team wow. Gohan, that's Bombos. the one. Yep, we got Bombos on deck. That was a medium starter as well with the second hit of the combo. So huge damage from Obi Assassin going to be Kane down to the corners. And here we go. Oh! Oh! No, he he got two happy throws there as well, oh. and that's going to be huge, but no. Tien dropped, not massive damage, unfortunately, for Obi. Yeah, luckily for Kane, Tien dropped out there, because that could have been devastating. But right now, Obi taking advantage, drops the combo, though. Yeah. Unfortunate. Tournament jitters, Tarrant, it's the first game. Yeah, the listen, man. stage is tight. When you play on stage, like playing casuals, playing online is fine, but once you're up here, and the, you know, the, the bright lights of the stage hit you, that's when the chips are really down. Here yes. we go, Tien. Shikoho. Oh, All right. Spark immediately does not work. The pressure, his movement from the hit, he's moving around, but it's still time for Obi to put the pressure on Kane. Of course, blocking standing. That's oh. where we Oh my God! What an answer. God point. Okay, here we go. Kane should be able to get this kill, I believe. Yeah, that'll be enough right there. You've got level two with Tien, don't forget. I appreciate your professional turn, but I think Kane should be able to kill. <laughs> you got have it. way too much experience yeah. in seeing these combos. Oh, you're right. He, <laughs> Kane will complete the whole combo, do all like the really hard re jumps, you know, one, <laughs> super difficult links, and then drop the super, yeah. you know? <laughs> It'd be like that. It'd be like that sometimes. Lobby Assassin getting the opening. We were talking about characters and balance character. One character is back. GT Goku. Bro, he is <laughs> back in a big way. I, I love this character as well. He's super cool. But that move is, is kind of degenerate, I can't lie. Oh my god. The reverse Kame is, yep. is kind of cursed. What do you mean it's footsie? <laughs> that is the neutral. That is, that is just the right That's what it is. Obi Assassin gets the pickup. Oh no! Oh, what happened there? Did he forget oh, wow. he not have the smash anymore? I mean, Kane is going to take full advantage of that situation. Obi with a little drop and another. What is happening with these fellas? We are having a drop showdown between these two. The reflection and no, no super dash allowed. It is next time for the team Gohan, more pressure. Only Assassin gonna send the TN into the corner yet another drop between these two. They need to fix okay, the part of the game, man. Yep. Here we go. Guard cancel vanish out the corner there. Calls Chaozu. Oh, it's time. It's time for the flip license. It's time for the flip license and yep. We get this. We now have a clean extension after this. Should be more than enough to get the kill. There you go, you need the vanish. You get a slight knockdown after this. There we go. Obi Assassin. Yep, but the sector. down, which means the biggest anchor is dead in this team. Yeah, that's right. Now Kane, you know, GT can definitely pull his weight as well, but let's see how this one goes. Obi with a massive life lead, but Kane is no stranger to making an insane. Come on, a call out! Oh my goodness. Smoothness. And you see Obi not trying any region, not trying anything hard. He's going for the basic combo. 
Yep, goes down. No need to extend. You know you're gonna kill with one bar. Make it work. Kane now down to do Vegeta by himself. Low life. High, da high damage potential. High meter in his butt. Can oh. make it happen? And Blue Vegeta is the king of sniping his opponents. So Kane is gonna be looking to connect with those three key blasts. But right, here we go. Thunder Flash for the corner situation. All right. Oh, wow. Okay. Four LL. Yep. No explanation of the cut on both sides. This is what... oh. oh my goodness! Right now. Oh, oh wow. Ob blocks the vertical super dash. Uses that two H to get the kill, and that's the first match for Ob Assassin. Ob clutching this one. Kane had a couple of opportunities. Couldn't really keep that momentum, unfortunately. He's gonna be chatting to wait. Has a short coaching moment. Yeah, that's right. Of course, Wade's that's his boy and uh, a hit expert in his own right, Wade. So. Yep. Okay. Oh, no, a drop again from another one. one. Okay. Guess the 2 H. Keep it basic. Yeah, Blue Vegeta's damage output, by the way. Can we talk about that? Oh, my God. It's, it's a bit much. <laughs> yes, it is. All right, Obi with an early spark. He wants to keep the team composition there. He wants to keep Team Gohan nice and healthy. Yeah, well, Team Gohan has been a... And part of the trio in game number one. And yeah. The Another character that got some heavy improvements as well. Yes. Okay. Uh, Frank Hill. Frank Hill counts back as well. Kane. Happy to not block hits. And just get some time to a getaway. Oh no, another one. Tyra, these combos need to be finished. Kane. I need to see these pickups right now. Pressure on to be in the corner of the guard council. Oh. He's going to be blocked. And with a five out. Start, oh. You didn't use an M start. That could have been the dead trunks. He had two assists ready. Yeah, Kane is not looking as polished as we used to see him. But the Dragon Rush connects, and that will be a dead trunks if Kane completes the combo. <laughs> and that's a big if right now. I like the, the little star at the end of yeah. the sentence. Small print. <laughs> <laughs> Kane may not finish his combos. All right, there we go. Yeah, the legal imprint is written, and we're good. Trunks is down. Kane has a solid lead this time. Look at the reverse Kamehameha, it's so good. Full combo time as well. And that new buff with the beam super dash for GT. Oh, and then no. the drop he didn't even finish. Yep, he's not finishing the combo. He's still getting the opening regardless of that team Gohan. Kane looking much better in this game number two. Obi Assassin is down to hit alone. Six bars. Hard task to head for him. All right. That's the first opening call. Well, there you go. By any means necessary, Kane in control here. But Obi Assassin. We'll get a great start on this GT Goku's life. So let's see what the pressure will be after this. This is Obi's favorite character. DR. All oh, right. Can he get the extra bar though? Doesn't need it. Okay. Yeah, shotgun. Boom. Shotgun on deck. Obi, one down, two to go. But pretty much a one touch situation against that duo, Tien and Goku Vegeta. Oh, there we go. Z assists. I see you, and that's going to be enough right there because this damage output is huge. Yes, sir. One into three. Okay. Yep. Level three. Kane even zero. It is one one in this set. Both of the players are kind of in the process of cleaning up the gameplay right now because we see a lot of drops, we see a lot of issues here and there. You know, wait here to chat. Hmm. Maybe a controller thing because he is getting a lot of weird drops. I'm not going to lie. Okay, straight back in though. This is very important. This could be to, to decide, you know. It could come down to who, who wins this game. Yep, in a group of three. Could Every decide your fate. match counts. Wow. Ooh, the tournament Dragon Rush is actually dead. Very All the nice. Assassin's experience pays off here. Ah, gets caught and now Blue Vegeta is gonna go. Get some damage for Kane, but hey. Look at that, he tried the challenge at a bad time, and now Obi's gonna take advantage. This is a ton of damage. Oh, he got these? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He likes the character, you know? Those, th those mid screen combos are not easy, by the way, for Team yeah. Gohan. Obi is looking on point. Show it, Kane. Yes, I got them. Let's go. Forces the spark out. That's a huge W for Obi, actually. Let's see if he can defend. No, he cannot. Gets open with the IAD low. And now, Kane is gonna go to work. He's going to take full advantage of that spark meter build and look at this, ending this with five bars, that's huge for Kane. 
Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Gets the opening! Oh, OB Assassin! Sending him down. He wanted the mix at opening, but no conversion. Oh. Kane's happy to block right now in the corner. There's a spark for more mix. Potential from OB, the good reflect, oh. and Kane! Oh no, a drop! Could have got the kill! Pirate. That would have been Pirate. it! My uh, hurts. Oh, oh my goodness. We flip. Oh, the creative 2 8 but not gonna work. Okay, oh, yeah, Kane he needs to spend some of these bars. He's got seven on deck. Yeah. Can I use the bar to get damage, set up the Twitter situation? And now you're in the corner, you are forced to block. Solid defense. Oh! You must be stopped! Let's go. Okay. Flip. Oh, no Damn. flip! Right. Ben's idea that works, we take those! Obi Assassin takes the first character. Wow, okay. Look at this, you have to defend now. Of course, I haven't, I haven't seen a lot of those uh, EX grabs out of Kane actually, you know, with yeah. that. Uh, definitely one of the, the main tools Blue Vegeta has. But look at this, okay. As simple as it gets, and this should be enough. Yeah. Nice. Boom, choke slam into the Gallic gun. Yep, nice. Up level one. More than enough. Game is extremely close right now. Both players are two characters. Very similar amount of resources right now. And the next character, Damn. very important, gets the opening. What a conversion. Good defense still. Oh, comes back. Use that super dash with assist. The classic. And no attack. Oh! That's going to be a solid amount as well. Or a combo connects. Use. Yep, he wants oh! it all, gets the hit A, and that's going to be another opening. OP Assassin taking a stronger option in this match. Kane is down to Blue Vegeta by himself. No more life for Kane. But he could technically one touch both characters. That's right, all it takes is a medium start from Blue Vegeta, and that will be curtains for Gohan right here. But oh, all right, he's going to connect off the stray key blast. It's not going to be the most damage, but it's all about that momentum. Can Kane keep it up here? Knockdown time. Let's see. All right. Nice tech. tech. So critical right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Really good at this. oh, he got it. And that should be enough time. Yeah, that's A once again delivers. And OB Assassin is going yeah. to go for another Boom. one into the shotgun. Taking the win here on Group C over Kane. OB Assassin starts on a positive note. And Kane now is on the back foot. He's going to need to win his next game if he wants hope to stay alive in this tournament. That's Paris. right, you have to win that. And uh, traditionally between these two, it's usually been Kane that gets the upper hand. I'm not gonna yeah. lie, like, like I love OB, he's my boy, but as you know, you look at the history books between these two, yeah. Kane has definitely had the edge on him yeah. uh, more times than the other way around. So, you know, anything can happen in these, these groups of three. Round Robin groups of three is crazy, bro. Today has been a pretty crazy day so far. OB Assassin clutching this one, an extremely close match between these two. Kane will have a moment to think uh, before he plays because he is the one staying on the stage right now to take on the EVO 2023 champion Hikari you, jumping on. You know, that's a tough one. Yeah. If you if you just lost and you're the one that has to stay on stage for your yeah. next game, that is, that's a rough look. Yep. Because you're just thinking about, I can't let that happen again. You know, whereas if you, if you just won, you're good. Yep. You're just like, okay, just more of the same. Let's get it. Yep, exactly. That is uh, uh, the one Kane that absolutely needs that win to uh, then see what happens between Obi Assassin and Hikari. Of course, guys, these are groups of three and top two makes it out to the top eight. Third place is eliminated at the end of the group three. The two eliminated players so far have been uh, Yasha and Garlic Breads. Uh, and Say that again. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's like, it's that just, in finals. <laughs> that's just insane. That's what I'm saying. Like, those were two favorites to win the whole thing and they're out. That could have been grand final, sir. What? That's actually, it's actually mad. Yasha and Garlic <laughs> Bread both out. Unbelievable. Yeah. It's been it's been insane. Uh, Kane versus Hikari and then Obi Assassin will get back to stage to play against Hikari. And after that will be Group D. Group D being uh, the fully American group with uh, Zayn, Legendary Pred and the LCQ winner yesterday in Zen. In Zen. We'll see them a bit later today to complete the top eights and then run through that brackets as we are here and battle hour 2024 big venue with plenty of uh, dragon ball fun there is a uh, hirobu kageyama concert a bit later so I'm hey to, uh, <laughs> get me a front row ticket for that please <laughs> <laughs> going to uh, going to enjoy some vibes here in los angeles players are getting ready i do believe that's gonna be a button check as always let's go or are we going straight in that's the question okay hikari has been uh uh Adapting his uh, his 
Loadout, you know, he's got that new team locked and loaded for this season. The Jiren 17 uh, Adult Gohan squad, which is one of the best teams in the game. Let's oh be perfectly God. honest. Oh my God. Bro, Jiren and 17? Yeah, the synergy is out of this world. Okay, we play, we play straight away. No more to check. Let's go. Jiren and 17 are absolutely ridiculous. And then Adult Gohan is out there just waiting for them to build meter and capitalize, cash out, and see some ability to go Let's go. He carries. Unfortunately, not getting the first opportunity for Kane to get the momentum right now. Into the corner, he carries here and is forced to block the 6 set. Going to open him up, but Kane going to extend. How much damage can he deal with this turret? Oh, is, is it enough to kill Jiren? I think that's dead. Yeah, that's going to be dead right there. For sure. Okay. But you can't forget, right? GT uh, level 1 without the power up is a bit lacking, but then you've got TN to back that up. You yes, know? exactly. That's a good way to offset the damage. Life is that made it better level one. K with a very, very strong start over he carries. Oh, oh my god! Forbidden starters. The Haram starter attack. Yeah. It's been a while. I get like, <laughs> when I see this, I'm like, what if it's 2018? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's back. <laughs> Don't forget. Oh Yo! my god, the reverse Kamehameha, the absolute money. You cannot challenge this character in the air. Kane looks like he's suddenly remembering every combo on Earth. There we Not go. Not to drop anymore. Is Kane back? Okay. Okay, Hikari sparks up. Gets out. Oh, look at this! Are you kidding me? And a full conversion as well. GT Goku. Going to at least beat that far timer there. Not able to uh, kill Adon Gohan at this point. That is going to be a good way to kill the spark. Get the Dragon Rush. Which level 3 are we going for? Okay. Tien. He's going to go for it. Level 3 with Tien. And let's see. Ooh. Oh, he went for the grab. But Hikari was not having that. He was holding oh. up. <laughs> oh, man. Kane. What happened between the first and the second game, bro? This I is know. the game. What happened? Amazing reactions from Kane. Might be watching King Kane right now. Oh my god, and Bruh. he wins of that trade. No conversion though. Lucien looking to get more damage on this. Watch out, he carries the force to blow! Brother! You're done? Oh. That's it? Here oh we go! My god, Tarot! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Kiko! Kane! Absolute statements from the Frenchman after taking the loss against Obi Assassin. Oh, I think it was a control issue because he was using the black pad before, now he's got the red one. You're right. Okay, I guess it might you be a controller right. issue. Okay. Listen. Kane is back. Kane is back. Kane is in. He's got the weight assists out there. He's carried being coached by legendary Fred. Yeah. East Coast Brothers. Of course. Assemble. And let's go. All right, Kane. Really fully feeling his flow right now, but nice 2S right there. Jiren will stop you in your tracks. Yep. Oh, but reflect, and that's going to be big damage as well. He carry is the one immediately takes the momentum in game two. He absolutely needs it. Yep. 2H all the way back to the corner. Oh, no! That could have been pivotal right there. He might have been able to kill. Oh. <laughs> hey, yo! Interactions! Scrambles! Hell yeah. That's we... the drama pull factor. Let's love. go! <laughs> Magnificent cool. super dashes, bro. Okay, here we go. Big punch for good. And Jiren gonna keep the pressure on right now. Straight to the spot. Got to watch out. 6M is going to be blocked. He carries both to block. He carries both in the mix. No, straight to the spark. I like that. Oh no, you can't. Oh, ah, no, he's using. Do you know what? I love the adaptation. He used 17 yeah. Yeah. to offset the reverse camera hammer help, but now gets opened up regardless. And Kane back in the driver's seat. And now At least for now. Game, there is no more spark on both sides. Honest games. Honest oh. game and do the two times on screen. I like that. Okay, a nice you might be lying, into the dragon fist flurry. <laughs> Here we go, guys. Oh, into Tien's level three. I think that's no. Oh, level two. Okay, I think so. Uh, uh. Oh my god, this team, bro. Bro. Oh my god, this team. Crane style, bro. Tension hat. Oh, oh no! Didn't get the conversion though, but the delay lands. Oh my god, the conversion look on Show! Oh my god! Kane is going to extend the back dash, Charles to lock you down. Hikari, you need to block for your life right now in the corner. That Android 17 is mighty important for you to stay alive. Kane keeps him in the corner, and the road tag is going to be caught as well. The Adol Gohan not for the oh. a dragon rush on Adol Gohan. Kane reclaims the momentum. There we go. It's going to be a knockdown time. Shinki Koho once again. Let's see. Go to the block. Wow, what a block though. 
as Hikari okay. keeps the hook alive right now. That's it, he's Damascus. Hikari has to chase right now, but look, gets caught by the Dodonpa! Okay. He's gonna beat that second bar tower. That should be a dead out of Gohan. Oh, yeah, that's done. Yep, Kane Get that finishing the combo. He's down to 17. Kane! This looks like Prime Kane time. He is back. Okay. Oh, what a oh, pick so, up oh. from Ikari, and he got two! That's gonna be gigantic tyrant because the GT goes from stand behind. Yes! Okay. Ah. There we go. Lazy Boy level three. Takes Big that change. corner back. Yep. Big oh! Bro! Terrible! Wait a minute. Sea there. assist oh, is there. Yes, there is a sea assist tyrant. That's All done! Right. He is going to extend. That should be done, tyrant. Gets to level one. Into not even a second level one needed. Kane with an absolutely dominant performance over the evil champ. Remains alive in this tournament. Lost to Obi 2 1. Won against Hikari 2 0. And now, Taran, that is going to be a massively important game because wow. there could be a possibility of a three way tie. A potential, potentially, that's Hikari indeed. winning over Obi 2 1 creates a three way tie situation. Obi winning means Obi is through. The good thing for Obi is all he has to do is to win. Hikari would need to win 2 0. Has to be a 2 0 as yep. well. 2-1 creates a three-way tie situation. Massively important game. Kane, of course, will be sitting down on the sidelines looking at what's happening. What's my life? My life is not between my hands anymore. My destiny, my fate is on Obi and Hikari's shoulders. Huge grin on his face after that. You know, you've got to imagine that. Taking it over at the Evo Champ 2-0, that's huge for Kane. Hikari oh. shaking his head there, but let's see. It all comes down to the next match. Yep. And it's like we were just saying, if you lose the game when you stay on, that's, you know, that you're just constantly thinking about how you just lost. But yeah. Kane turned that around perfectly. Bro, he transformed. He did. He actually transformed. Like, he... That was Super Saiyan Kane. Kane in the, in the second one. Let's see. That 2-0 victory over Hikari is massive because obviously he got that one point over Obi Assassin to help him on the game differential. And now the match that will decide of the fate of this group. Obi Assassin representing the UK against Hikari. And Hikari goes back. To the team he won EVO with. That's it. The double fusions 17. The team that everyone thought would be obliterated after the current patch. That's it. But he was like, no. Well, let's put it this way. The people that truly believed <laughs> still won with that team. Yes, sir. You know, we saw a lot less of them, you know, but yep. but now the you know the, the true ones stayed with him. Yep. So but here we go. Hikari. Let's go. Going for this team instead this time. Alright, Obi Assassin looking to immediately get the opening. Going to spend wow. some time. He does play with Yasha a lot, obviously. That's a team he's got experience with, but he carries a different beast. That's right. Definitely has the experience. Mm. But let's see now. Obi Assassin, who could forget, forget that amazing set he had with Yasha at versus fighting earlier this year. Oh, oh my god. But now, you know, different style here with Hikari. Different style, same two touches. Absolutely. That is the team. That's dead. We Look play. That. That's the strength of this team. Meet or not? We are happy to go for two touches. All right. Okay, here we go. It's going to be hit for OB. Nice block from Hikari. So good at that on defense. Yo! You can't keep tabs on hit. He's so tricky. And look at that. That's that nerf coming into play. Saw that A assist there. Oh, the challenge. Yep. 27 frames normal. That's a bit too slow for button. Mm -hmm. If your opponent wants to challenge it, Obi is now warned. He carry win press buttons. Yep, keeps it simple after the record knockdown. Good block Ooh. right there. Oh my goodness. He carry says it's all smoke and mirrors. Can't fool me. He's been really good at countering Obi Assassin so far. Yeah, Let's there go. it is. That power, that A assist from Andrew 17. And he's going to go for that level three to waste spark time even more so. Force Obi into a guess for the character situation. Let's see. How this goes. Wow. What a block. Damn. Okay. OB was trying to move or press buttons or something off that. I didn't see counter hit. Yep. That was caught. Regardless. Down to trunks. Anchor trunks. That's it. That'll be a difficult task ahead for OB Assassin right now. He's going to try to challenge. Let's see. Now let's see. Can OB change the timeline here? Can he? Oh, oh my goodness. He carry. Just like what happened to Kane, it looks like he's finally showing his, uh, his true colors. That's right. In this match, it took a while for him to take it over Kane, but 
Oh wow. my god, Sparky, are you done? Sorry. Hikari making quick work of that first game. Obi Assassin struggling. Here are, I believe, the scenarios, Talent, right? If Hikari wins 2 0, he's getting a better game differential than Obi Assassin because Obi had won 2 1, two, two, one. one. Yeah. against Kane, right? So if Hikari winning 2 0, has Hikari and Kane. Through. Yeah. Hikari winning 2 1, I'm not entirely sure. That's the one to check. Obi winning means Obi through. Yeah. Means Hikari. If Obi wins, it's Obi and Kane, Hikari's out. That's uh -huh. simple. Hikari needs to maximize the game differential, looking for that 2 0. Obi Assassin went back to the card to select screen. Are we going to see maybe a Goku Black? I was talking to Obi earlier, and he was telling me, I'm not going to lie, I want to play Lab Coat. But I haven't played Lab Coat in a while, so I don't know if he's going to pick Lab Coat. It doesn't look like it's going to be the Adol Gohan. Goku Black, Goku. the throwback to Season 1. Yeah, he's going for the Season 1 team, but I don't know, man. Like, Goku Black is definitely heavily improved yes. in this version of the game, but picking out up here when it's really do or die is... Oh, I heard I heard the little effect. I heard the little... So someone's oh, swapping a swap, character. Yeah. It might be Gohan Point. I heard the little um, swap there. Yeah, the ching. Okay. Let's go. Maybe not. Okay, I think that he swapped to Vegito oh, on Vegito. point. Vegito, Vegito point. Let's go. Oh, oh. Bro. that was just a, that, that was muscle memory of the tech. What a five in. Yeah, that's what true. a five in oh, by Hikari. He, he didn't get the rejump here. Yeah, yeah. has to. And that combo early. All right, All right. he's forced to block in the corner right now. The hit is waiting Whoa. straight to the spark. Yeah, he that's right. He needs to find some momentum, Taran. He has not gotten any kind of momentum. Wow. He carry, countering every single approach from Obi Assassin. Yeah, he realized that once you're in Spark, those jump cancels become very prevalent, and Hikari was ready to shut that down. And oh! Now, oh, he's, he's moving, he's moving, dancing around. Hikari now down in the corner. Obi Assassin will be able to tag into potentially Adol Gohan to power him up. Yes. Okay, there we go, level one. Gohan unlocked. Nice tech. tech on the Dragon Rush there from Hikari. Oh, oh, but gets caught, oh, no, no follow-up! Oh no, no conversion! Saved by those assists! And saved by the assist indeed! Wait yep. a second, wait a second, Spirit oh, Sword's there! Alright, uh, th like that the, was a weird little trade-off. I like I liked the answer attempt from Obi, I was wondering if that would work, because that should be a safe DHC, but in this case, Obi Assassin could not make it work, and it's Hikari getting yet another opening. Obi's Gohan stuck in the corner right now, the beam is not going to help Barrier. Putting in extra time for Hikari. Yeah, solo knockdown. Oh, Ooh. wait a second. Okay, Gohan's done. Okay, Hikari now does have Spark and all three characters. That is a huge game changer right now. This is looking like a difficult time for Obi Assassin Taran. The hit. Oh no. He okay. wanted Goku Black in, but he's met. Yeah, that's going to be that. Knockdown time. Oh, misses the, the high jump though. Ah, let's see what the Goku Black says. Oh, buffering right something. Oh. Maybe oh. the air grab. Okay, here we go. Nice blocks. Oh, oh. oh gets caught. Oh, yeah, that's ah, it. Oh, my okay. God. Yo, Hikari is playing so efficient. He is not willing to get that game any longer than it should be. He kept that as simple as yes. it possibly could be right there with that spark combo. He was not risking it. And there we go. OBS Assassin down to hit. And this could be it right now. I'm not going to lie, Tarots. This is looking long for man. It's looking like end of the line. It could be tech yes. on the Dragon Rush for Hikari. Okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Oh, no. oh never mind. Bad follow-up from yeah. Obi Assassin. Unfortunate for him. And Hikari with this will take a dominant. Oh, my hey, yo. Oh, Tarot. Oh, my. Tarot. Tarot. Are we creating villains? Is, is, is are, it? Is, are we? is this what's happening? Are we wow. creating villains today? Yo, nah. listen. I know that the next EU person who plays against Hikari <laughs> will have a bounty. There's <laughs> <laughs> hey, a bounty on his head right now. All of Europe jumping on like, you don't disrespect our boy like that. Damn. <laughs> that is Kane. I might have fallen, but you've got something to do for me. Hikari qualifies, saving his first loss against Kane. That That's is right. going to be him, I believe, moving forward. With Kane moving forward, an extremely close group. But he carried clutch this in the end. And that's been such a like that up a, and down, back that, and forth that, set. That was a very up and down <laughs> yeah. uh, group for sure. Yeah. But um, yeah, I guess the takeaway is that we know that Hikari's down input works. Yes. We know that we know that that is uh, his stick is in working order. But yes. There we go. So uh, so so Hikari.
Uh, and uh, Kane through, right? I do believe that's Hikari and Kane. So. We are waiting for the official. And I think that means Kane should be first to in winners. Uh, because Kane got the win 2-0 two, two two over Hikari. Yeah, 2-0. Yeah, uh, I do believe that's going to be uh, you know, the ranks for this Kane in winners. Hikari in losers. Unfortunately, we have to say goodbye to Obi Assassin. No more UK representative today. But, you know, big shout out Ooh. to Obi Assassin, man. Always love to see him. You know, on stage, and indeed, Taran, this is the final one. Everyone's on one and one, but considering the game differential and head to heads, Kane is going to be the one taking first place in Group C, representing France in top eight winners. Hikari will go in top eight losers a bit later today. That is Group C done. We only have one group left before going to these final stages. Let's go, let's go. Group D coming up here, and that will feature our LCQ winner from yesterday, Inzen. Ah, yeah. let's have a chat about this start. Oh, I mean, you and I were watching the LCQ. You were streaming it on your channel and stuff. Yeah. Inzem won the entire LCQ, losing only one single game. One that was game. in Grand Finals to Daniel, where he lost. Uh, he won 3-1. Every single win before this were 2-0, 2-0. Really two -zero. crazy stuff, man. He has not been worried at all throughout the entire LCQ. To him, it was a warm-up for today. That's right. And Inzem, of course, you know, being uh, seen as one of, if not the best American player right now. You know, he, he's just super, super, you know, he's, he, what I like about Inzem is he adapts his team to the mayor every single time. He yeah. plays top tier and he don't care. Yeah, he and plays what works and he I plays like them that. so efficiently. His team right now is an absolute money. It's with base Vegeta, Cell and Android 18. It yep. is so hard to navigate the screen against a player like Inzem. He is so optimal and he's looking ridiculous along with Inzem. In this one, in this group, there is a fellow East Coast representative, Legendary Pred. Legendary Pred, of course, you know him. He's been around, he's won uh, East Coast Throwdown this year, you know, representing the East Coast. And he will be looking at another top eight qualifier here in World Finals. And the third member, of course, is West Coast's overall top representative round, you know, the, the UFA champion from last year, the one who's been doing whatever since he broke out onto the scene, kind of out of nowhere, you know, into transition from online to offline yeah. the national championship since then it's been all about zane yeah he's he's been uh, like unstoppable <laughs> he's you know had some amazing results under his belt i think his uh, crowning achievement was winning ufa uh, yep. 2022 yep uh, really really impressive stuff there and he's just been one of the guys to really look for uh, in terms of beerus play you know like he 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 always played characters that were a little bit unique you know yep. zamasu beerus for example back when they were like not great now those characters are like insanely strong. Well, Beerus more so, right? So um, expect to see some incredible play from him. And if you haven't prepared for those characters, then you're gonna get washed. Yeah, it's absolutely. that simple. He is so he is so ready. You know, he uh, fine tunes his team constantly. But all three of these players are very very hard workers, students of the game. All three looking for a spot. Obviously, only two spots available in this group. One of them will have to uh, say goodbye to the competition at the end of this group and take ninth place. There final group after the final group, guys, will be top eight. We are, of course, here until the end of the day, until we crown a new world champion. So and exciting, indeed, bro. we crown a new one because all of the previous world champions are not in attendance today. So regardless of what happens today, we are crowning a new champion. Of course, you know, in attendance, we do have um, Wade, who is through in winner's side, who came so close last ah. year, like as close as you can possibly go, winning yes. the LCQ and then taking it all the way to reset grand finals. Um, we'll be seeing him a bit later on in the winner's side, but that was earlier and a bit later on. This is about the present and we're going to have Group D coming up and our first game will be a run back actually from last year's yes. World Tour Finals with Zayn versus Inzen. Yep, Zayn won it last year. He did. You know, in eliminated uh, him from the tournament in top exactly. eight. Exactly. Eliminated uh, <coughs> Inzem in top eight losers of that tournament. So Inzem is looking for his revenge, of course, you know the East Coast versus West Coast rivalry is very much alive out there. We are here on the West Coast, of course. Zane is at home. Zane uh, was only a drive away from here. There you, you know, go. Quite an, uh, an, an easy road for him to get there and attend Battle Hour. In Zem, of course, coming all the way from the East Coast. And we will see him representing with a ridiculous team. Yesterday's performance was absolutely insane for him. So if yesterday is a metric to take, I really want to see what level Zayn is on right now because Inzem has already showed it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Zayn, um, yesterday was almost like a warning for the rest of the players from Inzem, right? Yeah. Like he just showed how amazingly optimal he is, how prepared he, he came for this uh, bracket. And he's going to be looking to just do his best. And uh, right now with that team, that is a scary, scary thing to think about. Absolutely. Um, so Zayn, of course, will have to think about which team to pick because last year, 
it was pretty decisive when he played the Zamasu team against Inzem. This is a different meta with different characters. You know, we've had a couple patches since then, so let's see if he can play the same way. Um, because right now, you're going to have to deal with Cell. Like, this version yeah. of Cell is oh. honestly yes. out, outstanding. <laughs> it's absurd. <laughs> it is. It is definitely, uh, you know, the best Cell has Busted. ever been in this game. I know, like, I, I personally believe, like, overall in this game, Inzem might be the best at playing the current meta overall. Like, his team is so good at exploiting everything about this meta. That's the question that is, like, Zane, how are you planning to handle this? The Inzem of this year is not the Inzem of last year. But of course, same. Shout out to Zane as well, who's got uh, recently sponsored by NGNL, representing the colors of his new team here at Battle Hour. The players are on stage and getting ready, checking their buttons. The crowd is getting ready. Group D about to take place. And then we will have a full top A, Tarrant. There we go. This is going to be it, guys. This group will decide the rest of our top eight bracket. So let's see who makes it through here. I am very curious to see. I, I can't call it. Uh, this group is, I mean, all of the groups have been hard to call, and I can't lie, like, considering what happened, they've been really, really hard to even uh, predict. This group is the hardest. Yeah, I, you're right. I'm seeing a three-way tie in this group, Tarrant. Like, it, it could happen. I was telling Pred yesterday, uh, your group is a three-way tie, man. Like, whatever happens, you guys are tying. You know, you guys yeah, are going to yeah, have to... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I can definitely see that happening. Yes. I can't even lie. Yes. I don't think someone has a clear upper hand, you know, in this one. You will see legendary Pred, you know, right after a quick button check from the players, of course, making sure that everything works. And then we move straight. That's it. It will be button check time. All first to two. Yeah, first to two all the way, of course. And then, uh, of course, top three will be three out of five, as is standard. Yes, sir. Well, let's go, man. I'm so ready for this. Let's see. Zane, you know that seeing Inzem sign up for the LCQ, he most likely prepared for him. <laughs> let's be honest. Let's yeah. be honest. Yeah, I think seeing the bracket of the LCQ, Inzem was clearly the favorite as well. So everyone was like, unless an upset happens, Inzem is most likely the one who is going to join us. So that was, that was the thing. They know they've been watching Inzem. Inzem has been an active player as well. He's not a player that you don't know about, right? You've yeah. seen him. He streams. He plays a lot. Uh, we'll... You know, see, he's been he streaming different stuff He as streams well. a lot. <laughs> he does stream a lot, you're right. He does stream a lot. <laughs> he's, he's been streaming a lot, I can't lie. So, some, some different categories, he's, but he's, uh, yeah, anyway. His, his Twitch game is strong. <laughs> <He's>, <laughs> he plays the meta on Twitch. <laughs> Bro, he plays the meta in everything that he does. Why is it so good? Why All is it right. so good? Lesser known fact as well is uh, Inzem is a world champion on another game as well. Oh. Years of War. Yeah, that's right. That's right, that's right. He's a top player sponsored for multiple events, you know. That's the one. Yeah, I know. I know the chat saying Inzem is definitely a streamer of all time. I do agree. He's he's one of the streamers <laughs> of all time. Shout out to man like Inzem. Advanced law. <laughs> Advanced law. <laughs> the, 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 the deep the <laughs> deep law, bro. Let's go. Let's all go. Right. Zayn. Zayn. Of course, the crowd is making some noise for Zayn. He is there to represent the West Coast and be the last West Coast representative, hopefully in that top eight. But he is going to have to defend here the West Coast against the two East Coast invaders there in name of Inzem and Legendary Preds. The players are ready. We are going to move to game number one. Okay. And you can see on your screen there, guys, Zane is lining up the same team from last year. Yep. The one that did defeat Inzem. Yep. Uh, he's bringing back the Zamasu, you know, a character that, you know, he does use sometimes, not as often as he used to, but yeah. he still has him in the back, you know. He's still in the rotation. He's got a go tank. He's got a couple of characters here and there. He's been, you know, rotating teams, looking to see Jiren, not recently. only what the best team is, but sometimes it's not about the best team. It's about the best team for you. You all have a play style. You all have different ways to play. So, you know, sometimes the best meta team is not your team. You play what works, and of course, in them, plays Vegeta, Cell, and Android 18. Let's go for Group D. It's in them versus Zane. First match of the final group of the day. Let's go. Oh, I heard again. Someone's going to be playing a different point character. Ooh. Heard that little spark. Mm. Okay. Sell on point. Yeah. Let's the go. The crowd has to represent. You have to do it, guys. The sell scream. Okay. Forever. So not going for the base for G on point. Opting for sell at the last minute. I don't right. understand. Base Vegeta against Zamasu. Zamasu flies out and you're like, I can't do anything. Yeah, true. Cell is like, oh, let me let me perfect attack you in the air. Cell has, yeah. You're some, trying to fly out. He has some angled beams. Sure. Perfect attack, you're yeah. right. But 
Let's see how this one unfolds, guys. And we need the Zana Sumano first. Is that that we yeah. <laughs> he gave us the authorization to start the game. And there we go. That's why. That's the game plan. Yes. Zamasu is uh, one of the most mobile characters in the game. He can actually freely fly around this area. And we will see Zane happy to play Zane. Gets the opening from the set. What a start there for Zane. Knock him down. Look at that. I love that from Zane. So good. The fake out. Getting the hit. All right. Hey. Zamasu damage. Sending the man down. And Zane lays of judgment for the mix. Dele wake up there in Zem. Okay, and the spark as well. Oh, he got two in it! And look, this is actually worse than he sparked. Yes. Because he's getting so much. Wait, hold up. That base Vegeta no. is going to be bleedy. Yeah. But he needs to go! He wants wow. to go down tech buttons. But that's going to get the cell down. What a start by Zayn. That base Vegeta is absolutely cooked right now. What can Zen do? Zayn gonna play the fierce game, the old oh. game, but the opening. There we go. Gonna go for that level three, the Shine. And then let's see, it could be left, right, up, down, what you're saying. It might be a spark, actually, I'm saying. Oh, oh! You want a spark? We got those. We want a spark, you want a DP? We got those. I mean, it's uh, he's 10 layers ahead. I mean, this is still not the end of the world, though. Zane's yeah. gonna take some damage here, but still very well gonna be alive. 118. Hey, this character is... Oh, oh my goodness, jump H! <laughs> Baggy pants hitbox, bro. Good tackle kick, bro. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's been so good. Damn. There hey. we go, level three. Yes. Level three here, corner position. We'll take 18 all the way over there. Here we go. Android showdown right now. Let's see, can Zayn get this hit? Oh Does so. Oh, he didn't believe. Yep. Oh, he's Yo! pressing. He's pressing the buttons. Oh, no, what was that? Uh, a janky hit, and he, yeah. I guess he just panicked. That's OK. That's OK. Destiny still smiles for Zane as he's looking incredibly comfortable in this game number one. We are down to face Vegeta on Inzem's side. Yeah, 1v3 here for Inzem. It's not going to be easy. Face Vegeta, a good character in his own right, but against three like healthy characters. I don't know about that, Damascus. I can't okay. lie, that's a massive task ahead for Inzem. Any you can minute? surely pepper the screen, but why would Zane even go forward? There, there you go. go. Funny cat, got the hit confirm, and that's going to do it. All go. right, first game goes to Zayn, and the Zamasu pick really working out. It is working out indeed. Zayn looking extremely solid to start this tournament in Zem. That is only his second loss of the weekend. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Zayn, man, like, you gotta admire his composure, man. When it comes down to it, Zayn has definitely delivered on multiple occasions on yep. the big stage at that. All right, Wade. He's the one coaching Inzem. But we don't know, Wade actually spent like what, a week or two in New York before to prepare. Him and Inzem were playing the first to death. That's Every right. single day, you know the first to 3 a.m., the classic. I respect it. They've been, yeah, they've been grinding. They've been grinding. Okay, good defense there from Zayn and the reflect. Pushes Cell back. And Cell is a character that Zayn absolutely despises. Okay. There we go. Knockdown time, Blades of Judgment once again. Oh, he goes low this time! Oh, that was a medium starter as well, Tarrant. Yeah, but those, those Blades are going to uh, slow things down here. Yeah, yeah he can't get the kill because no bomb into an earth, but... Oh my Bro! god! Oh, oh, no kill on Cell! Oh, Yo! what? What? Zabasu! Everything's working in Zayn's favor right now, Tarrant! It's just one of those He's games. Right Might have the protagonist power today as the West Coast representative here. Looking to defend the third get the opening. No, no conversion. We want to watch out. It's a uh, to block. No, the Dragon Rush. Not gonna be tech and Zayn. Once again, applies the pressure. Zayn seemingly unstoppable. Sets up the play to judgment yet again. And now it's a dust bomb. Okay. There we go. Okay. Goes low immediately off the jump heavy off block. Okay. Inzen now in the driver's seat. This is his chance to slow oh. things down. Gets the hit. And now <laughs> Zamasu. Yeah, All right. Oh, no. Wait a minute. You know what, Tarrant? Inzen went for the optimal, but oh, oh brother. God, no. what a change. What a change. And Zayn is going to be able to tag that Zamasu out. And yes, that's the thing. Inzen wanted to go for the optimal, but hard combo. He could have killed.
begin with a BNB turret. That's, that's what it comes down to. These these optimal characters, sometimes their combos can be a little bit janky. IADH! Oh cross up! Going to be a dead base Vita. That's always been the bane of base Vita's existence. He's a good character, but his max damage requires skill to land in them. Patches on him. Listen, Look at this. him. I have seen Encore it coming back. Shout out to Kastiga in the crowd. He's the man who's uh, showing this so much. Can Inzem do it? That's right. Oh, and he's just going to take care of Andrew 17 there. Immediately calls Beerus. Oh my god. There's the jump heavy. Uh. Labco jump heavy. One of the best in the game without a doubt. And now knockdown time. Andrew to 18 in trouble. Oh, no. Beerus orbs. Oh, so. oh my goodness. Oh, Tyrant Is that enough? Football. Oh, he sparks, and that should be more than enough. He's gonna be in the bar. Zane keeps it simple, going for level one into. Oh, uh, goes for level two, goes for the full meter. There we go. Level three and Zane will take an absolutely dominant game number one here over in Zane. Zane, 2 0 in one of the groups of death of the day. He did not look worried once. Wow, there you see it, Zane. I thumped into him in the back. And he was actually really debating whether he should play Jiren, whether he should play Zamasu, he wasn't sure. And then he, uh, I guess he decided on the tr to try Zamasu and it paid off. He paid off in a huge way. 2-0 over Incent, damn. Bro, he did not look worried once. And of course, Jake Fry and the boy. These two are boys, you know, Jake and the Zane, they play all the time, you know, hang out stuff. This is uh, the friend buff and Zane of a dominant first game is going to be the one staying on the stage and taking on Legendary Pred, and I'll tell you what, Legendary Pred has been watching that game and he's been taking mental notes, right? He's been like, all right, Zayn looks out there. I need to stop him right I'm, now. I mean, this this pool right here is, <clears throat> a, is a pool of runbacks. Yeah. Like, you know, we had ECT Grand Finals as well with Zayn versus Legendary Pred. Yep. So that one did go in Pred's favor, but yep. let's see how this one unfolds. This is a different Zayn, bro. He was looking polished. Yep. Like everything was going his way. He was optimizing off of every hit. A couple drops here and there, but overall definitely took advantage of everything that he could. And a 2-0 over Inzen, bro, you can't ask for a better result than that. Oh, absolutely. What a start for him. And you know, remember that in, in a format that could get so many uh, times, you know, like three-way ties and stuff, getting a 2-0 win is a massive, massive option towards top eight. Yeah, that's huge. Zane only has one more game to hopefully win, you know, for him to qualify through that top eight in them will have to sit down because his qualification will be played against his boy against his friend legendary preds a bit later for now we've seen zane's card we've seen in them's card where is legendary pred at in terms of level right now what is yeah he let's see let's see you better come prepared you better be ready because right now zane is looking on another level yes really really solid stuff man yes and uh you can see right now uh we can see it pred is just in thought over there. Uh, not sure about what. Yeah, there he oh, is. Here he is. Here he is. He went out to pick his pad, I believe. Pad was uh, backstage. Yeah. Just uh, went there and uh, let's go. That's what I want to see. I want to see. I want to see Max Power Preds. Max Power Preds, really good. I want to see the Preds that blocks more than your average game of uh, Minecraft. That's right. That's I what I want to see. <laughs> there you go. Like I want this to see more blocks than Tetris today. I like that. Needs to be done, man. Yes. We need to see the, 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 the pixels. But Pred is definitely the Pred with some of the best defense in the world. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah. So, and the way that that you know, Zane was getting the hits. He was landing those hits on Inzem. But you know, Pred might be a bit more polished with the defense. Let's yeah. see how this goes. Might be able to block out some of that stuff. But bro, once Zamasu sets up those blades of judgment, it don't matter. But he might not even play Zamasu here. That's true. That's true. It really depends on the, you know, player matchup, character matchup, Zane. You said it best, right? They played each other at the ECT. That was Grand Finals. That's how Pred secured the winner. You know, like, Zayn actually got qualified pretty close because that was on points. It was a very uh, close situation in terms of the leaderboards. That's Bates, right. The qualifier there. And he's going to take on Legendary Pred's quick... But oh, sorry. Bottom check. <laughs> legendary <laughs> Pred's on the screen. I am not going to dare saying a quick bottom check. Of course. You know, why not? When there's this much on the line, <laughs> use everything at your disposal. Yes. I so fully respect it. Make sure that uh, you are ready, ready to play the game, so that everything is ready. Check your buttons, and then get ready for the match. East Coast versus West Coast, the game between Fred and Zane. And I'm wondering what our team's going to be in this one.
Let's find out. Of course, Pred um, does play, usually plays that Team Gohan and then uh, double Android 21. Yep. But that's, that's, now, that's his yeah. go to. Yeah. But for now, yes. For those of you like who don't know, the, the legendary Pred button check is contractually obliged to be 10 minutes long. <laughs> he has to check absolutely everything. He has to check the wind conditions on the World Tournament Arena. That's right. He goes to Cell Games Arena and check what the temperature is, how much sun. What's the wind angle? <laughs> My man is optimal! You need to be, man! <laughs> My man is optimal. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> we are ready now. The buttons are confirmed. The, the buttons are definitely buttons. Listen, the buttons are buttoning. They're still, they're still there. <laughs> they, st <laughs> they still do stuff in the game. All right. And it is the Jiren. Oh, he's going for Jiren, it okay. It is going to be the Jiren. All right. Jiren, Beerus, Lab Coat 21. Of course, sign of respect there from Zane. One always. of the nicest guys in the FGC. For sure. But always. But let's go. It's not about being nice when you're up here on the stage, bro. You've got to be lethal. Cerebral. Yep. And the good thing for Zane is, uh, you know, he's got his fate in his hand right now. Getting the win guarantees him the first place. Yeah. He needs to uh, get through his death move. And then let Pred and Inzem decide which one of these two make it through. Zayn has been extremely, extremely convincing in game number one. And Pred knows that he's taking on a beast representing the West Coast right now. Can Pred take Zayn down? Game number two of Group D. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Make some noise for this match. You know it's going to be a banger. Two of the very best in the world right now going head to head. Okay. Yeah, we are oh. big chilling. Oh, he woke up? Yes. He's meditating. He's ready. He's large. He's never done leg day in his life. <laughs> nah, bro. He has shoulders wider <laughs> than Alekovic. <laughs> large <We> chest. Those. <laughs> large chest only, bro. My goodness. Let's see. Oh, oh no. First opening goes straight to Pred. Nah, I guess the hit, of course. Pred. There we go. That clinical gameplay that he's known for. Chases with the Gohan assist. Zane with an early spark there. Oh, the 2S was too far. Yep. Unfortunate. Usually that would not miss. And Fred's going to be the one. Take a huge momentum. No more spark. Already a huge win in this early game yeah. from Legendary Pred right now. That's it. Now you're, in, now you're in control for the rest of You know. Oh, wait a minute. Definitely in control right now. This is going to be enough to kill that Jiren. One down already. Legendary Pred just coming in and showing that he's the one getting the momentum right now. Immediately stops Zane in his tracks. Oh, okay. Jiren is down. Deciding to go for uh, Margin 21. Yeah. Well, let's see. Zane down wow. to oh, again. Every single opening works in Pred's favor right now. Yeah. Zane, you need to clean up your game. All right, going to get the DR. Knockdown time. Sends out the Stalking Flare. DP from like Zane. That. But it whiffs. Oh no, the super. Yep, fortunate. Gets to escape regardless. All right, it's time. It's time to play football. It's time to have some fun. Oh! oh. My goodness, look at that. And a dragon rush. Zane unable to take that one. Pred off to an amazing start right now. Look at this. Okay, gets one stock on margin 21. And now Lab Coat with the level 3. Zane. Yep, there's no spark to save you now. You have to hold this pressure. Let's see. Oh, again. does it again? again. Uh, <laughs> why Listen, not? Manages to get away, but that lab coat is going to have to put in extra time. Oh! Oh, my. oh, bro, he had... He had... Okay, never mind. Oh. Yep, Go. Super Dash denied. Finds the mark. Yeah, Legendary Pred still looking great right now. And he's going to send Zane down. Let me close the corner. Oh, Yo. my! 360 no-scope combos. We don't need to look. We convert. Legendary Bread has two assists. We go. That's going to be enough right there. Yep. It should. Dead. Cool. Yeah, this yes. does, a, does a little bit more damage. Nice. Legendary Bread is showing that he is ready. He won at ECT and he's looking to do it again. It's the Beerus alone right oh, now. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. No way to confirm from there, though. Yeah, no vanish. So let's see. If Zane can make a miracle happen with the Beerus. 
That is his character. Oh no! Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> he just Hard made. Mode. He just made a the, difficult task impossible. Is like, this the Dark Souls of fighting games, Harold? I mean, I mean, <laughs> never say never. You remember yeah. Wade at UFA? That's true. That's true. But you oh, know what? Nah, not today. Not yeah. today. That was extremely hard using the debuff. When Labcoat catches you with this, you make 21% less damage. So you need a lot more openings. Yeah, it becomes to get there. extremely difficult to make a comeback happen when she hits that command grab. Your character will be debuffed. And that could be curtains. Alright. And it looks like Zayn might go back to the Zamasu. I mean, that Jiren got cooked quite quickly. So I don't think we really had a moment to uh, know if Jiren is a good pick or not, because he he simply got murked, man. Yeah. That's that all. Was, I mean, Zayn did the best he could to hang in there, yeah. but Pred's hit confirms were so good. Any stray situation, you know, where Zayn's character was, uh, was open, it was sniped immediately. Pred yeah. was on it. So now, this is where you really got to think. Do you stick with the same team? Because, I, yeah, I didn't see that Jiren doing much. I ain't going to lie. But I think did, did he have a chance to do much. Pred was just like, let me not let you play. I know. Jiren, Zamasu, whatever. That would have been the same. He was just looking super on it. There's yeah. nothing really you can do when your opponent is looking that good, as oh. Pred was. Well, uh, Zane okay. is back in, and it looks like Ooh. it is the Zamasu he needed. You can see Pred's reaction to this was like, mm, okay, that's you. We are back to Zamasu gameplay. We'll take those. It's time. Okay. He's going for the Zamasu pick. We saw how good he can be with this character just a moment ago. But let's see. Can he make it happen here against Pred? To be seen. To be confirmed. Let's go. I see, of course, the record between these two, man. Pred's been... Uh, yeah, in recent times, Pred has been looking... Like he's got one up on Zayn, but now let's see if Zayn can make this happen. This is his last chance. He needs to win two in a row now if he wants to be out and winners. All right. And of course, we're going to start the game by hoping that uh, Pred bites the bait. Zamasu going around. Zayn immediately forced to block right now. And that's going to be important to at least get a game. Even if Zayn loses, if that's a 2-1, that still gives him another, an option for later because he's got the 2-0 victory at the beginning. A 2-0 victory for Brett completely Ooh. destroys the group. Let's see. Okay, let's see. Nice. Those new combos. Brett now. Should be able to get... Yeah, knockdown time. Stomp. Ooh. Wake up, mash, Zane! The disrespect paid off. Yep. And it's all yep, he's going to extend as much as he can. Blades of judgment about to pour. And the effect for not, there's still a mix. Wow. And but the Rotag is going to catch that Zamasu. Fred reflected everything. He was saying, get the hell away from me. Yep, advancing guard. <laughs> no, uh, no bait from Zayn and the Dragon Rush once again. Yep. Gets the opening. And you know what, Tarant? Jiren Zamasu, the first character, is getting cooked regardless. That's it. Yeah. Fred is looking so polished right now. Prepared. Amazing. Let's go. All right, Zayn. He knows that he needs that at least one win. A 2-0 can be, can be yeah. very, very difficult right now. All right. Oh, oh no. Okay. This time, Fred challenges. And he's been picking his moments so well. Yes, he sir. just knows when it's going to hit. All right. Zayn now has to defend. Maybe Spark. There it is. He spent his... One resource now. Oh! Zayn is not able to get anything to work right now, Taran. He's struggling in the corner. And oh. you can see, he looks flustered. He's getting opened up by a million things. Empty jump floor is going to be blocked. Ah. But the debuff. All right, we take those. Debuff into level three from Beerus. And let's see, he should get a setup on this. Orbs. It's the first one. Oh, wait. He's out. Good choice. Okay. Team Gohan, debuffing him is huge. Does his damage output yeah. usually some of the highest Woo -hoo 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 -hoo! in the game? Yes, the head. Okay. There we go. We slide full screen, sliding through these DMs. Going to get the rejump and should be able to kill with only half a bar. Yes. Wow. Zane. Super, super, super. All right. Here we go now. Oh, oh wait that's a minute. The thing. Yeah, that matchup is terrible for Beerus. Yeah. Zane has been disliking this matchup for a while because Labcourt has so many ways to go around the orbs. Yeah. Beerus has to change. Okay. Ooh. Orb set up now. Oh. Oh, again. Okay, again. No tech. No tech. Yeah, got opened up. How many times is that now? 
way too many yeah. for that level of a game turret. Zane's defense is not looking like the cleanest. We get some stacks. We get the power oh. up and again. The uh, instant air dash. That's not even a very hard mix, but Zane unfortunately not able to block this one. Zane is down to lap for 21. And that's a huge task ahead. It, oh, well, okay. okay. I mean, could be the start of something here. Let's see. Can Zane make this happen? We'll get a level 3 setup here, build a little bit of life back with the command grab. Okay, this is it. Make this count. Let's go. Could be final situations for Zane. <gasps> oh, what a block! Oh, oh, and a stop and a full combo. And that should be it. Zane getting the kill over Android 21. I need to lap code mirror to finish this one. Can Zane get this game? Stay alive in this set or win legendary bread? Get an early 2 0. It's pretty much a one touch situation on both sides. Yeah. Next hit should decide it. Oh, Ooh. but I, I don't know. Key Blast start up yeah. might be a little too weak. That is the one that shouldn't kill Tarant. I believe that is the one that shouldn't kill. Unless. EX stomp into Super. Unless. Wait a minute. No, oh, no. Alive. Oh, no, Oh, what a the tech. first take. The first take for Zane. He's still alive. Oh, he's getting the pick up in the air. Level three. He's Zane. got it. Yep. He's going to build that level three. He should be able to build that level three. He got it. Yes. The stomp into level three. Zane. Wow. Saves the match as the entire crowd pops off. Zane is still alive. Wow, stays alive. Do or die moment. Jeez. Lab Cook 21 coming in clutch for Zane. <laughs> My goodness, guys. What a clutch. What a clutch. What a spectacle battle I was getting right here. Some of the finest display of Dragon Ball Fighters you, you will see. see. You can see his hands shaking. Look at yeah. the hands, you know? No matter the level of a player, the experience of a player, you will always see these nerves on stage. And you know what, Tyrant? This is to Daniel coming to help his boy, his boy Legendary Fred. This Tyrant means that Zayn will be qualified regardless because he got 2 0 and 2 1. So no matter what happens, Zayn yeah. is through. You will still have a West Coast representative in that top page, Charles to Zayn. Now, of course, he can you know, assert his dominance on that group by getting that win and guaranteeing himself a first place. Him losing to this will depend on the outcome between Preds and in them, obviously. Absolutely. But for now, Zayn at least has done the first step. He is qualified. Can he be qualified and undefeated? Can he be qualified? Uh, let's find out. <laughs> <laughs> He's to be qualified test, bro. Straight to grand finals, you know? Let's go. Game number three, the final game. In this set, first to two, of course, all along, legendary Preds took some time. Zayn finally hit his stride, and of course, it's going to be Zamasu. Can't change a team after a win. Let's go. Okay. All right, we're back in. Let's see it now. This could decide the fate for Preds. Oh, man. Okay, knockdown time. Oh, backs away from the assist call, and now the pressure's on. Oh, look at the defense. That legendary defense that he is known for. Oh, oh look at God. that. This, this man's ridiculous, man. He spent so long happily blocking, even in really, really difficult situations. Let's go. He's so good at that. It's really his strength as a player. What a super dash. Yep, slice knockdown time. Triple overhead. Okay, tech from the DR again. Oh my goodness, lab coat should be done. For Pred, that's that. Yep, Zayn is showing an entirely different, entirely different face in this game number three. It was wow. so hard, and then it looks like something unlocked. Ultra Instinct unlocked Light Turns. That's his right. Huge. Oh, oh wow. Hit. He did get the hit, but no dice on the follow up. Oh my goodness, everything working out for Zayn here. Okay. Look at this. And for him to, 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 to do this both games with that Zamasu. Oh, wait, got the hit! Oh. No. Again, another Ooh. drop. Damn. Oh, Ooh. wait a minute. Pred had enough, and that's a full combo. One of the buffs he received. Okay. Gets that grab. And the. Oh, oh, oh no! Unfortunately. The, the, uh, the stalking player ruined the combo. Okay, Zane again. 
with that. And the way he just like dances with Zamasu is, is a thing of beauty, honestly. Yes, I love it. But look at this. Fred is happily down back and chill in the corner. He's just waiting for his chance to get away. I love the patience. Oh. Okay, oh, look at this, and he's playing that runaway game. Yes, he's flying around the 6 m That's going to be an opening for Zay. He's got a couple of flowers, but the combo is not converting, unfortunately. Straight to the spark, I respect that. I like his attempt to slow the combo down so he can get the assist oh. back. Oh, he's got the hit again. Everything going Zane's way. He is playing with his food right now. It's time for the all. It's time for football. Oh, oh my goodness. Beerus once again coming in clutch for Zane, and that's going to do it. All right, one character remaining for Legendary Pred. Oh wait, no, whoa, 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 I tried to delay it too much. Yeah. The follow-up, the level two for Beerus can be very janky. All right, that's still okay for Zayn. He's still got a solid lead. But we've got to watch out. Oh no, it's time to play with the orbs. There is so much on the screen to deal with. Oh, Look at this guy. Goodness, bro. He's playing. Bro. He's playing ball. Oh, wait a minute. Pred finds, somehow threads the needle through that obstacle course. Okay, knock down. Level three. Fred trying to slow things down now. Father Son coming home. Okay. Uh, it's time again, bro. He's out. Baby seating Goku Son. We play Goku in the stadium on a Sunday. Let's go. All right. And they should have enough to kill here. Yes, sir. Go back to your homework, brother. <laughs> you too young to be on this field. Yeah. Let's go. Oh. Zane. Bring it back. In oh. such a huge fashion, Legendary Bread has a Herculean task ahead of him yeah. if he wants to make the miracle happen, but oh. no! Yeah, this is super difficult right now! Oh my goodness. Fred might have checked out, and there you go. Zane takes it and qualifies from his group in winner's side! Wow! Undefeated, the West Coast hero is there. He took his revenge from East Coast Throwdown Grand Finals. Yeah, there Legendary you go. Legendary Bread comes, of course, to congratulate him in person. Shoutouts to Zayn, going 2-0, moving forward in winner's brackets of this top eight. But now that final game, Tarrant, is very simple. There you it lose, is. you're out. That's it. Let's That's find it. out. That's about it. There is nothing else than this. It's going to be Legendary Pred versus Inzem. We have seen this match a billion times. We have seen this match in alternate stream categories on Twitch. <laughs> We've seen it. <laughs> yeah, it's been... A <laughs> they've, been they've been battling... In and out of Dragon Ball Fighters, whether it be on Twitch or no, my goodness, C certain categories. <laughs> we, we are still on Dragon Ball Fighters on Twitch, right? We are still we are still under DBFC, right? We're not yes, we're, we're not art or just chatting. Okay, yes, just sir. checking. <laughs> okay. Yes, sir. Let's All go. Right. In them. Okay. Versus legendary Preds. Both of them representing the East Coast here, but only one of them can make it through. It's either going to be the LCQ winner in them or man like Legendary Pred. And I see that Yasha is back in the venue and he's talking, he's coaching Legendary Pred. I was watching uh, Yasha and Pred yesterday just in training modes, showing each other some stuff, giving each other tips and pointers. So they will definitely. Uh, definitely be out there. Wow. So it's all very nerve-wracking now. And I'm telling you, anything can happen in these groups. And we've seen it. No group has gone the expected route. Yeah. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. It's been insane to uh, uh, to witness. And of course, that next match is the final match to of this group stage. The final match to decide who is the final player joining that top eight loser. is either going to be Legendary Preds or Inzem. Zayn is comfortably qualified to top eight winners. We will see him a bit later, of course, today. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Thanks once again for tuning in, guys. This is the group stage of the Dragon Ball Fighters World Tour 2023-2024. We are live from Dragon Ball Games Battle Hour here in the Los Angeles Convention Center. We've got a whole weekend of Dragon Ball action. And yeah, this is the culmination of an entire year, an entire season yep. of Dragon Ball Fighters all offline gameplay. And of course, you know, we've got to end it here on the stage at Battle Hour. And of course, very fitting right now. You know, two, two guys that have met in so many different tournaments. Same. In uh, different countries here and there, these guys are there. And look, look at the international love, man. It's Yasha coaching Pred and Wade 
coaching in them. That's crazy. The DBFZ has no borders. We are all world warriors, no matter language, whatever. We all press buttons in games. We all enjoy. And that's been fun, you know, seeing everyone. There was a lot of casual setups yesterday. Got to play with the community, with the people in attendance mm -hmm. for the LCQ yesterday. Today, of course, is all about the main event, AKA the World Finals. Yeah, let's and go, guys. This will be the final game of the group stage. Let's go. And it will, de it will determine who makes it out from Group D. But it will be into the loser side of things. Winner of this still goes into the loser side. Yep. With Zayn looking a bit too good in this group. Predator yep. in Zen. Are we getting the legendary bottom check? Or are we immediately gaming, Tarrant? Let's find out. Okay, guys. Of course, in Zen. Oh, all right. Character swap. Let's see. Let's go. Oh. oh no. Oh no, they pressed! No! Okay. No! Our content! Players! <laughs> we were about to witness greatness! <laughs> Play the game! Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Alright, guys. It'd be like that, so guys. Sorry, guys. Every once in a while, we hold the L. <laughs> we could have gotten this. I know we have an entire venue watching. So we have the let's go. The cell is punching Teen Gohan up. Alright, knockdown rolling crush here in the corner now. Safe jump. In Zem. Oh, okay. Oh. 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 oh! You thought it was your turn? Give him a hug. Yeah, guess what? Yep. It ain't. I just said, Gohan, get out, bro. Yeah. No end taken today for me. There we Inzem go. Cell is looking ridiculous. There we go. That is Cell Max right there. The red. Oh, my goodness. Oh. oh. Okay. I mean, get rid of 21. And Inzem is going to be patient when needed as well, right? He doesn't really have a reason to go in right now. He's the one on the leads. He's waiting to see what the Fred is up to. And he's happily running the clock. Oh, right, yeah, absolutely. You need to do that. When it's when it's a situation like this... Oh, man, no confirm off the disc assist, though. Okay, now Inzem going to have to hold this. Oof. Of course. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Of course. <laughs> no this, sugarcoating needed, bro. Bro, this team Inzem has developed is just obscene. Oh, wait a minute. No, no combo. All right. All right, Inzem now playing the late game. I am loving Inzem's patience. Yeah. I am loving Inzem's patience. I am loving how much he uh, takes his time. But of course, that really Fred knows. And he, oh, he wanted oh. the mix. He wanted a cheeky mix, but straight to the spot. I respect it. Okay. Okay. Oh, wow. There you go. Oh, no Backs pick up. off. No pick up. Ah, oh, spin to win. My goodness. And how much damage? But the Fred will recover some life as well. And puts that to imagine 21, but the Rotag is going to win in Zen's favor. Yep, level 3 coming up. Yeah. Yep, gonna get the bonus damage off the throw as well. But let's see. Left, right, maybe. Oh, it's in front! So hard to block. Plays Vegeta some of the best mid screen mix in the game. Oh, look at that. So optimal. And he gets the throw. And he got the bar! Is that dead? No. That's not, not dead, right? not dead, not that's dead. Not, that's not, that's too much. The fact that he knew yeah. to get that is crazy. Yeah. Yeah. That was insane. That was optimal. We said, you know, Inzem is one of the most optimal players in the game right now. And yet, stops 21 from getting closer. Inzem is looking comfortable. Damn, look at that. Kienzan assist is so good. All right, there we go, sets it up. Bread reflects now. And now it's just, oh yeah, that was, that was a super bait vanish right there. Inzem is gonna take that first game. He has not been worried. He has not been worried at all. All right, this is it, it's do or die for Pred now. Potentially out of the world tour if he loses this next game. Yep. No, in f not potentially. He is out. Yeah, he's. If if he loses the game, he's. Yeah. It's a pretty uh, quote unquote simple task, at least as in, just win, bro. Just win. As a wise That's man once said. Bro, 
Why are you losing when you could be winning? <laughs> just just hit him more than he hits you. <laughs> simply simply start winning. Me personally, I just wouldn't lose. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'd win. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I pray getting some uh, coaching time. You know, we uh, I can see him, you know, it's it kind of feels like Tarant, after that huge Zane comeback, Pred's, you know, mindset has been shattered a bit. You know, like he's he's looking a bit, uh, yeah, depressed, you know, sad after this. You need to get back into the game. You need to get back. Every single game is different. Restart, reset your mind. Let's go. That's it, man. Imagine if that's what, what, what Daniel's telling him right now. Just win, bro. Just win, bro. <laughs> simply win. If, if you lose... Don't, simply don't lose. If you lose... Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Words of wisdom. Words of wisdom. <laughs> Words to live by. Exactly. All right. Fred taking a moment, meditating. This time, pick the perfect soundtrack. And it's his time now to try and bring it back against an Inzem that looks dominant. He's got some time to watch the salt of his defeat against Zane. Let's go. Yeah, let's see. Final set of the group stage right now. And you know this match is important as hell, man. With Inzem up one on this legendary Pred nose. He is back to the corner right now, but I've seen Pred transforming into an absolute clutch monster. Oh yeah, he's one of the best at that, you know. In these situations. ECT winner, you know, Combo breaker winner. That combo breaker. The combo breaker performance to me is like the, 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 the craziest performance from Pred. That was such an incredible tournament from him. Yep. That was the day where to me he like put himself really at the forefront of the world competition, being like, I'm not just a contender, I am a champion. Absolutely. And ever since then, it's been all, a lot of good performances for him. But now he is close to the edge of that cliff trying to not fall let's go all right we're back in but the way that the way that inzem has been playing this set oh all right or combo lands for fred brings in lab coat okay you've got to be so careful how you approach Cell though because you know that perfect attack can be coming out at any moment <laughs> exactly any moment exactly there are so many things you can challenge it's so hard oh what a pickup Nice. I like that. All the way down. It's gonna be the ton of meter. Safe jump. Yeah. And Fred wanted the spark. He's still blocking the cell in the corner right now. Alright, we're happy to block right now. Got to watch out the 6M, but no assist to convert. Uh, I think he thought he was still in spark. Yes. Maybe trying to use 6M uh, dash there, but no dice. Okay, Fred now. Uh, looking a bit even now. No spark for either team. Yep, dash block from Fred. I love this. He's staying covered, he's not committing. Nice. Trying to make sure that he's ready for Inzem. Potential oh. approach, watch out for the barrier and immediately respects the barrier. Yeah, you've got to be so careful with 18. Especially if they're playing defensive, that's when she can get really scary. No barrier becomes a real big threat. You've got the assist ready, she just nasty. Oh, wait. Okay, Fred. Oh, there you go, and it's a pickup as well. Yes, he was not ready for the 17 to catch Gohan as well. And it's immediately going for level 3, and I love that, because then you get the mix left and right. It's Fred's time to block. Okay, yeah, this is it. You could be in trouble right now. There's no spark to save you right now. Oh, that was beautiful. The delayed dash. Okay. Here we go. This is going to be enough. No, mm, no it will not. Yeah, he wants to mix. Yeah. Regardless, that's the strength of 118. The mix of literally any opening, as long as you get that level 3. Fred on the back foot there. Forced to block, goes Ooh. for the reflect at least. But oh. the 17 catches him slipping. It's so hard to weather that storm. Inzem looking comfortable once again. Such a clean pickup right there. Oh, oh, the assist from Cell. And there we go, pickup time. Full combo from Inzem. He's going to call 17 for that Oki. And there it is, double overhead. Gohan gets smoked and now Pred down to just solo margin 21. No spark available to Mascus. This is looking tough. Uh, this is difficult. This is really difficult. Pred has been completely stopped from even playing in this set. Inzem 
is absolutely controlling the entire pace of the game. And he's looking to keep going with all three characters. And also, like, one of the best, if not the best, defensive character in the game, 18, right now. That's She's so right. good at just running away. Yeah, like, look, like, what do you do here? Like, yeah. You can throw those key blasts all you want. You're just giving him bar at the end of the day, and you're not winning. So. Exactly. And oh. there you go. That's what, he's, that's what he's playing, right? He's just building that leader until he gets the assist opening. Converts of a stray hit, and look, level 3 into the mix. This is textbook Dragon Ball Fighters. Yeah, just rinse and repeat. Mix, mix, mix. Let's go. In Zen now, in the driver's seat. What's it gonna be? Dash out for bread. Okay. Oh, look at that again. That barrier, uh, the barrier call. Sorry. Key blasts. Oh, he moves. Goodness. His, he moves. <laughs> his, his, his 17 call timing is so good. He gets the hit the delight. Is that enough? That's gonna do it. It's that over. should be more so than enough, Tyrant. More than enough to close. An absolutely ridiculously dominant match in them after winning the LCQ and uh, losing that first match to Zayn confirms that he will be for the second year in a row in top eight of the World Finals. Big shoutouts, of course, to Legendary Pred taking ninth place today. In them stays alive, and this is the in them we've seen yesterday. That's right. The in them that when he plays, you simply don't play. He's the one playing. He plays in single player mode. That's it. Going all the way through that LCQ and qualifying through his groups, albeit in loser's side, that is still a huge feat to accomplish. And man, like you said, Inzem will be making top eight of the World Tour Finals for the second year in a row. Yep, and you know, that's definitely a player that you expect to see in these situations regardless. Not surprising to see Inzem in top eight at the highest not level all, there, not at all. you know, but unfortunately, you know, for Legendary Pred, we must say, uh, GG is obviously to him a great season. Unfortunately, you know, great season. It all comes in one day. Sometimes it's not new, your day, a day with so many beasts. It feels like you can run the same group twice and have two different, completely different outcomes, yep. right? So big shout of course. We'll see a Pred again. Much love to him. In them stays in there after that win. And of course, Zayn has been the sensation of this oh, group. Wow. And absolutely, absolutely ridiculous. Zane that first up. game was invincible. And the second game just showed that Zayn not only is strong, he also is clutch. Yeah, he showed up, man. And you know what? I, I like to see uh, the risk paying off. Like, playing Zamasu at this stage, it is a risk. Yes. But at the end of the day, he's that good with that character. And that goes to show that, you know, if, if you're, you're you're someone that originated things, like, he, he that's a team he developed yeah. and played for so long. Bro, don't doubt yourself. Yeah. Like, I think that's what it comes down to, having that confidence. Yes. And Zayn, like, once he, he is confident, I feel like he's unstoppable. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I love to see, man. That's what I love to see. And that is, you know, our group. So the two groups we just went through, Group C has Kane on first place. He will be in winners. Hikari, second place. He will be in losers. Obi Assassin, unfortunately, not making it through these groups. That Group C was hype. Extremely close. The group where everyone got one win. And it's... Uh, it's game differential. Yeah. You know, that... Uh, That's what it came down to. That ends up, you know, fixing all of this. And of course, the Group D, the one we just watched is Zayn. You know, absolutely ridiculous on first place. In them in second place after taking it over legendary Pred. And Pred, unfortunately, will have to, uh, to take a bow, leave the competition. We will see Pred more. You know, he's definitely one of the most dedicated players, student of the game. Absolutely. Not his day today, but you know, that's the nature of competition, Tarot. Uh, yep. Unfortunately, we will not see legendary Pred, but here Let's you go, guys. Let's eight. have a look at that top Look eight. at these beautiful flags in winners. There Tarot. you go. May we? Yep. Kasuga versus Kane in winner's semi-final. On the other side, it's Friends America. It's the run back of one of the most iconic grand finals in that game. Wade versus Zayn. That UFA grand final for last year was absolutely insane. On the loser side, Hikari versus Lucar and Inzem versus Ikuan stacked as hell brackets. Yeah, very, very, very solid. Like everybody pulled up here and you can see in the winner's side, it will be the first place from each group as expected um, and uh, as per the rules. And of course, loser side, man, like it's going to be a bloodbath down there. Like everybody deserved to make it this far. Yes. And now we're going to see who can make it that extra mile and take it all the way to the grand finals and become the new Dragon Ball Fighters World Tour champion, bro. It could be any of these guys. Yep. I'm not going to lie. Yep, that's what we love to see, man. These matches are absolute bangers. I must say, I am really looking forward to the Wade versus Zayn because, like, these two have played at such a level today. Yeah. They both showed that they're probably at their best that's right, right now. That is going to be a peak semi-final. Gonna be absolutely insane. UFA runback. 
Yes. It's very exciting because yes. that was an that was a historic grand finals, honestly. But that, that was like one of the most emotional as well. Uh, but now that the group stage is done, guys, and the top eight bracket is set, we are going to take a very quick break. Swap commentators get Jake and Ringe back in there to open that top eight. To remember that we go all the way to the end of the day to qualify to crown a new champion here at the Dragon Ball Fighters World Tour Finals here in the Los Angeles Convention Center, part of the event for both course, Battle Hour, plenty to do in the Dragon Ball world there. But of course, get a drink, get a snack. We'll be back in a few minutes with the opening of top eight of the competition. A ridiculous bunch of matches coming your way. Be back in a few minutes, guys.
Welcome back to the Dragon Ball Fighters World Tour Finals 2023-2024. We're still here coming to you live from the LA Convention Center. It's the Dragon Ball Games Battle Hour. We have a full building. We are packed with Dragon Ball fans and aficionados from around the world. And we are enjoying some of the finest fighters who have been battling it out to become champion today. The first phase of our tournament is now completed. It's time to move on to the top eight. It's elimination style Dragon Ball Fighters. Let's get straight into this. Hand it back over to the commentary desk with Jake Ryan and Ringe. Much Logan, we are back into the action. We have finished our groups for the day and eight players have come out on top. Foreign winners and foreign losers and upsets across the board. Bruh. I mean, when you look at this bracket, uh, there's names where you're like, yeah, they're guaranteed. They're gonna get top three, top two, top one. They're gonna win the whole thing, not here. And man, Rage, walk me through this. Exactly. This is crazy. You can see the bracket right now. Familiar faces, favorites, not in this bracket, like Yasha. Yeah. Yeah, Legendary Pred also fell short. Garlic Bread fell short. But we saw Kasuga, right? Not drop a game in his winner's side or in his group stage matches. Beautiful play. Kane as well, coming through in the clutch as always, getting a winner's side berth, as well as Wade, who, in my opinion, looks the most uh, looks like the most impressive player here today. Uh, just from his oh, body yeah. language, just from the vibes, just from the mannerisms, he looks extremely confident. Zane, he faced some struggle up against Pred, right? Was be able to bring it back due to some of your coaching. I uh, was able to bring it into the winner's side qualification while Hakari and Lucar and Inzem and Iquan are all battling it out with no second chance at this point. Yeah, the, we had the last chance qualifier yesterday and now it's the last chance loser side as you were mentioning. And man, oh man, I mean Inzem's used to that situation. He already he went through it once. Yep. I mean, this is the comfort zone right there. And obviously having those two lives on the front side is going to be great. And having the names like Kasuga and Kane coming out on top again, you know, Kane always had that second place curse for the longest time. Then it was transitioned to Wade. Then it was transitioned to Pred. <laughs> One of these players is going to get a guaranteed top three after this set for the finals, and that is an incredible place. In. And you know, it's even closer to that wonderful trophy that we have on display yeah. too. Like, there is so much on the line, so much competition, and man, I. I got a root for my boy Zane, but any, I, like you said, I think Wade looks the cleanest right now. Yeah, for me, for my money, Wade is the most impressive looking player so far. But to get into this match right here with Kane and Kasuga, you can correct me if I'm wrong, didn't Kasuga beat Kane at UFA? Because Kasuga got second at UFA and Kane got third. So yeah. I assume that is how it played out, right? Yeah, I could yeah. be wrong. Please correct me if I am mistaken, but that is the results I had. Yeah. So we'll see. And this is going to be a bit of a run back because UFA wasn't that long ago. We're going to see if Kasuga can steal. Put the hands on Kane, if that's how the case is going to be. Or yeah. if Kane's made some adjustments since then. And the thing I love about this, too, is you have two very different play styles, right? Where Kasuga loves to play defensive, lay on the layers, lay on the barriers. And then you look at the side of Kane, where he is definitely a player who plays with his heart. He plays by his hard reads. His ability to uh, scoop grabs on this team is incredible. Yeah. And um, this team touches you and you die. You get 1.2 touch. Straight up. Like, that's patch 1.2. He's at 1.2 type damage. And we are starting top eight now. Winner semi-final for the world tour. It is Kane versus Kasuga. Winner moves on to top three. And the loser will have to fight the Sharks. But right now, Kane's hungry. He said, give me the, the bananas. My man, media with a call out, right? He knew when the key blast and the block was going to come. Just called it out with a super dash. Great tech on the tick throw attempt. Ooh, my man wanted to launch it to the skies. Log down to the other side. Oh, you ain't reflecting nothing. That was got like, should be able to build up a good amount of meter here, but because he already utilized the smash, he's not going to be able to get a kill. Does he get the spark out? Is he looking for a raw tag? Nah, he's going just for the spark. And I love that call the barrier after that. Ooh. He's got all the armor Do from everything. the top rope. Absolutely. Do everything now, Kane. Yeah, big, big attack. You know the extensions. We got corner carry. We got meter build. Three bars on deck. He got oh, the shot. The TN. I forgot. Yeah, she's definitely dead. Holes in the bananas. You got to make banana bread after that one. Shout out to TN, bro. Throw up the rock. He just pow, pow. Why is he making squares with triangles? I don't understand. <laughs> Real barrier. And again, barrier into barrier into oh, uh -oh. into special into barrier. I was gonna say we got all the barriers, bro. Maximum security. That's true. Oh, but that drop right there. Really good pickup from Kasuga. Finds another opportunity as well. And now with the stomp changes, you do get a rejump there that you typically wouldn't. So he gets a full extension. Feeling good about this one. Kasuga needed a sense of bleeding. Yeah, I can get a little bit happy with like the reverse coming out of the hot. Good move for sure, but from full screen, it was easy punish. 
Yeah, I mean, oh, oh the God. cancel at the end. Oh, that was so clutch. Yeah, so much damage left on the table here, and I want to see exactly where Rowdy goes to. Tags and TN, every bit of blue health is important, and Kane is so good at the management, but Sid combos does not matter. Cold armor. Oh, my goodness. No, extreme volleyball. That's right. Oh, oh and the falling dote on Ray, that's one of the most effective tools in TN's kit. Hey, Beam made of butter. What could be better? Straight Watch up. the movie. Oh, my goodness. Scar Cancel managed to escape the command grab. Get out of these hands. The clutches have been evaded. Oh, wow. the, the barrier, too. For real. That's How did insane. he get his angle around there? And then again, just suffocating pressure from Kane. Look at how clean he's looking right now. And the thing that's terrifying there, too, is like it's not on Kostika to be bad at defense there. It's like you're looking for the overhead chop. The yeah. potent over, like the potent judo. And he says, nah, here's the toes. Footsies. Straight up, bring him to the ground. Yeah, yeah. Got plenty of meter to do some work here. Let him know it. I said, you know what I did to Imperfect Cell? Imagine what I'll do to 18. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, yeah. tried for a cheeky dragon rush up to the 6M. I respect it, but go well aware. Strongest level 3 Oki in the game right here. Left, right. The potent stuff. Yeah. You get really antiquated with the Uggs after this one. Kane definitely has sparking, so we're going to see if he does that to avoid some of the pressure. Uh, he does not, just straight up. Empty stand low right there for Costco. One carries it down. Two to go. One touch, both oh, sides. Scary. On this point character. Ah, reverse Kame and does not get to confirm. A little bit too slow on that one. Yeah. 17 just beams of first trouble. He put a lot of bar off that, too. That's the crazy part. Every time you call that barrier, yeah. if oh, if it clashes with anything. And nice job from Costco. Kind of switching it up a little bit, sending the beams out, sending the projectiles out. Yep, yep. Yeah. Right Level 3, can you survive this time? I gotta imagine King Sparks, but will Kasuga bait it? I think maybe you save it for Blue Vegeta, not a lot of blue health here. Yeah. No, he did try to bait it. Because you want to keep that 2v1 advantage at this point, but oh, oh, that's gonna go right down the drain! Raw Level 3 from Kasuga! The Mass. regen? Nah, not gonna not be enough. enough, nowhere close! This girl do a lot of damage. Oh, I didn't even notice Blue Vegeta was in that as well, lost he half his life! Uh, yeah! The C assist was stuck out for so long, oh. so unlike his normal assist, he got smoked, but it does not matter! Super Dash, the great equalizer. Kane, Indeed. wipe the sweat off the brow for that one. You got a big Widow's Peak on that character. The super neutral. Yasha coming through for some coaching. Remember, one of the important things about competing is you shouldn't accept things in a win that you wouldn't accept in a loss. Right, and that's exactly why we still got the coaching right here. Did Spike yeah. Kane get in the W? Yasha was up there like, look, bro. Like, hey, the, things can still be fixed. There are refinements to be made. Shout out to Shannon Sharp for that one, by the way. Yeah, we want confident victories, not uh, happenstances. Exactly. Right here, we are just happened to end up in the corner versus Kefla. A very familiar situation. Oh, yeah, he saw the barrier come out. He's like, I'm just oh. going to spark. Ooh. That was almost two people, double grade, 12 feet. Nah. You can't not overcome it, the big bang and after that. Oh no, he didn't have the spacing. He was Whoa. too close to the corners with the ball whip. Bruh. Barriers. Super nuke. Barrier and super dashes. I dare you to press something. Yeah, nice. See the green. Able to react. I wonder why he's been able to react to the green stuff. Bruh. Not like this. Kasaga just keeps finding these scramble hits and Kane is trying to escape. What a tech from Kane right there, because like you said, the tempo, the high pace, he even got hit by the jab, still tech the Dragon Rush. Oh, dude, reverse Kame after frame nine. My man is in full, back to back to back, but it does not matter. Invulnerability be dang. Yeah, for real, the key blast right into the conversion. Well done from Kasuga, starting to roar back here in game two. Blue Vegeta already hurting as well. Oh, yeah. And the thing is, Kasuga is barely bleeding, oh, and oh. that is hit. He is gone. I mean, if he wants to smart, he can't get the character. It's going to be so close with this level one. Ooh, I don't know. Pixel in a dream? Nothing. No dreams. No, sir. Put it away. Kasuga here. One character away from Titan. The set. He's got a sparking as well. Barely any damage taken. Limit break TN, though. That's oh, true. You're right. Man. He's locked and loaded with Mad Meter, too. The third eye. Is it open? Might be Dodon Ray falling. You know how we get down. The beam of the darkness play. My man's about to butter him up. Uh oh. Be careful. The yep, level three. Yep. Let him feel it. Three eyes, three bars. Oh, yeah. He's going to take the combo. Yeah. Let her waste some of the sparking time. Kane's not tripping too much about this. Yeah, it's mostly about the Oki situation that generated, but it doesn't matter. Armor up. Mm, give me that. This ah. is my Oki. Yeah, unfortunate drop, but nonetheless finds it anyway. The crane's full. Straight up. 
No, the drop. Kane sin combos. The classic. He's oh, returned. Doesn't matter. No. Pick it right back up. TN has two more androids to work through. Indeed. I mean, Kasuga, Spartan's gone at least. Does have the meter advantage. This is doable for Kane, as I say that. Quick little command grab, and we get full conversions from those. Yep, a little bit of health back on the bar, too, which is huge. Every hit counts for Kane, especially because he's going to be spending his own to dish out these supers. Guess for the 1 1 situation. Can he survive the Android onslaught? Gohan couldn't. Why could TN? We're going to see. Oh, oh, oh. Slid oh, out. Sounds, bro. I've heard him splitting in, but not sliding out. Yeah, and it looked like the key blasters were clashing no. at first, but he ended up catching TN. And now another drop combo oh here. We're God. giving each other so many chances right now. Dude, the charity. Let's see what's happening here. We need more clarity. He went for the oh, wait. He went for the bait. He yeah, went for the win. Canceled the chops, yeah. Attack. Spin. The block barrier is up. You're not allowed to challenge his S6 M is defended on. Oh my goodness, oh, he tried to crane my. strike. But now it's time to strike blood. The Costa got one on the board as well. Oh, one up, baby. Kane, you can see Kane letting out the sigh. Knows that was an intense match. Yasha coming through for another round of coaching. I almost thought Yasha was going to come up to eat Kasuga and start coaching him. <laughs> I bet you. It would have been incredible. I would have been like, excuse me? Any, the enemy of me is my ally. All right, here we go. And we are two out of three until the final side of things, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. So winner of this next match advances to winner's finals. A lot on the line here. You want to get that guaranteed top three. The higher you go, the closer you are to that trophy. But the whip again. Kane has had all these hits, and he has not been able to convert. Oh, the beam to shut down the super dash. Beam properties. What's up, ball? Straight. Yeah, for real. Yeah. You're going to learn. My man is spinning. We are throwing. We are grabbing. For sure, with the armor grab, gonna come through again. When Kane tries to fill the screen, or excuse me, when Kasuga fills the screen, that's when Kane wants to do it, no response to it with the super dash. Yikes, good defense so far, 3H not able to find the hit, but the command grab does, commanding pressure from Kasuga. Yeah, he's looking so confident right now. Trying to chase down, catch the assist, call it the barrier, and then five H's the raw tag. Dude, he had the he had the full life insurance premium Legitimately, plan. Legitimately, bro. He was like, I don't care what you're gonna do, because I'm shutting it down. Kasuga started freestyling there for a second, but it was not your time. Your three minutes have a lot in. Let's yeah. see how that goes. The battle continues. Big opportunity for Kane, right? He finally gets to slow the game down a little bit. No more high tempo, chaotic pace. Yep. He gets to run his Oki. That's why Kasuga sparks up. We're going to force this again. Yeah. All right. Yep. Super Dash does come through. Oh. Able to evade the spin. Sparking right back. The barrier. Oh, oh no. Supposed to the Chaozu. Neither of them are willing to overextend and take that risk. And Kane trying to find that hit. But Kasuga's oh. defense has been so good again. Recovers in time with this. He assists. Finds the pocket. Not going to be enough damage to kill. Potentially, actually, I don't know, does he build the fourth bar? If he does, it could be done. Oh, he doesn't quite build it, but that's the power of those C assists, right? These scrambles, they give you a big conversion. But right now, he's going to spin all the meter. Yep, so just close. live on a pixel. He did that last bit, went to Valeria. That one's not in goal. Oh, he got caught jumping. No. Oh, yeah. I think it was counter hit, actually. It was, it was a counter He tried to escape some way, somehow, right? Kasuga, he didn't want to raw tag in. Don't want to be too linear about his game plan. Maybe a barrier, maybe a spin. We'll find out on the tape next time. Oh, no, but again. Wow, horizontal ball caught the super dash straight up from the top rope. Insane. Barrier, just in case he's trying to take his turn after the reflect. Get all these layers protecting. Yeah. A lot of defense. Costco making sure that he's protected every step of the way. And the super dash was cursed, but no conversion. It was an awkward hit. He gets out, gets hit again, but no, no. conversion once again. Too far, Brings no it to the end, no 2 H and D, just reflects and finds a hit somehow, somewhere. Both of these players, you can tell the nerves are at an all time yeah. high. We'll see now, do you offer the level three? Okay, no, you're just taking the knockdown as it is. The barrier goes through. That is going to be a dead. Yeah, oh, no. it's two. He dropped, he dropped, he dropped. He dropped. He's going to take the tag, I think, potentially. Yes. So blue life gone. Give me that 18. Chao Tzu blocking after the barrier. No. Oh, and just a low. You can't see behind the reverse. It's the, the, so the, hard to see the Dragon Flash Fist. Yeah, the B assist is too dang good, and that is going to be a dead 18, which means it's Kevla versus Kane's whole squad. Run, Kasuga, after dropping the first game, one character away from being in winner's finals. Kane. Oh, me, I got to reverse. Her Jeff. Her Jeff, indeed, my bad. Let's see this. Kane, all he needs is one errant key blast to connect, and he didn't get the confirm in time. Wow, a little bit slow on the draw. Again, Vanish on Vanish, slowly getting picked away. Seven bars on the side of Kasuga. Oh, he tried to grip the oh Dragon Flash. This is there. 
Mr. Kane. Winner's finals here at the Dragon Ball Finals Tour. Nobody, I don't think anybody had him counted to be in the winner's finals, especially because he had been taking the game, you know, semi-seriously, playing multiple options, course, right? But his team got buffed. He's still that same guy. And, you know, when your average placement at tournaments is second, I don't know, I think that's pretty yeah. dang good. So yeah. showing up that his average is at least going to be third here, a guaranteed top three. Yeah, that, that's a great point to make, right? Like, still this year, even with him exploring his options regarding fighting games, third at UFA, third at Versus Fighting, second at Bum's Birthday Bash, and third at the DBFZ Finals last year. Yeah. Like, he, when he shows up, he is a threat. You can't underestimate this kid one second. Yeah, and I mean, Kostika still put up one hell of a fight, Absolutely. right? A couple decisions away from closing that out, and, you know, he had the hits in those moments, and those drops could have been the difference of him being on the winner's side, or you know, ultimately Kane taking the win because three interactions there, there was three dead characters, would have been a different game, but that's how it goes. You have to be able to clutch it out and Kane Kong combos, definitely the character that we like to see on the screen leading into our next match where we might get a France versus France all winners finals, but Zane Could has be. other ideas here. Zane versus Wade. This is a matchup that plagued Zane beforehand because of the Janemba that mm, Wade had on his team. That's true. The hit was so potent, but now it's for different reasons. Obviously, you have the Kefla, which deals with a key character on Zane's team incredibly well. That up ball makes it so you can't fly willy nilly as a muscle. You got to be a lot more cognizant mm -hmm. of your spacing, your positioning, because if you get dragged down, you are going to get absolutely mixed. So it is really going to come down to the studying they have done on each other up to this point because both of these players are world championship caliber. Uh, absolutely. I love the way Wade kind of controls the sky a lot of the time too, yeah. right? Because as you said, he's looking to bring you down and Kefla is such a dangerous character oh, yeah. when she has you grounded. Like mm -hmm. there's so many ways to open you up in that space. So because of that, yeah, Zamasu always likes being in the air. We're going to see if... It, Zane kind of switches the strategy a little bit. If he's just able to maneuver around the up ball well, it's going to be an interesting one to say the least. Absolutely, and I, uh, I have, I have submitted Lucar as the surrogate coach. So anything okay. that happens, got you, uh, got you. You know who to talk to <laughs> afterwards. But it should be an amazing match here. I, I really think that both of these players are. It, they, if they're not first, they're last. You know what I'm oh, saying? 100%. Because you know. they both have the heart of a champion. Obviously, second place last year. Zane barely, like, narrowly um, losing it out to Shanks, another Janemba. Yep. So having this opportunity to fight it out again on this stage, especially rocking the characters that he enjoys, I want to see who can overcome. Like, who is going to really go into their bag when the deficit starts here, because one player's gonna go down and like, how do you adjust? Yeah, that's what I wanna see, because you mentioned we ran Wade's accolades over during our first block, which was like first at Tiger Rob, we got fourth versus fighting, first at the LCQ last year, and second at the whole thing, right? But I didn't get a chance to run down Zane's. Second at ECT 2023, fourth at Thunderstruck, first at CEO, second at Combo Breaker, top eight at Bump's Birthday Bash, top eight last year at the finals. Like this man he's has been good. consistent, you know? So he's definitely looking to, he's already replicated the top eight, Right, back-to-back -to -back top eights of the World Finals, but you know he wants more than that. Exactly, and I mean, anybody would want that trophy on their mantle, right? If you told eight-year-old Zane, be like, hey, you're gonna be playing at the Dragon Ball Finals, Bruh. at the biggest Dragon Ball convention in the world, that eight-year-old would be like, that's the coolest thing ever, what color are you wearing? He's like, <laughs> yeah. not red or blue. And it's so funny, but yeah, now, NGNL on the stage here, Zane gonna be fighting against IZI, Wade, both of these players are familiar with defeat, and I think that's how you become the strongest version of yourself. Absolutely. And, oh, God, I want both of them to move on. Can we get a draw? <laughs> Can't just two versus one? Like, if both people fight Kane? That'd be hype. Uh, it, both of these players are looking dominant, and definitely, like, uh, they're achieving the versions of themselves that they need to be to win the entire thing, oh, you yeah. know? That's really what the sense I'm getting right now. Wade, I just feel like he's uh, looked so composed, so together, so confident this whole time. Zayn uh, taking it over in Zem and Legendary Pred in the death group. Very, very strong players in that one. Yeah. And he faced some adversity going down in the first game against Pred, right, to run it back two straight. So yeah. Devley has already faced some obstacles, has overcome them. While Wade, it's been a clean slate. He 4-0'd his group. He hasn't oh, dropped yeah. the game. He said, I'm so him. We shall see. We shall see. And that's the beautiful thing here, too, because you mentioned, like, Wade looking confident, controlled. His body language has been great. You never see a smiling Zane. True. I'll tell you that. When my man is smiling and smirking and having a good time, it is, uh, it's, you're, you're meant to be afraid. Like, that's a bad sign. It's usually lights out for the ops when uh, Zane is in that jolly mood, for it's sure. It's like when you see Tokido smiling, you're like, uh oh, yeah, help, help me. What yeah. do I do? But, yeah. you know, 
One thing I wanted to touch on that you brought up was like eight-year-old Zane. Like, if you told him he would be at like the biggest Dragon Ball fighting game tournament, competing in the top eight, right? That's what makes Dragon Ball Fighter so special is that the Dragon Ball IP like goes so deep, right? Like it, it's affected our lives in so much more ways than just fighting games. That like these players, it, it's sick to see their connection with the game. Absolutely. I mean, I had that I had that full circle moment the other day, going through old pictures. I saw a picture of me with a Dragon Ball Z T-shirt. I was eight years old. Yeah, teeth. bro. And I'm like, dang, Goku's really cool. So thank you, everybody <laughs> who's here that loves Dragon Ball. This is what it's about. It's about you guys. It's about the players. And it's about who is going to take it all home, who's getting their wish granted this time around. Six years in the business, and Dragon Ball Fighters is still one of the best mm -hmm. to do it. Hands are being shaken. They both know what's on the line here. And they are th those are brothers in arms right there. Yeah, absolutely, man. I'm a very excited. See the way these two players play. I think they both got very exciting teams, too, filled with characters I love. So let me see, man. Both of them have been looking the most impressive to me as well. And this is still two out of three. Going into it, it's going to be the lab coat point versus Kefla mm -hmm. right here. Still has the cell, not a cell C assist like in Zem. But a lot to worry about. And there's that cat. Everybody knows. And the cat's out of the bag. Zane's the best one in the world. Absolutely. We're going to see how it goes, man. The funny cat, he does some great things. For sure. If he can get, start getting this rock soft, it's going to be a bad time for the opponent. Let's go. Winner's semifinals. Wade versus Zane for a chance to face Kane in winner's finals for the entire tournament. Oh, yeah. Who is going to be the sharpest tool in the shed? We're going to find out now. You know, I'm happy Zamasu's not on points so we don't get like the whole monologue <laughs> where he's like, Dear Diary. Got a journal, it's important. Important match here, winner semifinals, the other side, who moves on to fight game. And we're starting off strong, immediately so good, clashing. Bro. Yeah, with the notification the of the, the projectiles into the super dash, so smart, man. Yeah, somebody's got a little more recovery. Good reflect. Funny cat, oh, oh yeah. Plus the dome and the loops, brother, show me. Just sandwiched between the assist and the point, and the overhead sneaks in so fast. Lab is still a dangerous character. Yep, goes for the safe jump right there. Do you force this mark on Wade? There it is. Immediately. No spin. There it is. I did it again. Oh, after the barrier. He blocked in time. This and we spark right back. I love that. Oh, the cross under blocked. No vanish, though. Oh, my goodness. There it is. Jailed up. Nah. Trying to escape, trying to take a turn. Not going to happen today. Wade fighting fire with fire. Scientific theory. Okay, like, show me your proof. Where's the work? High low, what's it going to be? Maybe a command grab, you never know. Goes for the super jump. Oki okay. utilizing assist to get a 50 50. We call that the legendary bread. So, two rates, and that's happy birthday. That's absolutely massive. He definitely knows how to keep these characters together. Oh, which the means beautiful assist extension. That, that is a dead cell right there. My goodness. Is it going to be enough? I think it is. Oh, yeah, brother. Ba -ba -bow. And it is. That is so good. What a great start for Zane. The perfect, perfect one is done. Mm -hmm. Oh! oh beautiful stuff again. Man, Zane finding his way through the projectiles, getting skirting under it with the Beerus. Dude, Kane shaking his hand in the thin stage, like, please don't. I don't want to fight the cat. Uh, not able to get the confirm with the orbs. Roland Dino would be happy. 2M does not connect. Again, tries to get the stagger, but the super dash comes out from Wade. Willing to take the risk, and again, that's Precisely. a guess. Yeah, exactly, right? Like, he could just be chilling, Wade. 2 H is your super dash, but done. he had the confidence that time. Good tech. Zane's waking up. Normally, if he starts second Dragon Rushes, you start sweating. Sends the beam up. Back up. Yeah, I love the approach right there. Covering it. Oh! Dude, he is absolutely playing blitz ball with our hearts right now. Straight up Ronaldo, Ronaldinho soccer, bro. Shouts to Masters. Nah, no 50-50 just yet. Yeah, stagger. Guess what? More plus frames. You want to hold this? I think you dropped something. More pressure? Would you like more pressure? Not good. I'm good under pressure. Mm -hmm. Can you hit me? I don't think. Oh, you can. <laughs> and that's what we talked about at the beginning, right? Like, you're not just going to be able to fly freely with the Zamasu because of the up ball from Kefla. Dropping on him here. Still got a long way to go for Wade, though. Yeah, you get a nice safe jump here, so not, not the best in the world, but Zane does not care. Just immediately finds the hit. IAD buttons, the great equalizer. And game one goes to Zane. 
pretty dang convincingly. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. Absolutely, yeah. That birthday, I mean, it completely nullified Cell, right? Got the double coach session coming in, making sure that everybody's prepared. Again, like you said, even if you won, still yes. good to get that feedback. Still good to get those adjustments. Exactly. Blue car coming in clutch. As Unk taught me, you should not accept something on a win that you wouldn't accept on a loss. Absolutely critical to success here. It's and true. Wade getting the getting the feedback from Inzem here, actually. Yeah, yeah, Yasha started walking over, but he saw that Inzem was the one handling it, and so he just went back to his seat. He said, sit down, little bro. Yeah, Inzem coming through East Coast, trying to uh, collaborate with France against yeah, the East, West Coast. Huh? East and the Far East All right. is where we're at. I see. I feel you. I feel you know, you. Two thirds against us. They need that like much. That. This is what you need to match our power. They messed up. They put the two SoCal commentators on Zane's match. This is what you need to match a fraction mm -hmm. of our power. Look at this. Just saying, bro. Think, Zane. Think. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. We shall see, though. Oh, yeah. Right now, Wade, of course. That's the, the first game he's lost all day. Yeah. Right in the group stage, he went 4 0, didn't drop a single game. Zane here trying to prove that he's different. Nice. Oh, man. oh yeah. What defense to start it off, but oh, wow. just as I say that. That CS just scared me. I thought he got both of them. Me too. I, I definitely thought it was a birthday coming in hot. Yeah, still great pick up from Wade. Do you off the spark? No, just gets oh. opened up by the 50-50 finally. Not gonna be enough to kill here, but a great start for Wade, honestly. Yeah, Wade is looking clean here, building so much meter in the process. Gonna drop it on lab coat. Time to guess. Hell zone. The patience, oh, again, the smoke screen. We have seen so many players get hit by that. Wade was actually the one who did that before in the pools. It's the let of the long distance overhead. Oh, it hit you with your own pimp. That's right. Now you got to do with the blades and the pinky pinky. Where do you get hit? Yes. Nasty stuff right there. It looked like to me the ankles were exposed. A quick little expose. And now your character's gone. Off my expo, chef. Mm -hmm. Off my expo. Good stuff. Zane gets the first character. Had to spend the spark. But that is how you want to start the tempo. Start the game. Now, of course, Wade sells his cameo appearance at a birthday last time. See if he can do some work. Already That's started true. well. It's like when Uncle drops off the present but says he's got a dip. Mm -hmm. This time he's here for real. He promises. He's not leaving for milk. That's it. No. Oh my goodness, he stayed on the same side, and that's the thing that's so potent. Zane is known for his patented cross up, and you have to be scared of it. You have got to give it the respect, so the left right becomes that much more menacing. Zamasu back in now, just gonna play the annoying game, yep. Yeah. yeah, Cell has to commit to catch him here, so mine as well. Yep, and there's the sparking immediately. Fly away, come on, try to catch me. Look at the perfect timing on the teleports as well. What Look is, at this. What is a come bug? On. Nice up from way tired of chasing him down. What is a bug to a mortal? Mm -hmm. What is a bug to a god? And you can see he immediately switching the matchup out, right? He's like, all right, Cell on the bench, lab coat. Save me from this god. I need science to defeat god. Oh, oh what a cross-up, but he missed the micro dash. You need the micro dash there in order to get the confirm. Did not have it on deck. Zane getting out of dodge free, and the big thing is he got rid of the spark. That was the most important. And now he's gonna play lame, low, and slain. Oh, man. Yeah, and wait, only with half a bar as well. He doesn't have that many options. Ooh. Tags on the dome. Good tech. Spin. Yup. No punish. Oh, Cell got caught. Stagger, you gotta deal with another 50 50. And he gets the hit. The Tezzy as well to make sure that the confirm is clean. No drops allowed. And more blades. More glory. Blades. How are you gonna get out of this? Cool reflect. I'm still in your grill. Oh, nice spin. Yeah, that was clean. No bar though. No meter. Yeah, no bar, no meter. She has trouble building it, of course. Great Ooh. using it, bad at making it. Oh man, but now we're even again. That was a nice lockdown using the shoulder tackle after the whiff command grab in the air. Extra floatage. Yeah, really, really dope. Oh, two M from downtown and the bait, but actually he ate the orb. That was incredible. Yeah, See you so take orb up again, but no confirm. Ooh, nah. actually gets over it. Punishes the beam attempt. What a read from Zane. If he's optimal here, he has the C assist. Oh no, he didn't go for the confirm actually. He didn't, yeah. Blade. Oh, it's a spin! <laughs> what a bait! Oh no, he didn't get it. He didn't have enough. Yeah, help. the point character died too quickly, but Zane with a perfect bait knew exactly how Wade was gonna respond. Beautiful. Again, let the assist do the work for you. Orbs are up. You gotta deal with them. Do you know 
the game plan. Have you looked at the paperwork? At least for Wade, uh, Zamasu is dead. So the biggest problem against this character is in the grave already. Oh, but the funny oh. cat. Oh, super dash to 2M. Absolutely huge starter here. Not going to build the third bar, I don't think, but this is massive damage. Oh, I'm a liar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we got to extend those yeah, on extend bar. those, baby. But he doesn't spend it. Rolling crush. Oh, oh, but as soon as he sees the escape, perfect attack into the level one. We got one more character to go. One touch, both sides. Two perfect attacks in the chamber. God, this is so scary. Oh, the crowd the crowd getting a little rowdy now as well. Is it going to be a command grab? Oh, no way. Perfect attack. He's got one more in the chamber right there. He's got half a bar still. Yeah, he's about to build another one too. Yeah, Careful. he's got two. Oh, oh and he just is gonna need one. That's it. He just needs it's one. A Wade attack. brings it back. And that's what we said, right? Like that was the, the big plus for Wade in that last situation was that Zamasu was already dead. Yeah. Like Cell can definitely have a much easier time coming back on those other two characters. Absolutely, and that was hard. I mean, it came down to the last moment. I told you it's gonna be decided by the perfect attack. Oh, and he yeah. found the window, found the opportunity, and full sent it. It was more than enough damage. Yeah, there, there was some real clutch perfect attacks. Obviously, that move is ridiculous, but uses it right there. I love when he used it on the escape from the corner, too, when we saw the dive bomb from his Beerus, I believe. Me, a perfect attack as soon as he saw the dive bomb. Definitely uh, good stuff from Wade so far with the way he's adjusted. Yeah, really difficult situation, too, because Zane was trying not to overextend and just got clipped by it, and that's all it takes at that point. Final game between these two. Yeah, exactly, and that's like where you get caught at these high-level competitions, right? Where you're able to escape in most situations, and this is how you do it. But against certain characters, they just got the tools to shut that down, like the perfect attack. Ooh, simultaneous headphone wearage. We're locking back in. Okay, I see it. We are in the zone. We feel the vibes. This is a hard one right here. Again, so much on the line for both of these players. Zane was so close, but it was back and forth the entire time. World class. Nice defense. And the defense for both of these guys has been no immaculate. Way, full send. But the full send will open people up. Don't That's get it twisted. Oh, I know that all too well. Sparking. Nah, oh, not to do it. So difficult, yeah, insane. He tried to be disciplined. He tried to block it out, but he's got a drop combo. Reflecting oh. the corner. Wade looking relentless right now. Incredible stuff from Wade right there. Even through the drop, finds the hit. And now Zane, no lab code, no nothing, just green and purple all day. Another well, quick little chop. We shall see though, Wade definitely slowing this down a little bit. Knows he's got a character advantage. Nice. Ooh, tried the 2H, but it got Dragon Rush. Yeah, a little too slow on that. Never tech with 2H. It's not the right option, I promise you. I think Blades. he sparks here. No, he's just trying to jump out. And, and he, he finds a way, actually, with a command dash. Oh, and the raw tag gets a hit on top of it, Wade. Saving resources, switching the momentum. He's looking strong. Massive opportunity here. What do you get out of this, Okita? That's the question. No assist. You got to get cheeky. Command grab. What's it going to be? TR. But he finds the answer. He finds a way out. Strong tech here. Zane, oh, tried to get him under the lay, but a quick reflect gets him away. Spin is so scary here, too. Oh, no, he got vacuumed in. Exactly, even on the teleport behind the Omni Blade, bruh, everywhere, every which way, 360 degrees. Yeah, you are done for spin, spin, spin. Is that enough? No, it's not. Still a chance. Don't spark. Yeah, he needs the, the sparking. Oh, that's huge. That's huge. He can actually keep some Zamasu alive here. He just has to tag into Beerus. But does he opt to? That's the question. Yes. Yeah, okay. A little bit of blue out. You can't call that assist for a while, though. See if Beerus can get this job done. He's got to play around Wade having both assists as and well as perfect attack. <laughs> like, oh, man, it's going to be tough. Great tech. Nice. Pick up the orb. Still has one more work, but gets the whole ensemble on the screen. Nah, he wasn't able to go through the C assist completely. Again, Wade just lied and Wade right there. These C assist calls have been so precise. Yeah, so dang hard. Another level three here. Do we bait the burst, though? Do we bait the spark? Oh, this is so tense. Both players, no. You want to lay on the pressure. There it is. Finally went for it. Oh, look at this. Oh, that it's over. It's over. Indeed, the spark up from Wade. He's going to be building a bunch of meter because of the spark. No longer is she hindered by that. Again, another guess. This burns out even more of the sparking time. Beerus is in dire straits. I don't know how you come back from this. So dang hard. Getting oh. hit by the BSS, and that is 
is going to be it. The that is a win. Oh, man, just with that, the assist does the work. The pop-off comes through, and Wade cleans it up very convincingly. Wade the hug as well. Two very high-level competitors and Dragon Ball fighters. Wade, very pleased with his performance right there. Dropping the first game, running it two back to guarantee himself a top three finish. Winner's finals in his future. After what, coming in second place last year as well. Just incredible run this whole 23-2024 for yeah, Wade. Love that from Wade. And again, Zane was one touch away from having it in a 2-0 favor himself. But that is the... You can't leave that one touch on the table. You can. And, I mean, that's the X-Perfect attack, man. Yep. Yeah, and, I mean, uh, beautiful composure and confidence. Like I said, Wade, I mean, just the vibe he's given off. He looks like he's uh, coming for the crowd. Yeah. And right there, you need games like that to get to where you need to be. Games where you face adversity, where you go down the first game, where you got to make the two games come back to really propel yourself into a situation, a mindset to be the champion in. He's looking like he's coming for that. Yeah, it puts you right in that headspace where you are zoned in, ready to succeed. And as we can see, we have our two winners on winner's side, which has been determined. Kane versus Wade, a French classic right there. And on the loser's side, it is going to be Hikari Lukar and Inzem versus Ikoan to decide who goes to face Zane and Kosaga in the quarterfinals here. Again, it's do or die here down with the Sharks. You get one shot to make your moves. And uh, all these players know that their hearts are on the line here as well as, uh, you know, their tournament runs. Absolutely. And I mean, some uh, interesting stories with Hikari and Lukar. Obviously, Hikari getting that EVO 2023 crown, a favorite to come out in winner's side of his group. It ended up coming out in losers, right? Almost didn't make it. Very intense yeah. way that the group played out. And Lukar having Yasha in his group, I think a lot of people underestimated where he'd be. He ended up pulling the big upset, made it into top eight as well. This is going to be a barn burner. Yeah, and Lukar definitely is the, uh, is the dark horse in this matchup. Yeah. Like, beating the EVO champ especially, Playing unorthodox characters is going to be quite difficult. And after um, we saw what Hikari was able to do once he played, uh, once he played the blue team once again, he changed back to the tried and true. He yes. was untouchable. Indeed, right? Yeah, that's something that I, I'm really interested in seeing how those players of the double blue 17 really go about this tournament. Obviously, we saw Yasha stick with it the whole way through. Hikari tried the Jiren team and ended up going back to this. Right? It's that juggle that we talked about between. Yeah comfortability and what's really strong in the current patch, right? Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, yeah, Hikari he has a really strong team besides this one, especially for this patch, but he wants to go back to the comfortability. What got him first place at EVO, what got him first at Bum's birthday bash, right? Those are two huge Dragon Ball tournaments that he took the crown for. Yeah, and I mean, if anybody's going to do it from losers, he has shown that he has got the grit here. So that's yeah, going to be exciting. And again, he is actually going to be playing the Jiren 17 adult Gohan here. Yeah, I think this is a really strong team for the patch. We know it didn't work out so well in the group stage, but this is what he's trying first. And again, this is two out of three, so he doesn't have the privilege of an extra game to try this team out. He's just confident that this will work. Yeah, sounds like we got the Lucar chance in the in the chat. Not even in the chat. I'm calling the group the chat. <laughs> My bad, the guys. The crowd. You're not the chat. The chat's probably rooting for you guys too. So please make some noise for our competitors as we get in the loser side of top eight for the Dragon Ball Finals here at the World Tour. Kari versus Lucar, Fidel versus Jiren. A matchup that uh, you know, on paper. I don't know, that Jiren guy's pretty strong. I was going to say, one definitely outclassing the other on paper, but you know, in game, anything can happen, that's for sure. Letting it go. Oh, reflected to the immediate commitment. Akari knew what was coming next. 2S, so dang fast. Better than the 2H. Yeah. So good. And great defense from Lucar, the great wall. What they would call him. Sometimes you just can't crack this guy open. But uh, sometimes you crack a few eggs. And that is going to be no Videl, no more on the screen. Yeah, you ain't going to be able to vanish. No autopilot strats for defense here. Akari got all those layers covered. I ain't going to let you block no more. Mm -mm. Android 16 on anchor says, I got you in here for three minutes. Straight up. Oh, oh that's yeah. huge. Another happy Lukar. birthday, too. Oh, you're right. Going to be able to stop both of them. Just let them recover and then jumps over the key blast to get the clean punish. Oh, my man is floating across the ring, floating across the stage. Still games. Oh, he tried. Oh, he tried to get he did. Nice little double jump from Makari as soon as he up -tech. Got him out of that space. He knew what was coming. Pretty sure this is a kill as well, which is insane. Uh, yeah, bro, this team be outputting the damage right here. Look at this. Yeah, that's a death sentence right here. The Pride Trooper said, uh, you're on the list. Yeah. Look at that. 
85, 90% combo, no sparking necessary. TOD, oops. Wow. Now 17 and Lucar. We've seen some close to miracles on the 16 so far. He's gonna need a full one here. Lock them down, Android 17. Nice, oh, had the double reflect there. The Rekka series is too potent. Gonna do Mondo big damage here. Not gonna be enough to kill. He does have the spark though, actually. Nah, nah, he's not gonna spend it. Better take me, sorry. Let's back oh, oh no, don't be trying to sit there. Don't be trying to make some tea on me. He'll play that game. Lucar is not afraid. 198 seconds left on the clock as well. Wants to build, goad out his reactions too. He got oh, caught on the start of. Yeah, I'm actually surprised. Normally that too. works. Unfortunate for Lucar. He had the right idea, just a little too slow. And now, down one. Dang, Hakari is a stick player? Yeah, Craig plays on stick. Wow. Yep. That's rare nowadays. <laughs> yeah. He, he, he plays on that uh, Kwamba he, Pearl. That man is an endangered species. Yeah. He's like, hey, can I borrow a controller? Nobody's got one. All I see is pads and levers. All I see is, I, I, see, I see no levers yeah. for me to pull. As far as the eye could see, that's an ancient technology now. I only know buttons for my right hand. I know joystick. There is no joy with no joystick. Mm, for real. That's a, that's a shout out. To, that's what I taught my wife, Tekken. She said, no joy, no joystick. <laughs> And Zane, of course. So Inzem and Zane have a little bit of a little bit of a beef, you know what I mean? We saw Inzem coaching Wade when he was playing against Zane. Now we see Zane coaching Lucar. But Lucar was also supposed to be the one that coached Zane as yeah, well during yeah, that yeah. match, right? So we got some friendly friendly coaching, but also like it's kind of fueled a little bit by this rivalry between yeah. uh Hikari and A little bit of banter. Yeah. Back and forth. It's gonna be a good one here again. Lucar at the deficit. Happy to be here in this position at top eight. Wants to go as far as possible and has uh, one of the hardest competitors that he could in his path. So, wouldn't have it any other way. Can he overcome? We're gonna find out. We shall see. I really like that, that he went with this Jiren team, already got the W on the board. And look at the way he's been shutting it down, man. Everything that they're trying. Yeah, Lucar has not been able to get much mileage out of the Videl this time. Good sparking, though. Gotta keep the character alive. Absolutely agree. The tick throw comes through. Unblockable. And that's what we saw with Lucar. He gets so much mileage off of in the group stage. No 2H and the barriers right there, but the 2S. The guard point is too dang fast. So Hakari ridiculous right now, bro. Oh, he's is he dead? No, 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 no. Yeah, he went for the knockdown. I was gonna say, oh, you broke up back. No way. No fear shown from the car. I got the tag in. Let's see what Lab Coke can do. Gamer out for my heart. Wake up, LLL. Put him in the cell. Oh, what is this? The gonna be is Hakari gonna use his sparking now? He does indeed. Where's the spin? Does not opt to utilize it. Waiting a little bit more. Has to deal with that. Where's the rejump? Not success, but no conversion. There it is. Game. Oh, no spin again. Great defense. Jailed. And Hikari, yeah. oh, finally busts out. Hikari has so much mirror to work with, too. Yeah. Didn't matter. Hikari picking his spot perfectly. Dude, Jiren builds unlimited meter. Can you get the kill here? No, doesn't even off the active switch. It's actually mad rough here. Oh! Rocket the punch. He has two sets of hands to deliver. But the drop again, a little bit of nerves. Can't have those drops happen at this stage. And now, what's Akari gonna wanna spin? He does wanna spin the level three here, get the hard knockdown. And hey, you got no sparking to save you now. You gotta earn this defense. And he does earn the Dragon Rush tech. It's a little bit of space to work with now. And, yeah, the second round of the fist coming out. The the sentinel of defense. He is making his life a lot easier now, carving away at Akari's life. Where's the raw tag? You gotta look for it. Don't go on make, making his way in pretty soon. Oh, what? That was a reflect. Nah, nah. He's, he got so lucky. Yeah, that was directed. Definitely. Point, that's kind of like, you know what? We take those. Yeah. We take those. 100%. He said, hands, hands are delivered no matter what. That's a classic Dragon Ball fortunate event. My mistake, your, my reward. Mm hmm. Right now, Hikari back against the wall here, Lucar. He'll play the whole clock. Very dominant. Oh, Go as soon as you press something. Man. <laughs> that is Goku adjacent. I must dunk. 
Heard a yak from the crowd through the headphones. That got me good. Oh, yeah, dude. We got yeah, the number one cheerleader of Luke Hart, Deadly Chicano, in the, in the stage. Wow, that was good stuff right there. The knockdown, though, level oh, up. Let me get that. Level five. Okay, we got it. We got, what was it, the uh, double air dash reverse B. We got the sending uh, buttons on the fast fall. He's got just about everything. Just about oh. everything. Ooh. But he might not get to show that off. Yeah, you spent five meters to lose the character. I've done that before. <laughs> Dang. Uh, Dang. Car, bro. That's one and one, and now it's just uh, time to alien up. Let's see what he can do. One touch on all these characters. Ooh. Neither, neither player wants to move forward here. Neither player. Luke Hart knows he does not have to take any risks. Me if he must. Take a look. Nah, Ooh, that's the 2L. Well. Well of the gods, bro. He's so fast, dude. Seven frames, by the way. That is a chin check if I've ever seen one. Sweet chin music. Ooh. One down, two to go. One touch. All he's got to do is hit him two times. Akari comfortable here. Yeah, Akari. I mean, it feels like he's got nothing to lose oh, at this point. Oh, no. Still alive. Yeah, missing that drop again. The convert was late, but it doesn't matter. The late super dash. Yeah. Catches the recovery. Lugar with the one more, one more time. Puts the finger up. He knows. Yeah, it, it looked like the 2L was coming through right. He wanted, like, timing when he landed. And like you said, the late super dash was able to catch him. And that was my bad. I forgot. It was, it's in Zim and Zane that had the little beef right now. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that was yeah, my yeah. mistake last time. Oh, dude. Oh, Jade geez. is popping off right now. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Jeez, dude. The feedback is coming in. Zane looks more locked into this match right now. <laughs> I know, right? He's like, not going to lie. Look at this. Yeah, he's high for Lucar, man. Like you said, Lucar, the dark horse, I think, of the entire tournament. Yeah. Even with his consistent results throughout the NA tournaments this year for Dragon Ball Fighters. Definitely one on paper a lot of people are underestimating the most. Yeah. And he's right here. He's on the verge of sending the Evo champ home in uh -huh. the first round of top eight losers. The crazy thing is, is right now, with the, how into this thing is, uh, he's honorary West Coast. <laughs> Luke yeah. South Florida is now <laughs> on his West Coast. So Southern California combining with Southern Florida? Yes. I we we claim it. them at this moment right here. And oh, Hikari, man. it looks like he's switching back to the double blues and Android 17 as well. Yeah, the tried and true. All the right, ran out true. of time. The minute is gone, and the time is now. No excuses, no more changes. Hikari versus Lucar. A final game to decide who stays in the bracket. Is it going to be the Evo champ bowing out early or the Dark Horse continuing to run the Ooh. Lucar chance? A Lucar chance. Everybody loves an underdog. But look at Hikari's smile. This man, he likes being the villain. Don't get it twisted. You're powering this, him up. This is exactly the spot he wants to be in. Let me get the fan favorite. Let me crush some dreams. We'll see if he'll be able to do that or if Lucar can rise to the occasion. Because it's going to be a big pop-off if he gets that done. Oh, man. It is. You know what? Don't count your chickens before they hatch. That's right. Lucar, for damn sure. Lucar, you better be paying good attention to those hens. The movement, Ooh. wow! Ooh. And it's, Lucar, bro. It's not even the most damage, but it's about winning that first neutral interaction. Has to feel good, man. Exactly. First neutral interaction, you can start running your offense from there. He didn't get much out of it, but nonetheless, said just good moral support. Waiting patiently, dodging the S's, staying full screen. Hikari, waiting for the assist to come back. Doesn't want to overcommit. Oh, the wreck. Oh, I love that. That's clean. Such a great way to chase down people post super dash for right there, Hikari. Switching it up, bringing the 17 in on the raw tag. Yep, nice knockdown, no meter, so you don't really get too much. Great defensive warning, he was able to escape. Not enough hit stun anymore, but the low, the ankles are broken. Let me get that. Spinning the other half meter as well to extend, though. Yeah, you, again, just get a sliding. Let's see what you do. Do you opt the spark here, Lucar? He did, that was smart. Where's the super dash? Oh, there it is, I told you. Indeed, after he's floating away. Yeah, Lucar is not the type to usually 2H, but he gets the confirm. He's the type to find the follow-up. I think you tag her out here, maybe. Yeah, there we go. He does indeed now, Hikari. He's going to respond. It's the up tag. Oh, he oh, the deep up. oh, that was weird. The yeah, spark the spark went right through. Do so you find the spin? No, you get opened up low. That's a huge pickup. He's going to build up to seven bars here. Absolutely. Look at the meter. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 17 already. A great battery. And then on top of that, you're going to have the sparking. A little bit of a meter penalty applied, but nonetheless, yeah. still big. Decided to cash out, get the 17 in the back, keep the barrier assist. Same side sword, not a cross up. Careful. Good defense so far. Waiting still. Nice. 
5L, do you try to escape? And he tried to jump, he got caught oh, immediately. That was so clutch. What? That was nuts. Oh, Cardi. That was insane. What kind of read was that, brother? That was Larry. Oh, the spin! Oh. All right, Luka, not going into the night quietly, though. Yeah, get a little bit of life back, tagging to 16. Yes, sir. Yeah, oh. I got reads, too. Mm -hmm. I got reads, too. I got my library card. Best believe. Where's the reset? There it oh, is! I told you! Yeah. I told you! He knew! Oh, and it is going to be, is it going to be enough to kill? He's got Call the assist. assist. And that is going to be a dead Pacino. Oh. He won the point war. I told you, as that reset was coming. That reset, Lucan loves it. Grimy stuff to get rid of the first character. Again, two characters away from sending the Evo champ home. No, oh. but the 2-H, the Wahoo. To the sky. That was clean. And you have to have those on deck. Nakari slowing down Lucar here. No confirm this time. The Ducks gets the Super Dash, but no confirm again. A little bit of bleeding. He's got to find a way to get the 16 out here, but doesn't want to just raw tag. We've seen. Oh, again, Lucar. He's got these on deck. Dude, the Dunk tackles. Yeah, he's going to get a little health back. That was most important. Get the safe jump. Moon jump in. Nah, just runs forward. Nah, oh. wow. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, but yeah. With the glutes and then going low. Put a little fast fall. Hikari putting the mix on. He already went into the level one. Needed to get the tag out here. I agree. Again. Dead even on both sides, meter life, you name it. Look at the bar at the top. Yeah, look at it, yeah, the meter, yeah. Oh my goodness. Ah! The B assist coming through, adjusts it so that both rock hits will connect and he can get the clean combo. What's it gonna be? Do you watch the DP here, Hikari? What are you trying to do? Oh, Goes for the 2A. Oh, he it. Lucar, he had gotten so much mileage on people uptaking him, countering with that. Hikari with a clutch adaption. Yeah. The 2 Hs have been on so... Like on deck every single time, but Lucar has the 16. This character has been making the moves the entire time. Can he do it? Oh, and it starts. Yeah, you can't be doing that for free. 16. Where's the reset? That down all day, every where's, day. Where's the reset? There was. He oh, he was trying to get him to uptake again, but Hikari, he's shown. He's going to the ground. He's changing his options each time, too, which is so scary. He gets the full confirm here. Going to be a ton of damage. Nobody drops. Oh, the block. Oh, but he got hit by the assist. Is it going to be enough? He has the meter penalty. I don't think he kills. But man, he might actually, he might be dead. It's gonna be very close here. He's dead. That's a kill, that's it. Hakari has enough damage and it is gonna be Lucar dropping down a clutch Ooh. performance from Hakari there. Look at you see the head shakes. Like this is what I was talking about. Yeah. Like this man, the personality of a villain. He's like, this shouldn't have been that close. I know y'all cheered for this man, but I am the Evo champion. I am the Bum's Birthday Bash champion. Like it's different. There's levels to it and you ain't on mine. Yeah. And then we got the fist bump at the end. They still did it, so. Man, I mean, Lucar put on one hell of a show. It was two interactions from taking it, but it got to the point where Hikari respected the reset, was able to read the tech option mm -hmm. correctly. No tech chase here. Yeah. And uh, the stick player remains. <laughs> That's right. I forgot about that. But to give you an update on the bracket, of course, we got Kane and Wade in that winner's finals. But with the victory from Hikari over Lucar, we got Zane versus Lucari. Stepping up next is going to be a good one, considering Zane was also coaching Lucar. So we're going to see if Zane's ideas are going to be put to the test directly. And then our last game of round one, top eight, Inzem and Ikoan. Inzem versus Ikoan is going to be another classic. We already saw Ikoan take down garlic bread like he was left in the oven for too long. <laughs> and you know what? It's a big burn, but we got to get over it. Inzem had, uh, you know, had a huge run here in the LCQ, ended up having to take down, you know, his East Coast brother, Pred, yeah. to get to this point, and he fell to Zane. So now Inzem versus Ikoan, do we keep East Coast alive? You're strong in the loser side of things because as we continue to move forward, it's gonna be less and less American representation here. So Ikuan, the lone Japanese competitor. Yeah. Can he, do we, do we go back all the way to day one? Is that what's happening? No, no right? The spirit of Kazunoko smiles on this day. <laughs> we shall see, man. Ikuan, of course. Yeah, I mean, Japan has such a strong legacy in this game. So many titles under the belt, so many great yeah. moments and players from the country. Ikuan, like you said, is really carrying that torch here for the entire country of Japan in Dragon Ball Fighters. Oh, yeah. He's been doing the damn thing, but now going up against Inzem, winning the entire LCQ, was the favorite to win the LCQ as well, and carried it out walk the walk after everybody put those expectations on him. 
So it was beautiful stuff to see that. Obviously making it out as well in the death pool of legendary Pred Zaynan himself wasn't easy to do. So as you mentioned, he had to sacrifice his East Coast brethren just to do so. Yeah. So you know that's extra motivation going into this. He's like, if I had to kill a teammate to get here, I ain't trying to let nobody else put me in a body bag. Dude, it's quite literally when Chatsu flew up, exploded, TN still <laughs> loses everything, and you're like, dang. You can't let that happen. You got you to gotta pull up like Goku. You cannot... You cannot uh, give an arm and a leg and your homie to just to to bow out. So exactly right. you better you better show up right now and wait. Uh, give them the feedback right now. I did not believe that it was the entire East Coast and France versus Japan and the West Coast. Uh, Iguan, you're on our West Coast. You're, you're on our side. We got you, buddy. A week. Yeah, gun buddy must. Get, get this gun buddy must. <laughs> Give this man some coaches. Where's garlic bread? Yeah, get garlic it? bread over here. I need to give. Uh, I gotta give him the Japanese lesson and say, all right, you gotta, you gotta just tell him uh, to do his best in Japanese. Oh, and it's gonna be hard. I mean, I think we're doing a button check right here. Yes, yes that would yes, be an yes. incredible team to see. SS double SSJ in the cell, <laughs> season one. Where are you? Is that Super like, New? Holy, yeah, yeah. Fact. Steve, are you here? Super Noon, you're back. Her? Where is he? <laughs> Bon Bon too? Oh, man. If only, right? The, the old greats, all the old classics. It's like we got the old heads reminiscing. I remember when we had a guy named Kaimai. He played Vegeta real good. Man, One man. of his characters was banned. It was Team Gohan. The good old days, bro. The good old days. We had Aqua. No water, <laughs> but we had Aqua. <laughs> That right, apology that was, man guy. That was a good one. That was a good one. That apology man guy had no cards ready for that day. Mm -hmm. But we got all the cards here. Maybe he'd have a better time. Yeah, we shall see. Iguana and Inzen, we're getting into it again. This is our last round of a winner, or excuse me, loser side top eight. Winner of this is going to go on to face, who's it? Wait, or not wait, sorry, winners, of course. Uh, Kasuga, that's right. Going to be going out to face Kasuga. That's going to be a barn burner as well. Both players have given the thumbs up. They are ready to proceed. Oh, yeah. Time to get into the last losers round one match here at the World Tour Finals 2023-2024 for Dragon Ball Fighters. Indeed it, it is a treat and a half right now. And Inzem, he's such a strong competitor, obvious reasons. What, what What's happening? Oh, <laughs> so it's all good. Inzem, definitely uh, the favorite to take all of the LCQ, right? He also got top eight at EVO in 2023. He got third at ECT. So he was the favorite for a reason. He's always obviously carried that out. And he's already here now in top eight, progressing through the group stage. Was it the cell-based Vegeta and Android 18 in yep. the group stage? All right, mm -hmm. that's what we're going to be looking for here as yeah. well. That's cell backed by two strong, strong characters as well. Yep. He is a dangerous man. Got a lot of different assists on the docket, and we are actually going to be seeing exactly that again, running the cell on point here for this matchup because uh, if you've ever played wow. base Vegeta, he likes to throw Key Blast. Mm -hmm. If you've yeah. ever played Lab Coat, she doesn't think Key Blast exists. Yeah. So uh, good option, honestly. Good choice. Yeah, and they had the Destructo disc from 18 as well, right? Kind of uh, abandoning the barrier. The disc. Just for, as you said, so many things to kind of fill the screen and not let in them. Or excuse me, Equal play the game he wants to play. Starting off strong, Equal is not the one playing Cell. We'll get the names adjusted here in just a moment. In them finds a way. And after he played Fred, he said, I'm not losing a single character. And uh, I might have spoken too soon. 1 800. Call Jake. <laughs> If you do, if you're looking to advance in your pool, get our hotline, bro. The commentator's curse delivered to your doorstep for the low, low price of free 99, just like your opponent. Nice yeah. sparking, absolutely good call, and the back yeah. hitbox from the from the back. Indeed, yeah, the 360 degrees, baby. That's how he gets down. I but didn't even know there was a fadeaway jumper in Dragon Ball. If you do, knock down, open the ghosts up. Bill Murray, where are you? Help me. Match this game, an immediate chase down. Eagle on, ooh, not letting it to take his turn. Yeah, wonderful staggers presented. Yes, and I love that. The delay right there to get the full yeah. extension, but the drop, that was a little awkward. Yeah, a little strange, the spacing from uh, relation to the wall was a bit awkward, and now we got the CSS coming in for self. Absolutely. This man wants as many perfect attacks as possible. Oh, counts breaker. This bad boy can fit so many perfect attacks in him. Mm -hmm. What are we doing with it? Yeah. Oh. Single overhead into the empty low. Drop the knees. Save the bees. That was good stuff. I like that from Inzem right here. Base Vegeta very deadly after that level three. Equal on just blowing through it with the elbow. Caught the shoulder. 
I think caught Inzem off guard because of that. Maybe thought Cell would get through. Yeah, the cold shoulder. Definitely a hard one. It's a VTVD. Oh, man. Layers on layers. Wonderful Dragon Rush coming out here. Ikemon not going to get the most out of it, but the level three gives you a guaranteed situation. And now Inzem's the one who has to react. It's a messy guessy. See here, oh, the timing on that from Ikawan. That was meaty as hell. Yeah, like base Vegeta, barely getting up off the ground. That restaurant does not serve vegetarians, I'm sorry. <laughs> Sent to the wall, bro. They said, are you sure you do not want the all you can meet? <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, man, my goodness. Inzem now playing it a little bit slower, trying to find that in, trying to find a way to defeat Ikawan and gets cracked open. Not only losing a character, now two. That's 18 versus. Ikawan's shell. This is hard. Let's see right now. Zem, if he can get a level three like we talked about, very potent, and she's always got an extra little assist, right? Because 17's got her back. Ikawan not pressing his own assist because of that. Yes, big bro. Oh. Help me, big bro. Mm -hmm. And look at that lockdown by the 17. Allowed her to get her rocks off with a mix-up. This is huge for Inzem. 17's like, I got you, little sis. Legit. All right, let's see. Left, right, where are we going, Ringe? I say command grab or something, other wonky thing. I'm gonna say same side. Oh, try to go with the low, and then we got the reflect into the immediate punish. Huge. Let me see, not enough to kill here. Oh, he's gonna extend, actually. Hold on, can you squeeze it out? Not enough, but now, pixel in a dream, you can't make mistakes. Yeah, exactly. And so he's gonna have to make every right decision in a row here. Over and over again to have this whole nah. comeback. He's gonna start it with a level three and it catches it. Caught the jump. Oh my god. He going he tried to do something, the counter hit notification was there. It's a whole lot of damage. Oh, and then gets crossed up. No blue life gonna be able to be regen. This Ooh. is very doable for Inzem still. We got ourselves a set. He can set up 17 and oh, he tried. That's exactly what he wanted. You knew that, right? Now he's like, oh, it's 1v1. I technically have the advantage because I can call 17. And Ikawan not going to let him do that very quick. Man, I love it when it's like, yeah, he's going to do I, I, It's uncanny. Yeah. It's uncanny. It's like I'm, I'm, these guys, they're playing on that level where that's where it becomes a problem, right? Because that's exactly that's exactly what Inzem was thinking. Yep. And Ikawan was like, well, yeah, of course you want that. Yeah, you know, you know what? Like, I have this funny little thing called SD. Mm -hmm. San Diego, down the street. The <laughs> super <laughs> news, yeah. And that's when it becomes such a deep mind game between the players, right? It's like, okay, you want to do this. I know what you want to do. So does the original point person be like, well, I know that he knows that I want to do that. So then do I not do that? It, 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 fighting games get so deep. Just to hate the super dash, bro. Yep. Yeah, exactly, right? That's what it comes down to. Just take the throw. Like, that's what it comes down to. Just is jump the command grab. If Inzim's on that level where he's like, okay, I think that he knows what I want to do, that he just stays there and 2H is the super dash. Yeah. And we're just like, oh, he just 2H the super dash. But all those layers are what goes into it. Exactly. That's the reason that the decisions get made. Yep, you got to move the needle of respect to disrespect. And Ikuan Perfect way to put it. had already established so many layers of respect, so many layers of offense, defense, and decision making that he was uh, confident enough to super dash there. So and uh, I love that. And now it's up to Inzem again. This is the, uh, he's only, this entire tournament, he dropped one game in the LCQ, two games to Zane, and now one to Ikuan. Can you give me that bargain? What was it you said, establish respect to disrespect? Or what, yeah. is that what it was? You Man. must first establish respect to disrespect. It's so true. That, that is like the basis of fighting games. It's a great way to put it. Because you make your opponent think you're smart, and then you make them feel stupid for yeah. doing the right thing. Exactly, right? And then all of a sudden, you're like, okay, I know what type of wavelength the person's on. You think you have the right answer, and then that's when they get disrespectful. But it's only because of that conditioning and that context from the previous situations and the way the two players interacted. You gotta read the Scantron correctly. When you're like, oh, that's the right answer, but it says, please select the wrong answer. <laughs> And you're like, no. What? What? I was, meant, I was supposed to be wrong here? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes, Because exactly. if doing it is wrong, I don't want to be right. <laughs> That's how you have to That's be. That's like when we saw the reflect that got turned into the rocket fist and it hit. Like, oh. He was right. He mm -hmm. was painfully correct. And right here. Painfully. It's up to Inzem to make the corrections, make the adjustments. Obviously, Ikoan sitting pretty here. Had to feel good about that one. Came down to a super dash, but everybody's got it. It's the great equalizer for a reason. Mm -hmm. and we're going to see here Inzem on his last life. Are we going to see East Coast Ballad? Is it going to be Hikari, the lone warrior? It's a lone warrior. Oh, we got a point change here, actually. Somebody was holding on. Yeah, yeah. We heard the little notification right there. So I'm curious. 
Is it going to be base Vegeta on point for a little bit of a mind game? It is. It is indeed. Man, who would have thought? Not me. But the, this, oh, the Destructo this actually clipped the raw tag. That looks so strange. Dude, he went to the gym. He was active. For real. Like, he was That Destructo disc was outside. It was running the block. That's right. He had the spinning disc, the spinning rim. Oh, man, let's see how this goes. This is rough here. Equal one already sparked, but now in pretty control, honestly. Got the ghost set up. Jailed all the way down. Uh-oh. Yeah, spark right back. You had to. Yeah, he actually smoked Cell. <gasps> he did, and Inzip respected it. You saw he was just blocking after the vanish. He was hoping the Cell would do the heavy lifting, but it got smoked. Uh-oh. Rock the punch, eh? Cell just about back. They have Chirai to lock him down with it. The strike though this as well. Great blocks from Ikuan. He actually changed the disc trajectory too to give himself a little bit more air. And you can do that. You change the type of Destructo disc you throw to get a different mix up. But Ikuan was just ready, which is insane. Oh, he got the hit, but he didn't believe. Yeah, exactly. He's just trying for these tick dragon rushes. Didn't get nice. ready. He blasts again just to annoy because Vegeta's got some good stuff. It's so interesting watching the school of thought that Japanese players have because it's like so reminiscent. Like you can change the name tag and I'd be like, yeah, that's uh, that's Sachikawa. Yeah, that's Goichi. Yeah, that's that. Because they play in such a particular way, right? And that's how it goes, right? The, the successful players of a certain region kind of dictate how the rest of the region plays. Yeah. And you can see that DNA in Iguan's play right now. He's got to really deep down. Oh, oh man. I was going to say he's got to reach deep into the Goichi back to block this one. And he does not in him. Bringing him out with a cross of Rolling Crush. Done so. Oh, Rembrandt. Music to my ears. No meter required for the music. Oh, stuff right here. Ends up looking very much in control here in game two. Yeah, whatever feedback he got, the adjustment was potent enough, but the spin is more potent. We had a previous perfect attack. The old hotness versus the new and busted. Slicey, slicey, bro. Chop, chop. Level three once again. Let's see what this mix is gonna be afterwards and what Enzem commits to. Of course, we know the perfect attack is looming. Yeah, Schrodinger's oh. perfect attack, but also Schrodinger's jab. It's always there and it's not. Right now, Enzem, yes. He's gonna put himself in prime position. Da 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 da. The tie up the set here. He's gonna bring in 18 as well. Healthiest character, deadliest mix ups. The deadliest catch right here. Fish out of water, Ikoan. Do you know what's up? Have you evaded the net? Yeah, good stuff. The spin to keep yourself safe. Not able to dissuade the reflect, though. Can you block it out, Ikoan? Did not bite on the barrier. No bait. Yeah, that's why he ends up adjusted, right? He's like, all right, if you're not going to bite, I'm going to let 17 get his rocks off with his defense right now. Look at this. Everything blocked until that. No confirm. No the trade as well. Getting a little cheeky here, a little scramble. Yeah, oh no, you're still not oh, allowed, yeah. 17, that barrier, the activity on that, absorbing every hit. Yeah, after you commit to a button there, you are pretty much uh, singing your death rights. Oh, yeah, exact like being again, put him in the mix while she can approach. Very smart stuff from Enzim. I love the way he's structuring the offense right now. Yeah, utilizing the dash OS there too. Eco on trying to keep himself safe here. Trying to find an opportunity to evade. It has not found anything just yet. Finally, getting a touch, locking him down in the corner. No assist, the one inch. Yeah, a little bit too far. Oh, yep. Again, respecting the negative frames. Knows that you cannot press unless the assist. The defense from Eco on is incredible. But you know what? If you're set to block all, exactly. command grabs will connect. Very smart from Inzem right there. I love him going with that too, rather than the Dragon Rush. He knows he can convert from that with a simple kill. He'd rather do that, it's quicker, oh. it's less telegraph than right there. He finally opens up Ikoan. Going to game three here. Inzem versus Ikoan. And that was much cleaner. Whatever adjustment Inzem got on the coaching paid off. And I feel like he just played his cards correctly. He utilized the assist in a much more defensive manner, he mm -hmm. said. You can press on me, but you're going to respect. That's how you want to play. We're going to play the your game. And he plays it incredibly well because Ikoan knows. One misstep, and you take 60% off, potentially lose a character. Yep. So Ikoan, without an assist, had to give every, like, every ounce of respect. And doing that, you remove a lot of your tools off the table. It's so hard. And I like the fact that we saw the base Vegeta point switch as well, right? That's something else that ends up kind of switched up in that game two. Yeah. That brought it back again, just to disrupt the way the neutrals played at the beginning of the game, right? And this they, is a hard matchup, too. Yeah. 
Like the fact that he's willing to fight lab coat with base Vegeta, that's uh, if that's not confident, I don't know what is. All right, it's just like an opportunity to make Iguan uncomfortable, get a raw tag in with Cell to start the chaos rather than just having to fight lab coat on neutral ground. And the thing is, too, I guarantee you, like base Vegeta is no longer a common character in Japan. That once upon a time, you oh. would see him on a couple different teams, but now. The perfect attack, you yeah. know, making his name stay. That's a million dollar button if I've ever seen one. For sure, holds the vanish right there. Just found a perfect attack for your trouble. Sparky's completely gone. Ooh. Hit him catching as the slice crossed up. Now Blue Goku getting his rocks off. That was a top pair guardian uh, angel right there. For real. Well, he got one right back, the rolling crush. Looking so strong again. Inzem is Himzem right now. DR, give me that sliding. Can you guess? Nah, a, you oh, can't. Straight up the late air dash. Classic anime game mix up right there. Neutral jump, really late air dash. Just catches equal on ducking at the wrongest moment. And that is going to be 18 coming to the forefront. Absolutely. This is so in control for Inzem. Not yeah. only does he have the character, he's got the spark. And Iguan only has one touch on this 21. This is mad tough. And oh, she was about to die. Yeah, left ah. life flashing before her eyes. And there she goes, indeed. One character left. Go Tanks. A legendary anchor, honestly, in this game. And the things he's done. But I don't know if it's going to be another day of those. Man, I remember the SoCal Go Tanks Wars. It was like two lions fighting for a scrap of meat. <laughs> yeah. On anchor every time. Shout out to Subatomic and that man. But right now it's Ecoon trying to channel every Go Tanks potential here to make this happen. Ghost up, puff, puff. We shall see. Oh. Another quick sparking the defense from Ecoon. Wow, that 2 8 sucks. Yeah, indeed. Unfortunate for him right there. It's, it's great, but man, he he is uh he needs more horizontal help. Yeah. Drake being able to recover in time. And now in seven, I mean, he has both his assists and 17. This is a 4v1 battle right now. Seven bars for Inzim as well. Look at him, he's just running away. He let 17 do the heavy lifting and the assist, knowing he does not need to commit anything risky. So good. And yeah, this is going to be a massive combo. It's going to be a one touch scenario. Eco on is guessing for his tournament life. He may have made top eight, but we might be not seeing him later. What's it going to be? Rinse. Ooh. Going cross up. Cross up, same side. Ah, buddy, and Inzem gets it. The cross-up was there. Remember, he went safe side low last time. So he goes cross-up this time. Inzem closes it out up against Ikawal. Two to one to survive and face Kasuga in loser's quarterfinals. Amazing showing from Ikawal as well. Obviously, our lone Japanese representative. Everybody give it up for Ikawal one more time. Definitely big ups to Ikawal, man. And I love the point you made about being able to see the DNA of Japan's style of Dragon Ball fighters in his play style as well. It was great to still have a representative, a representer from Japan here at the Dragon Ball Finals World Tour. Because like we said, they've been such a big part of the legacy of this game. And I'm glad Ikawan showed out here at the finals. And I think one of the things too is that we got to learn is the first person that was able to really crack Japan is from the East Coast, it yeah. was Sonic Fox. And it's that same play style when you mm -hmm. get that feedback they remembered exactly how we break apart that gameplay. And it's none other than Inzem, you know, like the, the successor here yeah. to make it happen. So continuing to move on, we our winners Man. quarters, our winners finals has been decided. Our quarterfinals and losers has been determined as well. So it's going to be NGNL, Zane FTC versus Zakari. So West versus East Coast, Daniel Indeed. smiling in the crowd. He said, <laughs> the unlimited content machine keeps rolling. <laughs> and Kasuga versus Inzem. So on the good. other side, France versus East Coast, the unlimited content machine just keeps printing. Just and we are loving print. that here. So a lot on the line here, a lot of pride and, you know, a lot of hype matches to come up. So, man, oh, man, this is we got the SoCal commentators on the desk. We got and oh, we got our SoCal man. boy. Oh, no bias man. here. Yeah, I mean, Hikari, dope. Dope player, dope person has came to my stream many a times. He to, plays on sick, man. Yeah, yeah, for, for DJ and hours things too. So I'm cool with Hikari, trust me. I definitely would love to see him uh, continue on. Zane, on the other hand, of course. He's chopped out for it. Yeah, yeah definitely. He's cheating on the yeah. East Coast stream with you? Yeah, most definitely, right, bro. But, but it, it's 90 DJ day hours, training, you know I mean? so, so I don't know if he's just up really early or if he's even more DJ than the rest of us, but big shout outs to Hikari, 100%. And now he's going to be going up against Zane. This is going to be a barn burner of a match. Obviously, Hikari, Evo champions. 
Zane, one of the favorites to go very far at this tournament as well. West versus East battle. Not much more you could ask for, honestly. And this is a run back as well. A run back yeah. of a run back. BBB. Hikari was able to take it over uh, Zane. I, honestly, I call that heart virus Zane because he did have food poisoning. But again, <laughs> the result is still the same. Uh, and then you go to Evo. Hikari over Zane. Yep. Very confidently. He had a super strong performance there. So Zane now coming up to the stage. This is his time. It's the third time the charm. Fool me once. Shame on you. Fool me twice. Shame on me. What happens if it happens a third time? Exactly right. Is that just a full soul in a jar on the mantle of Hikari's <laughs> home? I don't know. It could be. Yeah, it lives in the trophy, actually. He yeah, gathers yeah, the soul of everybody the else. Trophy. It's like uh, the, the dark tournament of Dragon Ball. You mm. take everyone else's competitor soul. Legitimately, man. Three times in a row at big events like that, that officially qualifies as a demon as far oh, as I'm yeah. concerned. So and Zane, he has a chance to stop that in its tracks, right? Before it gets too out of hand, before it gets too much momentum. But Akari, like we said, he lives for those type of environments. That's the character he wants to be. That's the position he wants to be in, villain style. Yeah, and I mean, now you got the Joker from the West Coast. Shout out to Posey for that moniker. <laughs> and then you got Hikari. Again, one of the East best, the East finest, our Evo champion. A lot on the line here. Evo champ, first place Evo 2023, first place Bum's Birthday Bash 2023. Like, those are two of the biggest Dragon Ball tournaments, and he took the crown on both. That's pretty good. Quite hard when uh, you got the double crown coming up. And uh, yeah, there's no funny business, no clowns here. Definitely not. And again, this is losers bracket. This is where Hikari started in top eight, right? Made it out of his groups and losers. Zayn did not start here. He made it out in winners. Fell in the winner's side. So close. Yeah, very close set indeed. So now he's got to bounce back again. He's got to show. He's got to dig deep, have that grit, have that intensity, that toughness to bring it back, even in the face of a loss. Yep, and this is our first losers quarters as well, which means you lose, you get fifth place, you move, guaranteed top four. You want to continue to move up that totem pole. Obviously, first place is the prize, and every single person in front of you is just another body bag waiting to be filled. <laughs> I could have said it better myself, man. Both of these guys, again, obviously getting their buttons ready, getting their hands warmed up. This is do or die. This is a loser's bracket, no safety net match. So they want to make sure everything is as clean as it could possibly be. Absolutely. Thumbs up from both sides. Getting into it now. Character select on the screen. I actually didn't get to I didn't get to do any coaching for this set here. We Ooh, talked about it prior because we knew it was a potential. Yep. But we are gonna see what ends up coming out. Is it gonna be the Jiren team for the likes of Akari? Are we staying on the blue -gens, The blue fusions. He was scratching his chin. And he is gonna do it. He said, This ain't Team Yasha. I'm the one in the finals. This is Team Akari. And Zane is going to be rocking the lab coat Zamasu. Once again, with the funny cat on the anchor. Fists have been bumped. Straight dap up. Respect Let's... shown between two very high level competitors. Man, and this one, this is going to be a blow up. Oh, the yeah. I, I, I think there might be a pop off on either side. Here. I honestly don't think there's going to be. Really? Yeah, okay. I don't think so. But we shall see. I could be very wrong. At least I was right about the cross up. That's fair. <laughs> yeah, everybody gets one. Yeah, right. All right, so here we go. Hikari versus Zane, New York versus Southern California. I mean, a rivalry as a, as old Taylor's as the FGC time. itself. Yeah, and beyond, for sure. Let's go. So, and the geef. Let's get it, man. Hikari and Zane. Let's see. Again. Playing the neutral patient so far. Exactly. Both players. Very slow paced. Very risk adverse style of play right now to start it. But Hikari snipes him with the beam. Oh, yeah. Easy pickups. And that is 50% just about off after that scramble. Zane now forced in the corner. What does he opt to do? Lockdown still. The defense as of now. Are we going for the command grab? Not locked down again. Bates the reflect. That's two times in a row. Zane is taking critical damage here. But again, this team doesn't build a ton of bar. There's no 17 in the back. So even with active switch. Oh, it's close. It's close. I don't think he kills, though. It's going to be close. Let's see if the Labco can survive. It's Ooh, enough. Just barely on a pixel here. What's Zane going to do with it? He mashed. <gasps> that was incredible. I can't believe he survived there, actually. That's wild. Dude. Indeed, the beer is doing the heavy lifting. Your mistake, my reward. Let me get the Blades of Judgment up here. Let him reflect everything. Try to put the lightning set of as well, but Akari finds the perfect raw tag. Yeah. Knock down a go. The D. Gotta be so careful. The 2L is now low. 
Got to deal with the command grab as well. Got caught. He tried to 2-H there. Yeah. He saw the startup. It beats assist. It beats everything else. But it will not beat the 5M of a god. Indeed, the fist, the dishwashing gloves. Wiping his hands clean of Zamasu. The laboratory handlers. <laughs> For real, though. Yeah. And that is Zamasu gone. No more. No monologue Kari, needed. Sorry, bro. Look at so strong. Barely any life lost. Very good. The domination is real right now. Oh, the 2 H, and he oh, got caught by the barrier. barrier. But he dropped. A little oh. bit un uncharacteristic here for Akari, the bedroom eyes. Oh, he showed him the assist too, just to keep him locked down. And he dropped it. Did he do that on purpose? Is he trying to meme right now? I'm not sure. I'm not sure, actually. Carl, that was definitely a very strange drop at the end, especially with Zane just being on a pixel of life left. Yeah, I don't understand. Again, maybe an unfortunate circumstance. The way Zane blocked the 50 /50. Pressure being applied in Zane. Oh, try to block for a little bit too long, unfortunately. A little rough there. I mean, you're looking for all the different beams. The after images are a bit much to handle. I think he was actually trying to beat the spark there so that Beerus wouldn't have it. But that that's not sense. a part of the game plan. The game has begun. Yeah, and can he bring this back, man? Zane. This will be huge for his morale, his mental, the crowd on his side. Like, that will be huge. But wow. right now, again, Hakari looking to shut all that down. He don't want to hear no cheers. He don't want to hear nothing. We in LA, we're on your home turf. I'll teach you today. Incredible. That confirm was actually nuts. He's going to go. Again, nice little buffer. Holding down once again, and you see the space that Akari's creating. He's trying Ooh, to make the spark. Look at that! Yep. He knew the slide was a way to avoid the Banshee Blast. Knew that it was going to win from that range. Damn. We punished it perfectly. This man is on one. That was actually mental. That was so good on the spacing side. Incredible stuff. That was nuts, bro. Yeah, he, he spaced himself perfectly for the 2M. Knew he was in and literally set up that assist as a way to goad him in. A way to yeah. convince him that it was his turn to press. Yeah, like he showed him something just to get him to do exactly what he wanted. That yeah. was intense. He jangled the keys, man. Yeah, legitimately. He jangled the keys. He said, look here. Gave him wow. the shot. That was nuts. That was sick. Well, that's clean. Yeah, 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 that was nuts. He said he saw he saw me say that was nuts and he smiled about it. It was good, man. The spacing was there. Mm -hmm. I can't hate. No, nah, that that was fighting games, brother. I, I love seeing stuff like that. He said, "Come get me, please." Please try to punish me. Yeah, so Hakari up 1-0 right now. Obviously, Zane's getting the coaching. We have a time on the coach, you said, like a minute? A minute that's what, that's what the uh, the allotted time is. Yep. So Lucar, he's running it up right now, trying to fill his head with everything he's going to need Almost to make done. these adjustments. Yeah, yeah. And yep, the whole minute has been utilized. Woo. Shout out to the floor manager. I'm like watching her like a hawk. I'm like, yep, she knows. Mm -hmm. She will yank you out and say, no more. Chelsea the God. Chelsea the GOAT. See here, yeah. That's a massive point this time, changing it up. El Clasico. Yeah, here we go, bro. Oh, man. Again, loser's bracket match. No safety nets. No more second chances. This is your second chance. Especially for Zayn, considering he started this top eight in winter side. And as you mentioned, Hakari took him down at Evo. Took him down at Bum's birthday bash. This could be the trifecta to solidify Hakari as a true demon for Zayn. Yep, and I mean, at that point, what are you gonna do? You have to hit the drawing board, and sometimes it is incredibly difficult to just get that win over somebody, but that first win is also what uh, can really release the floodgates. Yeah, man, here we go. So again, it's sniping the exact way we saw the last game start. Sniping with the beam, and now Hakari's gonna be able to get his rocks off. Absolutely. Full extension here. Sliding knockdown, not even a bar built, but no bar needed. Oh, nah. the dash into the Dragon Rush again. The hesitation, there's so much you yeah. have to be watching for, and it's just too much. And you can tell Zane, he's just not willing to commit to anything right now. He wants to commit to sparking at this point to save the team, but he's feeling a little hesitant, feeling a little timid on defense. Yeah, he hasn't been able to find a solid way in. And every single time he starts to fly, oh no, that was huge. Mm -hmm. A little bit of an overextension, massive damage here from the likes of Zane. Not gonna build the most bar in the world, but man. Does that feel good? And then you get the lab coat knocked down. My goodness. Yeah, 60%. And the level three, give me some more. Yeah, level three, huge damage, great knockdown scenario. Akari obviously holding on to his sparking. I think he goes spins. Oh, wow, he went for the command grab, he got cheeky. And Akari see the reactions on him as soon as he sees that, and he already jumped super dash in for the quick punish. Not gonna let anything slip by. 
and that's huge as well. Super Dash comes in clutch, and the cross up was so deep. Check the dome piece, protect your neck. Indeed, bump the Wu Tang. They're for the kids. Lap coat cross ain't nothing to mess with. Ooh. Oh, this is a man grab, showed him as a Masu, debuffed. Oh, wow, again, found the way through the sword. Barrier, barrier. Oh, my. Tapping into the evil. The dark arts. The dark arts. Legitimately. Oh, the kick, the wall bounce, that is. That assist is so dang good still. Uh, Android 17 now, healthiest character. Oh, good, good defense. Potentially. Careful, 50 50. Goes for the reflect. Able to escape from the auto combo. Oh. Trade on trade. Where's the spin? You gotta be careful here, Zane. We know Super Dash, we know the wall fling, we know a lot of things are coming here. He's, he's trying to oh, be sell this, but yeah, he got clipped by the beer assist coming out after the Super Dash. I think you bring Samasu back in here, actually, honestly. After you do the command grab to get a little bit of health back. Ah, there we go, change. Mm -hmm. Vanish to the other side. He's out of dodge, once again. Float on in to the other side. Flies away, and the Super Dash is so clutch, the C assist. Gonna be massive damage here. I don't think he built the third bard, though. And that's the one weakness that both these teams have. If you do not have your meter building character on point, you're not too touching. Yeah, so you got the results and stuff like this, right? The Blades of Judgment, he's reflecting everything. Survives for now. Oh, wow, oh. he got caught. That was so clean. Clip with the JM. And the timing on the, the Goku assist. Excuse me, the Gogeta. Comes in clutch, level one, level one. Nice lab code and Beerus. First hit. He went for all three. He didn't need to, but he realized he wanted a different order. Preserve the team order. I like that a lot. All right, gonna let 17 build some life back up. And again, those beams on the Gogeta have just been plaguing Zane. Oh, my God. That was so deep. The boots are made for stomping. <laughs> That's a dead character. Even again on the board, Zane staying alive. Big BG's fan. Gogeta down, so he doesn't have to worry about that assist anymore. We get some cheers from the crowd. Again, this is Zane's home territory here. Southern California is where we're hosting this event at. You gotta be careful with the 2M. We saw what happened last time. Yeah, oh, he went for it anyways. He was a little too far. Same side sword. Oh, same side sword. From your lips to the game itself. My goodness, Akari. Knew exactly the right way to open up Zane. The track you locked down and then the 5H afterwards. Oh, but the drop. No, but that guard cancel is tragic. There's no way yeah, that was intended. Definitely not the way Zane reeled back. And just in general, you can tell from the in game scenario. Yeah. No chance that was on purpose. But hey, mistakes happen, execution errors happen. The way the game reads it sometimes, not the way you want it to be read, and you lose a character for so it. Now it's just Beerus versus. Akari's Vegito and 17. Again, we've seen the cat do it once. We've seen it do it against some of the best in the business. Akari's definitely that. And I don't know. It's going to be so hard. Oh, wow. That was cursed. I'm surprised he didn't get smoked, honestly. Yeah. I thought it was all salmon for the cat. My man is smoked. Akari just banshee blasting. And then, of course, the perfect barrier assist. He dropped it, though. Yeah. Oh, good defense again, Zane. Down but not out. Oh, and a 2M gets super dashed again. I think that might be it here. Android 17 is gonna build the switch. second bar. Yeah, and that Please is it. Level deep. one, level one. And Zane is bowing out. Hikari stays alive. Guaranteed top four here, Hikari. Hikari taking it down. Yeah. Well done again. Dapping it up. Respect shown between these two. And like you said, Hikari's gonna be moving on. Guaranteed top four finish right now. We didn't see the pop off, and let me tell you why I didn't think we were gonna see the pop off. It's because, as you said, Hikari 1-2-0 already, he's been here before. At this point, he's supposed to beat Zane. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, as messed up as that is to say, like, when it's the results have been speaking for themselves, he's supposed to do that. While, on the other hand, Zane, I just never really see him pop off like that. You know what I mean? He's, like, such a chill, collected human this being. This was the one. I think he, this probably was the one, this honestly. One, this would have been, been the one. This would have been the one. But that's why I said what I said at the beginning. It's just because yeah. Zane's always so calm, cool, and collected. Absolutely. And Hikari, on the other hand, him, from his perspective, the job is not done, right? He's exactly. like, this is what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to keep going. First place at the last two big tournaments he attended. He's not trying to stop anytime soon. So there's your updated bracket. Of course, Kane and Wade still waiting in the winner side of things while Hakari has progressed to top four that loser semifinals. Now awaits the winner of Kasuga and Insem. The last match of our first side of top eight here. And it is France versus USA. Another classic here. Kasuga versus Insem.
And I mean, if the script is writing itself right here, right? Two France, two USA, Inzam knows what the job sure. is. He yeah. got the paper handed to him, and Kasuga says, I'm not going to read that. I've got other ideas. I want him to be the lone American and, to fight it out. Yeah, and remember, and Kasuga, that's what he's been doing since this finals has started. He's been playing spoiler. He's like, I'm the one that made it out in winner's side of that group, not Yasha. I put him away. He's the one that's been really out here, I think, surprising people the most, even with a lot of people having respect for his gameplay and his name. Yeah. Even 2-1 in the winner's semis up against Kane, right, made him sweat every single match. Kasuga, I think, is honestly peaking right now in terms of his play. Absolutely, and this is the time where you want everything to come together. It's the culmination of your entire year, and if this is where your peak is, I'm glad it wasn't in casuals yesterday because you need to bring everything today. Doesn't matter if Enzyme 10 owed you yesterday, if you 2 owe him today, then you're still on the 10 0 stream. Ooh, the bars, <laughs> layered bars right there. Dragon Ball Fighters World Tour Finals, baby. Again, as uh, Jake mentioned, this is our last match of the first half of top eight. Winner of this goes on to face Akari in loser semifinals. Winner side, the Frenchman await Kane versus Wade. Man, oh man, again, so dang hard here. Imzam had one hell of a comeback too against Ikohan when it looked convincingly clean in the first game for Ikohan and the adjustment. So, Kasaga, I mean, I don't think that Imzam was looking at Kasaga to be like one of the players he had to give the most prep to, but again, he prepped for everybody. This guy is a studious player, a true student of the game, and it shows in his gameplay, it shows in his consistency across multiple titles. He is an esports yes, master. Yes, indeed, indeed, man. Right here, we got the headphones dropped to get the dap up. And man, oh man. We're in. Feeling the electricity in the air right now. Once this is done, we have our top four solidified. We're that much closer to crowning another World Tour Finals champion for I heard Dragon a point Ball. Kick. I heard a point change again. Indeed, indeed. It's going to be the base Vegeta, guaranteed. And if y'all haven't seen that trophy, hit the social medias. Y'all got to see this trophy, bro. That was right, all right. But again, the trophy match is not just yet. It is a match to do or die between these two in Zem from the east and Kasaga from the far east. <laughs> Indeed. France versus New York. Of course, Kasaga will always want to throw in the Brazilian representation as well, right? France by way of Brazil. Oh, yeah. No seven ones today. Yeah, my man's always repping both. Big ups to Kasuga for that one, but Inzem right now, he don't care what you repping. He's like, I'm from New York. I'm from the pinnacle of the world. I'm repping the loops. Mm -hmm. And that third bar built with the OTG right there. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, let me see. Yeah, just let my assist do the dirty work. I'll sit there, I'll wait, I'll beat. And now it's time for the loops again, the Vegeta coaster. Is uh, 5.99 here at the venue. Mm -hmm. Put the key blast on him. Nice little flex. Ooh, with the barrier, he had to respect the key coaster. Absolutely. Oh, reflecting a rocket kick punish. But the drop right there too. Cheeky little rejump he was trying to go for. Laying down the key. The plasma. Ooh, chucking the key blast there. Yeah, immediately called himself perfect. Can't Another do that. Unfortunate guard gets again. It looked like illegal activity. Not allowed. The barriers up, but you see immediate jump cancel from Inzem afterwards, staying so safe against it. Oh, yeah, and that is going to be an easy confirm to take out Kasuga's 18. One angel down, two to go. This man, Inzem, Gallic Gun, put the purple stuff. You already know, Ali U to 18 all the way through. The perfect one on deck, and he's still got a perfect attack locked and loaded. Yep, yep, yep. Half a meter, you can make a dream. You can make your miracles happen. Oh, the dash box from both sides. Kasuga willing to spin his spark. It's Shenron on speed. Oh, oh my god, do you spark? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, he doesn't actually. He could have kept them both together. But still, going to burn out the rest of the sparking time from Kasuga. Yeah, a little surprised that he didn't spark himself right there. But in Zim, he is trying to treat this like a real tournament match, right? Keep all his resource save. If he's not sure something's going to complete the way he wants it to, he's not even going to try it. And the thing is, Kasuga jumping there was a huge risk because after that rolling crush, he's only minus three, which means perfect attack is in your future. But the happy birthday again. We've seen Kasuga capitalize off these before. He has a bunch of meter. Is that just going to be a dead 18? Nah, oh, the oh, drop. 1 so unfortunate. Yeah, and of course, Inzen now sparks up, right? Wants to give himself the opportunity to regain the blue life on both Cell and 18. I don't know what happened, but... That, that's the Jake Ryan right there. Oh, that's, that's my technique. Okay. He tapped into the wrong player. <laughs> he tapped into the wrong player. I'm so sorry, Kasuga. I taught you the forbidden move. Oh, was that what it was? He just tried to... He did the Jake Ryan. To he, did take negative, turn. he did negative oh, okay, into okay, negative. Okay. I learned it from uh, the, the, the Mexico FCC. Yes, yeah, so it is dark arts. Dark but, arts technology, for yes, sure. Yes, exactly. Oh, repping it. Putting the X-Sub and then Galaxy Breaker. 
Yeah. You have to understand the rebound of the dark arts. Yeah. What may grant you your greatest wishes will also lead you to your deepest, <laughs> your deepest horrors. Facts. Spin into level three, has won me medals, and also maybe go 0-2. Man, so Kasuga, do it again. And remember, look at our LCQ champions, man. Last year, Wade winning the LCQ, going all the way to a second place. And right now, no way. winning the LCQ. He has on the verge of getting top four, but he's got to survive this happy birthday, which he does. Android 18 snapped it. Just a little off the top at the barber shop. That's how she got the haircut. Just legit. That's where the health bar went. <laughs> Shave my health bar to the length of my hair. Exactly. Oh, oh. Can I get the 80% vape? Let me see this. Oh, yeah. Full extension in the sand. Oh. Gang warfare between the 18s. The, the reds versus the blues. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. I mean, it's the right city. Oh, the most electrifying move. <laughs> it's the right city. Oh, try to like, bait him out with the barrier afterwards. What a block. Oh, oh but, too much. Dip yeah. On the chip. I can't. It's tough, man. You can only block for so long, man, when mixes of these levels are coming out. Again, sparked out from Enzyme here, not able to get the pull confirmed. Maybe a spin comes out. No, the Suteki Moss, the barrier. But the patience from Enzyme has been so good. This guy is a professional practitioner with all this patience. Absolutely. Put the level three on him. Left, right. Oh, still one of the sickest level threes. In the maybe game. grab, maybe slide. Who knows? DMs acquired. Bro, just sat and stared in her eyes as the destructo disc came out. Literally, the guy he said, "I saw it. I saw it was marked as red." <laughs> yeah. Because you got red. Legitimately, oh, that bro. was nuts. Casca now down to the two characters. Look at that, the respect shown for the barrier into the perfect attack. Inzem is playing too clean. It's a perfect attack. What else does he need? Don't need anything else. Why does it give this much damage? Oh my god, goodbye, 18. That's cannon. If no one got me, perfect attack got me. That's for sure. Perfect attack's my goal. Again, in Zem versus the world here. It's Kefla. Oh my god. If no Bax one's got broken. me. Uh. Back spin, back's broken, and right now Inzem sitting pretty here. One touch away, one decision. You want to get hit by one more? One. Oh, I thought he was going to let it rock when she floated towards him. He's going to do rolling crush into, uh, nope, he's going to do crush your dreams into see you later. Kasuga falling out fifth place here, and Inzem with a convincing 2-0 to move on to top four. Amazing showing from Kasuga here. Getting out of the group in winner's side, something that nobody had on their bingo card. So everybody give it up to Kasuga one more yeah, time. Yeah, definitely big ups to Kasuga, man. Uh, one of the fan favorites throughout all of the Dragon Ball Fighters verse as well. But in Zem, look at these LCQ winners, man. Last year, Wade wins the LCQ, goes all the way to second place. In Zem wins the LCQ this year. Guaranteed top four finish. Amazing stuff from these guys. Yeah, the story writes itself, and In Zem is continuing to carve through, and it's going to be his next opponent, which is Hikari. And I know that In Zem won all the latest tournaments on Bump Side, all the rollback tournaments and everything. So I believe in this thing. Inzim has the edge, but Akari has the stage nerves down pat, I would For say. Real. And on the winner's side, most importantly, Kane and Wade, the Frenchman still sitting on top. A may we to the crowd, a may we to the world, and may we see who comes out on top there, because one of them's going to be guaranteed top two, man. Yeah, absolutely. And it, it, it's just dope to see that the countrymen are going to have to fight each other out to oh, try yeah. to get to that last spot, right? We got two Frenchmen in uh, winner's finals, two Americans, two New Yorkers in semifinals of loser's side. Very, very sick stuff. Yeah, man, but Jake, always a pleasure to commentate with you, my man. Like oh, yeah. we said, that last match was the last one of our first half of Top 8. I just want to say thanks to everybody that watched. Dragon Ball Fighters changed my life, and I consider this a privilege and a pleasure to be here, always holding it down with Jake as well. So we'll catch you all very soon, and enjoy the rest of Top 8.
Welcome back to the Dragon Ball Fighters World Finals 2023 2024. We are here inside the LA Convention Center to a packed house full of Dragon Ball fans and aficionados from around the world who have been enjoying the Dragon Ball game Battle Hour 2024. And we've been enjoying the action so far here in Top 8. But it comes down to a final four as France looks very strong, dominating the winner's side, but the USA is holding it down in the loser's bracket. Four players remain. It's time to crown our 2023-2024 Dragon Ball Fighters World Tour Champion. Let's go over to the commentary desk with two guys who have definitely been keeping the scene at the forefront and the energy high to bring it home. It could only be Damascus and Tyron. Hey, Let's go. Thank you so much. Let's Logan, go. Logan, appreciate that, man. And it's time it's to time. crown a new champion. Here we go, bro. Top four. Let's take it home. Let's it's go, time. man. I'm ready for this. No, I'm ready no, for this. No bias, but may we, but no may bias. We? <laughs> no bias. No, no hey, listen, bias. No it's bias. definitely been may we in the winner's <laughs> bracket. The French players have been on fire <laughs> yes. with, their, uh, uh, with a bracket up there. And you can see Kane and Wade are sitting pretty in the winner's finals. So it will be a French face-off. And I feel like that's a very fitting one. If you look at the last two seasons of the game, these two have met in so many different tournaments. Yeah. And then last season especially, clashing towards the end of the season, fighting for that qualification spot and they will be meeting right here in the winner's final of yep. this season's World Tour. How fitting is that? Uh, amazing. And, you know, this has got to be like these two, I feel like they're probably the two players of, of the entire scene who are who have been longing for a major win for so long, for so long. Both Kane and Wade, no matter where, every time they go, they always get close. They don't win. They get close. They don't win. Wade got his first big win this year with a Tiger uppercut. But outside of this, they're always in the top three. They rarely ever win. They're mm. always looking. Kane had this versus fighting last year. It's really two players who are still looking for their major win. And it could be one of these two winning. Of course, it's winner's final time for a golden seat on the winner's side of Grand Finals. It's between Kane and Wade. And I'm absolutely looking forward to this because Wade, obviously, he's been grinding like crazy. Kane has been on and off, but today we've really seen something that almost looked like peak Kane to me. And that's what I love. Yeah, absolutely. He's been looking like his true self. We had a couple of shaky moments in the first couple games of his group stage, but then really cleaned things up and just was he became the Kane that we all know and love, right? Yes. Like it took him a little while to get to get out there on the stage, but once those uh, those little uh, jitters were shaken, he was back in full force and He's been looking super, super good uh, with that new team of his. Uh, he's been rocking, but of course, uh, speaking of new teams, Wade, of course, going to the dark side and uh, opt in for that sell on his squad. And he's been looking absolutely threatening with that insanely buff character. And yeah, I feel like Wade is definitely one of the guys to beat. And yeah, Wade is a guy that once momentum is on his side, it becomes near impossible to stop him. Who could forget last season on this very stage? This man went on the run of a lifetime, winning the LCQ and then taking it all the way through the bracket to grand finals, even resetting, but coming close second place last season. Yeah, that can was he, such a close one, man. Can he correct the errors of last season and take it to grand finals in the winner's side this time? Let's find out. Yeah, I think everyone, uh, you know, was extremely hype at last year's final. You know, Fenrich obviously finally getting his world title. Fenrich is not in attendance here. And uh, Wade is looking to uh, fix the timeline. He couldn't make it last year. He's going to try to get there this year. But for now, there's a huge client. One of the goods, one of the guys, one of the most consistent players of all time in Dragon Ball Fighter. Since season one, season one, he was like getting uh, slowly but surely rising to power. Season two, he started to be a heavy hitter. And after that, he was always considered one of the best in the world. It is time. As we hear Goku yelling on the left because there is a watch party of Dragon Ball. <laughs> oh, <laughs> That's yeah. what we love to see. No and doubt. All right. Are we in or are we button checking? It looks like we're in. Are we in, Karan? We are in. We're playing, we're playing the game. Now we're checking buttons. Are we checking buttons? We're checking buttons. Oh. Are we? I don't know. I don't know, man. That, that was a prime cane drop for me. Nah, they're, they're, they're checking buttons. They're checking buttons. They're checking buttons. You never know because Kane dropping combos is, no <laughs> is normal. It's, it's part of the, of the it's, canon, it's you know? 
<laughs> it's, it's part of the script. Yeah, literally. Like, <laughs> and I feel like like Kane has had um, one of the most roller coaster careers in Dragon Ball Fighters. This guy has yeah. been like so close to qualifying. Uh, who can forget two, that season two? That season two final. I'll well, never forget the season two final. Bro, he, he he made it. He was in, and then one drop later, took he him won, out of the run. He did not. Yeah, he, That's he decided <laughs> to stop winning. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, yeah, that uh, that hurt, that hurt, but you know, past is the past, Kane since, is yeah, looking since, to fix. Since then, like you said, like he's he's been super duper consistent, yep. but it always it always been evaded by the, that huge victories, you know, the first places, um, but you, you, it's rare that Kane enters a tournament and does not make top three minimum. Yep, exactly. You know? Exactly. That's been uh, the basic for him. Well, let's see, it is time for the winner's final of the Dragon Ball Fighters World Tour World Finals Kane versus Wade friends versus friends for a seat in Grand Finals winner sides and as we are in winner's final this is going to be a first to three more games okay here we go getting ready to set things up right now Wade with the Kefla point finally moving away from that character he believes in so much hit for a completely new lineup. And I like that. Let's go. That blue Vegeta is in. I think what's interesting about this team from Kane is it's not a completely new strategy. Blue Vegeta is a character that he's been using for the longest time, even like, you yep. know, for side teams and stuff, just for fun. Yeah. So it's like the character. Yeah. And then we got oh. a Wade likes to sell B or use as a defensive assistant. Very strong assist in these situations. He is the first. Getting the opening, sending Kane to the corner, goes for a soft knockdown, oh. and the reflex is about to be baited. Wade gets a successful early read to send the Blue Vegeta out really quickly, and that's such a huge start, because we know how much damage Blue Vegeta can do. No more Vegeta for this game. Yeah, that's really big W there for Wade, taking down that character so quickly. And now you're going to have to deal with, oh my goodness. Let's go. Wade with another successful confirm. All right, two for six S, bring you to the corner. Level three time, Kepler. This is where she gets great pressure. It's gonna be moon jump, I imagine. High low, it's gonna to be tough to block. Maybe spark. Damn, okay. okay. Maybe try to bait spark. Yeah, it was looking for from out. Kane's defense remains all right. Gets the super dash. And of course the reverse Kamehameha, you've got to respect it. Yeah, and Wade, getting the opening this time. Can he build enough to get the kill? Let's go, down into that cell B assist, the shoulder tackle, and now this is going to be enough, I believe. GT Goku should be done right now. Two bar spend. Yeah, this super does a lot of damage as well. All right, there we go. Okay, Wade now with a uh, hood perfect on the way. If he can keep this up. Yep, that Kefla is uh, recovering on the bench right now. While Lapkos is in. But watch out, because, you know, Tien with Fark. The final right. boss, the, bo the raid boss is in. Yeah, man. This character hits insanely hard. Okay, guard cancels. And now, all oh, the delay. Oh, no, he didn't believe. Yeah. And now Wade takes advantage. Bro, Wade, I'm not going to lie, I love him, but he do be pressing. It's yes. so, it's Active defense time, what do you mean? Yep. It's a skill, skill issue for me. Okay. Oh my god, movement just straight to the spark. He's going to build all the meter he needs to get that kill. Finishing the combo. Yeah, that should be With enough right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five bars on deck. He won't even down. need that many, to be honest. Yeah, that's all he needs. Simple and efficient. Wade takes an extremely dominant game number one here in Winners Final. Kane on the back foot did not even get to use Mark. No, bro. And I tell you what, that is that has been a curse. If you follow Kane, you he might have heard us even say this. Like. Kane die with Spark, <laughs> it happens more often than I would like to see. Too much. You Way know? too much. Way too much. Which is a bit of a, of a, of a shame because that's a, that's a comeback that you never got a chance to even attempt. Yeah. All right. that's, that's already the thing. Like, Kane kind of likes to keep the Spark for the anchor. You know, that's, that's the way he usually plays. And doing this just carries that risk that you will uh, never Spark. Lots of players right now, they're more dedicated to uh, uh, do some kind of, you know, early Spark. Keep the team composition live. Keep all characters alive. Let's see. Kane okay. locks in with the same team. It's time. All right, here we go, guys. Just taking a moment to take a breather, I guess. Always, always good. Had Yasha to uh, give you a few tips. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? 
All right. Back in. Okay. Good time reflex there from Kane. Oh, that one was not well timed, however. And now, way again off to a flying start. Look at this. Yeah, it's so interesting to see these two go at it. For the longest time, it was so back and forward. Yeah. Now it really looks like, at least in these first two games, Wade has taken the lead here. Look at this. Again. Wow, man. Everything going his way. Let's go. Level three. Way to get a good damage of this, and more importantly, to one-touch situation. Kane has no spark. He's got to block the mix, or lack thereof. Oh, man. Okay. Delayed the string. Nice block. Kane just really struggling to find a way out. What a tech, though, on the DR. Okay. Finds a chance to bring in Tien. Okay. Uh, oh, my goodness. No follow-up. That's a shame. Wave dropped his combo, but caught the reflect attempt with the Dragon Rush. All right. Straight back where he started. Way up. Guard point. Wow. Okay, look at that. Oh, my goodness. Wait again. All the bars necessary. And that's huge because no Tien Anko. That feels so much better. The Rolly Crush was so high up. Oh, no. What? Oh, of course. What else? <laughs> the most perfect of attacks. Man. Oh, my God. It do be like that. It the most perfect of attack. We are not sugarcoating a thing here. Kane struggling. The GT Goku is on the back foot right now. And Wade is looking mighty confident. It's time for level 3. Tyrant, where do you block? All right, let's find out. <laughs> it's going to be tough. I would pass. Oh, yeah, I would pass look though. at this. And the assist. Bro, that is just one of those. This, this mix is grimy. Grimiest mix in the game. I knew this mix would grow up. I was grimy. When Sehan told me I cannot block this mix. You can't block? I was like, if Sehan tells me this, we all don't. <laughs> oh, what a pickup nice. though there from Kane. Yep, that's and one of the strengths of Blue Vegeta. Yeah, one of the best at sniping you full screen. Might go for level three just for the Oki. Yeah, let's see. Might be a spark bait attempt here. Let's see. Okay, Wade oh. just uses it. Level one, okay. not enough to kill. Oh, oh my bro. goodness, he nearly comboed off of it. Bro, that was on purpose. Wow. <laughs> that was smart as hell, man. Unfortunately, he not connect. That gives Kane another chance. Bring him down. Oh, oh no. no. Kane was trying to save as much bar as he could. Yeah, sometimes you should uh. not. Sometimes you should spend that money. Very unfortunate for Kane. Wade goes up to one more game for Wade to do back-to-back -back grand finals at World Tour Finals, except this time, that would be in winners. That would be huge. That would be... Wow, how fitting would that be for Wade, man? Well, let's see. Yasha, of course. Some words of advice there. Yasha is a bit of the neutral coach there. Yeah, yeah. Loses, he's like, oh, wait, let me help you. Oh, okay, let me help you. He's, he's big chilling. He's like, win-win, bro. I don't, <laughs> I don't have a bad situation there. Let's go. All right, we're back in now. Game number three. Wade is locked in. He looks confident. Happy with the game. And Kane, what can you change? Let's, Let's see. Go. Gonna have to do something drastic because right now, Wade just needs one game to yep. qualify for that grand finals in winner's side. Oh wow, right. what a start there. Yep. That GTB assist paying off huge. Oh my oh, god, Ooh, Wade. The Kane Classic starts. Look at this pickup! <laughs> wow! Confirm it off of those key blasts. Very nice. Okay, bring him down. What do you got? Oh, all right, Wade. Sense danger. Sparked up immediately. All right. The block's here. Okay, and sparks. now Kane sparks. All right. Gets all the hit set. too! And that should be enough to kill, providing he finishes the combo. That yeah. a lot of meter there. He's got assists. Decides so not to use an assist. You know what? No risk. Kept it as simple as you possibly can in Dragon Ball Fighters. And there we go. No risk. I like that. Kefla goes down. But still, bro. Cell and Android 21 lap code. That is tough. Goes low. Good block. Nice. Cell with those long reach on his normals. Yeah, reverse Kame. There we go. That's how. Oh, a bit too early. Was Kane. 
with that jump S. Yep, watch his favor. Uh -huh. Let's go. Send him down. He, he didn't have the extra bar yeah. for the mix, so. Yeah. Just keep it. No idea. That, that's how you invest your bar. Bro. <laughs> oh my god, Taran. That is why oh you man. keep these bars, you invest them. It wouldn't be sell without four EX moves in a row, right? <laughs> man. Oh my god. The perfect platform. Kane for regaining some momentum. Oh my. No. No. Not today, bro. I'm not gonna give you any kind of momentum. Wade just going to extend. No! Wait a minute. Extend the K. He didn't believe. Yeah, there was a bit too much hit stun, I believe, to, uh, for the combo to finish yeah. there. Yeah, he didn't do the normal route. Yeah. He went for something else and it didn't quite work out. Unfortunate there for Wade, but now, let's see. Oh! oh. That four frame guard point. <laughs> oh my goodness! You see the walk? <laughs> the Emperor's walk! Yo! Oh. The Emperor's walk! Happening there. Damn. And that's a dead end. Wade. Even in a bit characters now. Kane at least has a bit more resources, but. No pickup okay. just yet from Wade. Yeah, that's right. Very scary situation now. Of course, Kane using everybody's favorite GT movement option. That reverse coming. <laughs> and that will actually make you think twice about using perfect attack. I ain't gonna lie. Yep, yep, he's gonna absorb it. So, kind of a good counter to, uh, to sell. And now he's supposed to block, but there's no assist. So, leave Wade is happy to block. Go for the dash block when he has a chance. Oh, oh, Wade tried the challenge. Yeah, he thought he was too high, maybe. Counter hit on the screen right there. And not right. gonna kill, of course, just yet. I mean, he had. Oh, uh, I'm not sure if the assist was there or not. Okay. Oh, empty jump, T low. The rodent is back, guys. GT Goku, don't forget that guy. Final character for Wade. His lap code 21. Okay. There's that beam. And a follow-up. Oh, he's, he, that's a dead GT, actually. Should be dead, right? Yep, for sure. One, one, three. one three. Yes. There we go. Wade. Okay. Taking GT down. And now it's a 1v1. Kane, can you save your life in this winner's bracket? It's Labco 21 of Blue Vegeta. Looking at the bars on Blue Vegeta's side. A medium starter could very much be the end for Wade. Labco 21, but don't forget have to work for it. Blue Vegeta as well is one of the characters that really makes Labco think twice about spinning. That yep. big bang attack is an excellent solution. Yes, always has been. So Wade has to uh, be a bit slower, conservative there, and he knows because Kane has so much power. Getting hit by one key blast, and that's a level one conversion. Kane is just testing the waters right yep. now. Yeah, who's going to make a move first? Almost taunting him into trying that spin. It feels like. All right, oh, here we go. Balance. Both players now, they are playing a overly conservative neutral. Neither one wants to approach. Oh! First opening, but no conversion. Yep, it was a straight hit. No yes. big follow-up there. A bit difficult to convert there, of course. Let's go. We are back to full screen right now. Kane is really taking this time. Both of the players, Whoa. 80 seconds left. And it's just a battle of who is going to initiate Literally. the open. No. What a block. Oh, good take! Kane's defense remains solid. Kane's defense is still looking good. Whoa. Super dash attempt. Super risky. And by you can the way. see Kane only does his full screen, so he's a bit out of that spin range. Yeah, that's right. Yep. Maybe, oh, watch out. Maybe, oh. oh, okay. Wait, go. Stay, get hit, but don't forget. Android 21 does have that meter now. She's not going to build a lot of bar. Yep. Stomp. Nice reflex. Gambled it on that. All right, Kane, what's the solution there? Oh! oh! And that's going to be enough. Spin to win. Zero scaling on that starter. And there you have it, guys. Wade just needs to finish this. And he will be going to the grand finals in winner's side. What a performance Damn. from Wade. And you can see Kane a bit disheartened there. But he was desperately looking for a solution, hoping he would just be able to zone the opponent out. The key blast strategy did not pay off. Wade will be for the second year in a row in Grand Finals. Wow. The World Tour Finals, except last year, he was in losers and had to reset the bracket. This year, he is in winners. Golden seat. That's it. He just needs to win one more set yeah. from that position. And he is the new champion. And he can correct the mistakes of last season, coming so close to taking that trophy. But there you have it. Wade is in the best seat in the house right now. Yep. He just needs to win one more set from that winner's side. But let's see who's going to make it through that loser's bracket to play against him. Bro, we got two, two of the strongest American, maybe the two strongest American players right now. Right Absolutely. here in the loser semifinals, bro. Hikari 
the Evo champ, and Inzen, yep. the LCQ winner. And of course, if we uh, follow last year's lore, LCQ winner went all the way to a Grand Finals. And looking at the lore right now, I, I, I think Wade's position right now must be I hope Inzem doesn't make it. One of the reasons why I'm saying this is because Wade just stayed at Inzem for over a week. They were playing, <laughs> yeah. you know, the, the first to 3 a.m. sets, and overall Inzem was winning, like, pretty convincingly. Whenever these two run long sets, it was always in Inzem's favor. Wow. So there are two possibilities. Either he has some tech that he saved for Nationals, mm. either he hopes by being in Grand Finals winner side that Inzem somehow will not be able to go all the way to him. That's for Inzem to decide, of course, because he's going to have to take on Hikaru. We are back in the first to two format right now as this is right. the semi-final. Yeah, this is top four, not top three. Yeah. So let's find out who is going to go through and play against Kane in the loser's final right now. Two French players looking really strong up there, but which of the Americans will make it through to the later stages of this tournament? Let's find out. Yep. To be the last American representative in this event, as Kane is going to be the one waiting in the loser's final. The winner of this goes on to face Kane. Could be a run back between Kane and Hikari. That would be a, an interesting scenario. Yeah. Having the same match as a, the group stage one, the one that Kane won so convincingly earlier. He did. That was really impressive. Yep. Or in them. But of course, we know Hikari has such endless resources, man. He's always, always, always ready to clutch. But in them has proven himself to have one of the scariest game plan in this game. His team is so fine tuned to be able to be absolutely crazy controlling and then turn it, suddenly turning into full degenerate. Yes. He's able to do both with the team. Absolutely. Like he has, uh, and that's what we love about this version of the game, right? You can really just build your strategy kind of however you want, really. You can build multiple teams and these two have definitely done that. He's, Hikari's team right now, the run that he's running, arguably the best team in the game. Inzem as well, you know, his team's up to debate on there too. And they've both really just fine-tuned it to perfection. Yep. Here we go. Hikari going for the Jiren team. I said, he has two teams, this one and the double fusion. Really depends on the match. How he feels like the opponent is. Gets the first opening with Jiren. Could not get a happy birthday with this, but a solid start. Of course, putting Cell out of commission early would be a massive hit to yeah. start the game, but straight to the road type for Inzem. Yeah, Cell is... I mean, every character is a problem, but I feel like Cell is the issue yeah. on this team. <laughs> nice! He had two as well. well talk to the hands. Head yeah. though, bro. Talk to the boots. Yeah, that's right. Can 2H that. You just have to be super ready. All right, okay. another opening for Hikari. But Jiren is putting it work right now. Gonna send him to the corner and go straight to level 3. Okay, here we go. Hikari in control right now. Inzem, maybe consider gonna spark here. Yeah, there it is. Oh, 5M star, Ooh, three that, sparks. That might, that might you might be dead. Oh, unless, no. unless, Tarrant, oh, unless no. on the 6M, going to open him up, and that's gonna be the opposite. It's Hikari gonna build a ton of meter, no more spark to save Inzem's life. There are two assists on Hikari's side that should be a dead end with AT. Yeah, she's dead. Okay. 1 1 3. Hey, Gohan has been unlocked also. Right here, it's up to Inzem to make that comeback now. Two characters and three. Seven bars on his side, so he's got a ton of resource. Nice oh. pick up there. Uh, yep. So it goes for the H finisher into the shit. All right, and this is going to be one of the best left right mixes in the game. Got that float. Let's see. Oh, uses the rocket kick instead. Okay. Okay. Wanted to Hikari, change, though, got uh, out there. Yep, not going to happen. Hikari keeps the momentum. He is the one. Putting the pressure on Inzem right now. Inzem in the corner is going to be level 3. The adult Gohan is not powered up just yet. All right. With the legs. The defense being displayed from Inzem. Oh, and God cancel vanishes out of there. Knee drop with oh the perfect God. attack assist. Just absolutely clattering him in the corner. Okay. Yep. Yep. Bring him down. Nice. Yeah. All right, same mix, same situation. What are you saying? What are we going for now? In them. Oh, oh there we go. The Good last one. second float to the right is still blocked. Man. Maybe going for levels? Yeah, one on one. Get that blue light back, Madol Gohan. Smart choice by Hikari. In them is down to self by himself. Two bars to take on all three characters from Hikari. Hikari is looking mighty solid right now. 
And let's see. Oh my god. Oh, Coin. Wow, interrupted. Oh, oh my god, this is the most tournament Dragon Rush I have seen today. The delay, the stare down, the Dragon Rush instead is going to take Jiren's down. And two characters who are both in pretty much a one touch situation. And it is definitely doable. That is an excellent way to kill a character as well because you get so much meter for a DR combo. Yeah. Inzem just really took advantage there. Look at this. Four bars now on his side. This is super doable. He just needs a couple of hits. Yep. Yeah, one perfect attack, bro. Yeah. Can he find his hits against 17 and his movement for now? It's Hikari getting the key blast opening. Going to potentially send this to uh, the final touch. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. I have to block that. Oh, oh man, Hikari's so ready. And that's going to do it. That one saved. No guard cancel escape from this situation. Hikari takes game number one. Inzem taking a moment. But Hikari is looking so incredibly solid, Tarant. After a difficult start today, right? His first game of the day was against Kane. And he lost in such a hard 2-0. That's it. That's Damn. right. Hikari firing back, though. Takes that first game. Man. Yep, Pred is here to... Uh, give some advice. Yep, give some advice. Wade is here on Inzem. Still coaching his boy. These guys, that might be friends and US, but they're friends. Of course. They hang out. They're playing with each other a lot, so it's a good one to see, you know. Brethren are from the game. Enemies in the game. That's what we love to see. And oh, that's happy game. birthday! Yep, the same opening as earlier, oh, except this time man. he has a birthday. That 18 bleeding. Wow, 18 nearly fell out twice. Okay, Nintendo does find a chance to bring in Vegeta. Yep, yep. He carry can get the opening. Nice escape. Yeah, and that, the, the back jump is the one escape because if you do the YouTube jump, you still get caught by the uh, barrier assist and you still have to handle the stuff. Mm. Yeah, we're gonna get like, you know, maybe like the 25% of Aiden's life bar gone. That's not much, but that's uh, honest mortar. Yeah. So, we take those. Damn, look at this. Wow, what an escape. Inzem just staying calm under pressure. Okay. Oh, he had the opening, but he did not believe in the opening. And look at Inzem building meter right now. Oh, 2S. Yeah, bad choice from Inzem there. That character. Wanting to keep the pressure on after Super Dash and with this, that 18 that has been doing so much damage throughout the weekend is down. And he carried already. Takes an option towards loser's final. Inzem, what do you have for us, bro? All right, let's see. To S to approach. And Cell has just so many surprising openings that he can get. All right. He blasts out there. All right, let's try to oh! I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. <laughs> nope. Rejump time. Oh, Come on, we bro. We <laughs> take those. And there we go. The, the delay at the right time. So we can get the medium rolling crush. There we go. All right, next time. What are we going for in Z? Oh, oh my there we goodness, go. Bro. The vanish, and that's going to be a dead here and in Z. Even it up a bit more life on Hikari's side, but in Z is still very much in it with the cell. Yeah, this is tough now. Oh, wait a minute. What a delay right there from Inza. That was so good. Damn. All right, let's go. In the corner. Got to wait. All the tap tap. Okay. Good challenge by Hikari there. He's going to get a good amount of meter, but I don't think he can kill with this one. No, no, no. I'm not sure if he can. Instead, ops for that level three. But let's see. Inza gotta be thinking spark right now. Oh, he Inza text. texted. That was so good. I cannot believe he take this. Because yeah. there was the Adol Gohan assist behind, you know, to uh, direct your attention towards Adol Gohan. Inza not still ready. Oh! oh! Three hurts. There we go. Again. And he still gets su such good damage, even though it's a vanish combo. Look at okay. That. All right, yes. once Vegeta in so that Cell can recover some blue life, I respect it. Okay. Oh, the risky road attack there, but... It, it was, it was. What? Oh, wait, wait, oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. oh no! He actually oh, got a chance, but... Inzem... Able to get anything else. Okay, level right. one on Gohan here. Gonna have a little bit more to work with. Okay, Inzem is... I think that spark is gonna be the pivotal factor now. How yes. he uses that is make or break. 
Yeah, do you see like all oh, the CSC it was amazing? And I love how Inzem navigates around that barrier assist as well. He could have 2 h this leg, but he knew the barrier was coming. No risk taken. Sen is back. Yeah, he's there. And just like that, oh my goodness, Hikari finds the hit, and that should be a dead cell. Yes, sir. And some levels. Okay. Yeah, he's gonna swap to 17 just to get some of the blue life back. Another go outside. He carries one character away from his spot in losers final of this World Tour final. Zinzem, he's got base Vegeta, he's got Spark, he's got some resources, but you need to find a way in Inzem right now. Exactly. Finding that hit is gonna be so pivotal right now. That's how Inzem is gonna make this happen. He needs to get that hit and use that Spark. All right. Oh, man. He carries being conservative as hell. You can see yeah. the backdash waiting for I, a potential spark. I don't even know if, if, if holding on the spark is, is, is going to help you here because if you get hit, that yeah. could be it right there. I you might not get he, a chance to use it. What he's looking, looking is maybe to get an air to air to spark. Yeah. That could be the one. Or keep spark and to get out of jail card, you know? I mean, are you, how many of those are you going to get yeah. right now? Because any hit could be death. Gotta be so careful right now. Insem. Playing the neutral of his life, but gets hit and now, yeah, see, that's it. You're done. And that's it. Didn't have a chance to use Spark. Yep, Inzem wanted to keep that Spark, potentially having an extra defensive option there, but it's not going to lead him to anything as the East Coast is choosing their representative. Hikari will move on to losers' final of the Dragon Ball Fighters World Tour Finals. Inzem taking a fourth place. Hikari remains the last American hope, just like Evo. Same scenario. It is friends versus Hikari. There you go, it will be. Next game will be losers final. Kane versus Hikari, the Evo champ. Does have a chance to do the uh, the two P, you know, only ever done by Wawa in the past. Yep. You could be the World Tour champ the Evo champ and then World Tour champ as well. Evo champ, yep, Evo um, champ, World Tour champ, Goichi. Uh, you, you forgot in, in, in the same year? Yeah. Season two. Oh yeah! You forgot, yes, you forgot. he did. Yes, he did. You forgot the, yes. the Zastron Gesto. That's how long it's been since <laughs> I've seen him on the game. <laughs> it is true. It is, you true. know. But yeah, Hikari is looking to uh, to do the double, the greatest double in fighting games. Yeah. The Evo into World Finals. Wade waiting in Grand Finals, winner side, and Kane is the one who is about to take on Hikari. And once again, guys, if you did not join us early today with the group stage, uh, the first game of the day for Hikari was against Kane in groups, and. Kane won an absolutely dominant 2 0. Hikari did not even get to play. Yeah. So there is a revenge. He's plotting for revenge. He's scheming right now, waiting to get a chance to get his revenge against Kane. And that would be the golden revenge right now, sending Kane out of the tournament in losers' final. Kane looking to make this final a guaranteed French win, looking to get his run back against Wade. He came in, I was talking to him for the event, and he told me, honestly, I've been training and stuff, but. I don't have that much of an expectation because mm. I haven't been that active mm. and other people are grinding. So I'm confident I can do well. I will see where I go. Look at where he goes. Yeah, here he is. Yeah. You know, that's what I'm saying. Like he's, it's, he's so consistent. And like I said earlier, it's rare that you see Kane in any kind of tournament. Doesn't matter the format, open bracket, invitational, you know, qualified tournament, whatever. He will always be up there. Yeah. You know, top threes, top fours, grand finals. You can always uh, count on Kane. He's one of the most consistent players in Dragon Ball Fighters. And, uh, but right now, it is all to play for right now. Hikari on the other side, representing the United States. Kane from France. A group of friends that revolutionized Dragon Ball Fighters uh, out of France. And uh, changed the way a lot of these guys play the game, including Hikari. Look at the team that he picked up on one Evo with, you know, inspired, of course, by uh, by French player Yasha. He's and the best, seen he's on the the best story as from, uh, from student to master. Yeah, you know, there you go. Hikari, when he took it, people were like, oh, he's he's the Yasha copycat. Nah, nah, and nah. then what happens? Evo Grand Finals, Hikari takes Yasha down, there you go. takes the title. The student became the master. Hikari against Kane. It is time for losers final of the World Tour Finals. France versus USA. Can the Evo champ aim at the double? Find Can out. Kane stop him once again? As we go straight in here. Oh, hey, okay. that risk of the super dash, and it connected with that GT assist behind as well. Oh, misses the optimal. Oh, wow. Clean okay. 2 edge there. Preemptive 2 edge at that. Darren, that's going to be a ton of damage, that That's dead. Yeah, that's that going to be dead. dead. Oh, look at that. From the 2 edge, okay. Showing, you know what? I would like the same scenario as earlier. Love to see it. Extremely strong start by Kane. He carried already on the back foot in this game yeah. number one. 
Okay. Oh, look at that, of course. Projectile invincibility on those uh, power pole normals from GT Goku. So making great use there. Oh! Go with Shimmy with Big yeah. Fighter. Out there. Yeah, it's Kari. Oh, oh, the dash block. Dash block did not work for Kane. And he carries gonna get a good amount of damage with this. He's stealing Spark, so he's overcoming that meter nerf for now. Yeah, solo knockdown there. Oh, Gates! Oh, my goodness. From that, that was such a long range. From that far away. 6H. Uh, 6M. There we go. Hey, see here, end game. Into that spirit sword, and that's gonna do it for GT Goku. Excellent play by Hikari, right? He's not letting himself lose too much momentum. Immediately take Kane's character, but Kane still got spark. Yes, that spark is. If he decides to use it. Right. Let's hope. Because, <laughs> yeah, we've seen that in too much. Oh, man. There we go, the key shot into the Big Bang attack. Super Dash follow up also. Look at this now, bro. Blue Vegeta. He do be cooking. Indeed. All right. Oh, oh, oh he, he tried to get both. That was, that was almost gigantic turrets. Man wanted a kebab oh! right there. Oh, wait. Okay. The grab is there. Yeah, there Kane. it is. One of the most buffed moves in the game. Oh, this move is ridiculous. And I feel like Kane is very nice with this move. He doesn't use it that much. He know? doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't use it as much as... Uh, sorry, he doesn't abuse it as much yeah. as a lot of other moves. Oh, wait a minute. Ah. Okay. But that's all right. He got Spark Yeah, and that's going to be a ton of life. Yes, yes, that's fine. In these situations, you expect to be baited, so you just wait for the hits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Tien basically back to full full life now, so that yeah. was a wise use of the spark there. Yep. All right, there we go. Three bars versus the spark. Pretty much, he carries straight off there. Uh -huh. He's gonna get the opening on that Tien. He's getting to put some pressure on Kane right now in the corner, and he's also more importantly gonna be able to get away from that spark. No conversion from Kane. <laughs> yeah, Kane was trying to dash up 2H, but didn't work out. Oh, oh that 2H, however, did, and now look at this. Kane gets that kill, taking Hikari down to Vegito only. Wants Blue Vegeta in so that he can handle the, uh, I guess, the split finger shots, right? Yes, sir. Got to love it. Uh, let's see. Dash 6 7. Hikari is on the back foot. Hikari is looking to do anything with the Vegito. He's got bars. He's got two characters to take down. And Kane, for now, is not taking any risks. The tension that he's Just being punched up. Another opening. Medium start out of the way. Huge damage, Harris. Yeah, gonna have to optimize this, and that's gonna be dead, actually. Yeah, gonna get the kill right now. Wait a, a minute, mess. never mind, never oh, mind. Oh, that could have been it. Oh. Wow. The amount of times the momentum completely flipped in the span of two seconds. Hikari takes the better of it, and now it's Hikari on the life lead. Kane with the end, the next hit kills. Next hit kills. That's right. Let's see now. This is such an important moment. No more Chelsea as well. He's got that stage. Hey, hey, He's got hey, level hey, two on the hey. way. Setting him all the way down yeah. with a level two to finish Kane. Finish your plate. There you go. Uh, Use uh. the bars and Kane is gonna take game number one. A clutch one. If I've ever seen one, oh the Frenchman takes an option. Definitely not as easy as it was looking in the group stage though. Yeah. That was a hard fought win for Kane. He carries back. He carries truly is back. That's it, you can yep. see that. That is a different Hikari, of course. Uh, in groups, he did play the Jiren team against Kane. This time, opt-in for the double fusions. Yep. Nice mix right there. Kane goes low. All right, the first opening immediately goes to Kane. Kane wants to carry on that momentum right now. That blue Vegeta got absolutely murked earlier. Yeah. Yes. Oh! You're three out of five, bro. bro. Full combo time, look at this. That tag is not be high rated. Excellent play by Kane. Who's the level three? Yeah, level three, right there. Hikari might consider sparking, actually. Oh, oh no wow. Conversion. wow. Kane, you need to pick up on these. You need to pick up on these. Great oh. reflect, but that's still an opening for Hikari. Yeah, I'm gonna put him back in the corner. All right, brings in 17. Dragon Rush time. Oh, uh, anti jump mid. Maybe try wake up mash. I'm not sure. Yep. C4 must be proud. Mix is cringe. Mids are okay. Okay, that's gonna be enough right there. Yep. But this team DHC is, uh, is gigantic. Yeah. Big damage. Kane was in a good situation, but he carries so good, so good at taking the momentum in his favor. Oh. Wow. Yeah. 
That jump S does have a ton of recovery on it. Gotta be so careful throwing that out with GT. All right. There we go, free escape. Oh, damn, nearly picked it up too. Yeah. That's the second time that Tien gets an opening with assist, but Kane is not picking this one up. Yeah, no assist, bro. I got a reverse beat. Oh, what's oh. happening? Oh, my God. Yeah, you have to respect that 17 assist. Yeah, the block, the block's done block. on it. It's crazy. Oh, no! He tried, but he carried you. He carried was there to pay that super dash, and he's going to be the one extending right now. Okay, here we go. Corner position. Keeps it simple. He covers those assists. And now he's trying to bait that spark out of Kane. Let's see, will he, will he bite? Oh, no, he doesn't, and he gets Dragon Rush for his troubles. Yep. The dead character. That is a dead character indeed. He carry. Now you know what, Tarot? Raid boss. Yep, here Tien he is. of the crane. Yep. I see a life bar. That's it. Oh my goodness. He carry has to do the comeback now. That's it, you need a, you need a full squad to go up against this guy. Oh my god. This character is mad. He hits insanely hard, and this is a character that took Kane. Oh, no. The top eight, but guess what? Current Evo champ. So, oh, he doesn't want to try and go for the kill. I don't think it would have killed anyone. Anyway. I don't think so. Yeah, I think you would need. Oh, one down. All right. Two to go. There we go. Oh, oh wait what? It brings it in. Seventeen. Empty for that war. Kane in the corner. Kane, you better use that guard. But you know that he carries and I look to potentially bait it right now. Yeah. Kane, what are we going for? Oh, ah. great bait. He carried you. He carried was putting all of the layers ready to stop Kane and from a, escaping. And that's a ton of spark time that's getting wasted right now. Yeah. But okay, Kane has another chance. Never mind. It's going to be the spark from Hikari. What a play. What yeah. a play by Hikari completely stopping Kane from going for any option at all. Hikari. Takes game number two in this very back and forth loser's final. Yeah, and what an excellent sequence from the Evo champ right there. Just the mind games were just out of control. Kane unable to get anything going in the, that, the last, like, I don't know, 20, 30 seconds or so. Yep. Uh, yeah. Okay, here we go. All right. Third game of the set now. Game number three. And Hikari wants to immediately go there. He goes for the 50-50 and he lands it. And opening on Blue Vegeta, excellent start by Hikari this time. Both of the previous games. Oh, wait. In a oh! oh, an unfortunate drop. <laughs> you don't want those. Not on this stage. All right, brings in GT. Okay. Oh, so careful. Oh, he, he escaped. I cannot believe you. Wow. Press one if you got hit, chance. No one escaped this. Grabbed, one. hit like that. But to not get hit by any either of those, that's crazy. Damn. I see you, Kane. I see this one. Everyone got hit, bro. Every single person got hit straight to the spark. And he carry escape. But Kane, of course, going to move around. There we go. Nice. Yep. And it's going to get. Oh, he went for the. Oh, yeah. Good, 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 good. Oh, no, no. Okay, the anti reflect. Uh, He's hey, working so hey, well. Hey, hey. The carry of a medium starter is going to be able to send the GT go out. Let's go. Look at this, 17. Oh, that doesn't need him. Well, keep Gogeta in, I guess. And Hikari is in an excellent position now. He has all three characters and Spark. Kane is going to be a little bit rough. Oh. On the back once again. Hikari is looking more and more confident. Kane, you need to find a way to change the momentum. Because at the moment, it looks like Hikari is just playing his best game. Yep, he's definitely looking on form right now. Okay. Oh, wait a second. No, down tech. Okay. Oh, he's out. Scrambly games. Big back attack connects and the follow up. Okay. There's Tian. Now, this is not going to kill. So, he stops the back off and pull Chao Zhu. I respect that. You know, he carries that, so it's amazing. Yeah. Kane was patient enough to block this, and that's still another opening for Hikari out of the meter nerf right now, being in his part. He's gonna be a lot of boss. All right, EP. And he wants Vegito in. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, doesn't want to go for level three there. Wouldn't really get much from that. Oh, we got uh, oh. Oh. oh! Now he was too ready for this. He was way too ready for this. Kane's going to get as much damage as he can. Just going for the... Oh, a troll. 
Interesting so choice by Kane there. You know what? Doesn't mind. Gonna get the Vegito out regardless. Yes. Kane evens it up. It's a very, very close and disputed game number three. For a mighty important 2 1. He carry on the life lead. He's got resources. Oh, got oh, two in no. him! Massive change, That's massive conversion. That. That's minute. not gonna hit the two. Oh! Oh! Delays the second low there. Kane wanted to escape, but no escape for this. And now you're down to Blue Vegeta. He carry. Looking to just keep control. Yeah, this is tough for Kane right now. Just Blue Vegeta, but never mind. He's gonna have that assist back. He might not even need it. Doesn't need it. There we go. EX Wrecker for the kill. And now Hikari just needs one more game. And he is in the grand finals here. Yes. Yep. Only one. Kane taking a moment. It's always really close, but there are a couple clutch moments where Kane fails to get the perfect conversion. And every single time this happened, Tarot, the momentum went straight back to Hikari. Hikari has been incredibly good at snatching the momentum away from Kane's hands. And that's been so hard for Kane because every time he looks like he has momentum, something happens. A fierce showdown is about to begin. That's right. It's really been, uh, it's really been tough to, to. I feel like it's just really tough to get any kind of a read on, on Hikari because he's. It's like he's always thinking like two steps ahead. You know. Yes. It's 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 just so tough to play against somebody that is almost thinking two steps ahead of you and just making it so difficult for you to even get a read on. But let's see Kane's last chance now. Okay. Alright, game number four, guys. Oh, okay. there we go. Okay, gets the opening and he goes straight for GT Goku there. Yeah, this is a great start for Kane, at least. No, he's going to keep that corner. Yeah, this time he's going to be a bit more conservative. I love Hikari's movement there. He's not getting caught mm. by this, and he is the one going to take some life off that GT Goku. Hikari sending the man into the corner. That's going to be a bit more into the Dragon Rush. Yeah, I love how Hikari as well. He waited. He didn't just Super Dash immediately. He waited to see what the follow-up was going to be from Kane. After that reverse panic. Okay, corner position. Oh, okay. Jump L connects. Yep, the reflect is baited. Hikari once again. Okay, Looking so good, he can't two touch there, so he wants to go for the Dragon Rush. I like that. Kept it simple. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Right. You've got to make this count, Kane. It's got a big meter as well. Let's see the extent. Is he going to go for Yes, two Vegeta. He wants to force Hikari to spark really early there. There we go. I like that. Oh, oh no, no, it's Kane. Where are you going? Spark, Nowhere, brother. And the spark time should be wasted right now. Yeah, look at this. Oh, he's done. Reset, oh, reset, 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 reset. Yeah, reset. That was a really listen. He, he listen, he's on American soil. He's got to give shout outs <laughs> to the Google, the American reset. The, the, the Chinatown Fair arcade reset. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Back in the early 2000s in New York. Oh, man. People were going hard. Let's go. Right. Bring him down. Okay, Hikari now. Yeah, and his 17's been so good, bro. Oh, wait oh. a second! No escape for Kane, man. He's trying to escape the onslaught that is he carries 17 offense. It's been really hard. Okay. Out the corner. Big escape for Kane. He's going to be looking to bring in another character ASAP, I imagine. But let's see. And Kane goes back to play. Oh, Ooh. man. Ooh. That was so good. Reacting to that big bang attack startup. Yep. Kane messed up. Forgot that this was an option. And Hikari was definitely there. Ready for this to happen. Let's go. Oh, man. So hard to stop GT Goku from just flying around the screen. Do what he wants. Okay. Gets the hit there. That was an end start as well. But GT mid screen, maybe not the most damage in this situation. Okay, goes for a vanish situation instead, level three. Okay. It's the end time. It's the end time. <laughs> nice. Okay. Tech on the DR. Oh, oh, wait, no follow up. He no believe. super dash. Yep. Kane is being very conservative there. You see oh. that all the same time, super dash, but no conversion. Watch right. out, no, the chows who uses are depleted now. Yeah, yeah be careful. Oh, oh good blocks. Kane's patience, oh Kane's patience. We block oh 6M. Trying to get away, of course. Tien's not the greatest at challenging these, so he's happy to block right now. Hikari is waiting to uh, get the assist back, oh! but Kane, as soon as he knows, 
assist that he carries the ball to go on the offense. When the assist is almost back, it's like this is the moment where a snipe through. So smart from the Frenchman. Going to go for the ball three. Yeah, beautiful usage of the volleyball fist there. That fourth frame on the guard point coming into play. All right, here we go. Oh my goodness! Hikari caught him landed with those buttons and now... There we go. Yes, good nice. Oh, oh, that was an end start. That would have been dead. That was massive. That was gigantic, Karen. All right, Kane, are you going to take a risk? Not just yet. Oh, oh he tried oh, to oh, through. Oh, oh, oh. But Kane was out of reach. That was so smart. Wow. That was so smart, Karen. Genius. He knew he wanted to try and get out. Yes, sir. All right, and now he's got the challenge to use his back. Look at this. That's Immediately going to use them. No conversion there. Unfortunately, we're back to the Kibla's Kane. As Kane is looking for the one opening oh, to send us to game number five. He carries 17. Oh, oh no. Okay, got to be so careful right now. Have to block these. Have to block these. So scary. No, but the press. Kari gets the hit. Key, key blast start. Aaron, that should be enough. Yep. Angle 17, level one. That's going to do it. Not even. All right, save all right, himself all right, some all right. meter. Final character, Hikari, for a spot in losers final. Kane for a game number five. That GT Goku could very much make it, but it feels like that 17 has been too good for Kane, Tarrant. That 17 has done so much damage on Kane's team. Can the GT Goku finally break the turn? Oh, there he is! There he is! The conversion is there! Doesn't need much! Yes! There Harris. we go, just there a simple go. combo. Into level three, I respect that. Kane saves this one, saves the match point. It is going to be game number five between Hikari and Kane. One game to join Wade in grand finals. What a set. Wow, what an exciting loser's finals this has been. So right now, guys, it is one game in it. Who is going to go to the grand finals? Will it be Hikari representing the US or will it be an all French grand finals? Let's see. Wow. What an exciting Woo! match this has been, back and forth. And I wouldn't expect anything less from these two Warriors. All right, it is time, guys, for game number five, the final game of this Losers' Final. Wade watching from the sideline with a lot of interest to know who will be his final opponent. Okay. To potentially get a world title, and the first opening goes straight to Hikari. What a start there, look at this now. Of course, not much meat again, but still, it's about that. Opening. Oh, the spark early from Kane. I respect that, Tarrant. Making sure that, that making sure that he will not go this full oh. game without using it. And he gets the hit and he's gonna build some good meter right here. Oh my god, yes, all the damage too. Oh the damage, the meter, everything. Light starter by the way. Yep, potentially gonna finish this with a level three. No, he goes for GT Goku. Straight for the spark for carry and his Kane's time to get away from that spark. We block the six M. Kane is waiting right now. More oh. big and it's the US. Big damage, no! No conversion, but that's the second time this happens, Tarrant. The drop into another combo. He carry. He's yes. getting this situation The second work. combo was, was a super nice start though, so it's not going to be the most. Okay, here we go. Uh, Final vanish. Kamehameha, and he might go for the vanish. Left, yeah. right, let's see. I Does so. so yes. Goes low. Oh! Yeah, got oh. Oof. Trying to get away. Kane with GT Goku, you've got to block all of this. There is one assist available on Hikari's side. Oh, Kane wow. escaped. Kane got two assists as well. Oh! oh! The pickup for Hikari. Going to get the tag in to get the kill. No more GT Goku. There we go. GT Goku sent out of the equation and now came down to these two. It's going to be Blue Vegeta and Tien for the French player. Okay. Oh, oh. sniped again. Yeah, no conversion this time. Yeah. Too hard to get conversion. Whoa. Oh my god, that could have been massive. The oh. 6 end. Gets the opening. Hikari takes the momentum. Kane, you need to get back in there because Hikari is looking kind of ridiculous right now. Oh my goodness. The adaptimentation is happening in real time. Good what a tech! Okay. Oh! Yeah, hard from Brut, hard from Brut. Oh my oh. god, oh my god, what was this? The grabs, okay, there's no more assist there for either player. Oh. On the 5M! All right, that's gonna be that. What a game by Hikari so far. One character left for him to move on to Grand Finals of the World Tour. Kane with the TN. Can Kane make the TN comeback happen? Let's see, we've seen this at Evo from Kane. We've seen it at multiple tournaments, but right now, when the chips are down, oh, it's in oh, front oh. with the jump S. Okay. Might go for the grab. Right. Yeah, safe jump on the way. Backs off. Look at that. I love that. The range that he's attacking from. Yeah. Not really much Kane can do about that. Yeah. There oh! it is! That's it, that's it. Yes, to cement, he's the final combo from Hikari. Doesn't have anything too hard to do right now, except level one into level one. And ladies and gentlemen, Hikari qualifies.
to Grand Finals of the World Tour Finals after being in Grand Finals of EVO. It's been an incredible season for the American player and he's two sets away from performing the hardest double in fighting games. That's right, EVO champ and world champ. Only a select few players for any, any game have ever achieved that. It and is. now Hikari has a chance to reach that small list of players to do so. So let's see it. You've got Wade in front of you, but you have to win two sets against Wade. Yeah. Yep. Wade, on the other hand, only going to need to win the first set. So the big advantage uh, in Wade's side here, but Hikari, the way he's playing now, you can tell he is focused. Yeah. He is locked in. But this is going to be extremely difficult to overcome. So let's see. Yep, it all comes down to these guys. The grand finals after an entire year of competitive Dragon Ball fighters. After seven power events, seven Dragon Balls that were scattered around the world for players for, for the taking. Both of these players have a Dragon Ball in hand. Wade got the Tiger Uppercut one. Hikari got the Evo one. And of course, they are both in grand finals. Wade looking to win after his loss in grand finals last year. Hikari looking to win, but do remember, guys, because Wade is in winners, Hikari needs to win two sets. He needs to win two first to threes to get that win. Wade only needs one. Okay, wow. Let's see how this one unfolds, guys. You can see the paths these players have taken right here. And uh, man, it's been a it's been a bit of a roller coaster yes. day, to be honest. It's man, been. it's been it's been crazy. The group stage was super unpredictable. And we've just had amazing set after amazing set right here in the top eight. And we're going to get one more amazing set on the way. Yeah. So yep. let's see how we do here. Wade stepping up to the uh, to the setup right now. One or two final sets, of course. That's right. Wade is the one winners. We have seen him looking so good. He's been looking so good in winner's final. Absolutely dispatching Kane, putting him out, of course. And he carries the one who takes Kane down in the loser's bracket. That grand finals is getting ready to be played. Kane out at third place. Big shout-outs to Kane, by the way. I feel like we are, uh, you know, didn't say it enough, but massive shout-outs for him. Oh, yeah. You know, one of, one of the best. Third place, one of the very best to uh, uh, play this game. He plays it on and off, but even by playing it on and off, he is third in the world finals. That is a testament of the skill for this player. Listen, man, he's been up, he's been up on the grandest stage. Uh, every grand stage you could ever be on for Dragon Ball Fighters. He's been there, you know, like... Uh, the, the big, big titles have evaded him now and then, but he's still, you know, an extremely accomplished player. One of the best we will ever see in Dragon Ball Fighters. So big shout-outs to Kane um, for all the entertainment um, throughout the years and hopefully so many more. So, Absolutely. We'll uh, definitely see him again on the competition around the world. He plays a lot of games. He enjoys it. But for now, it couldn't be any other way that the final match of this year's World Tour is going to be Let's France. Go versus America, one of the longest running rivalries of Dragon Ball Fighters. It's been years where France and America have been fighting each other for the biggest title at EVO, at the World Tour Finals, at every event around. And it's going to be time for Grand Finals in the crowd. Can we make some noise, please, Let's go! for Wade versus Hikari? Okay, here we go, guys. Dragon Ball Fighters. World Tour 2022, uh, 2023, 2024 comes down to this. And this will be the, the grand finals of an entire season of competition. So yes, sir. let's get into this one. Hikari, your EVO champion versus Wade. Second place at the World Tour last season. Let's see how this one unfolds. The EVO champ versus last year's runner-up of the World Tour finals. Clash of Titans here. Exciting. On the stage of battle hour yep. the players button checking of course they're button doing a button check, check. yes you know eight finals this i am is, not yeah I'm, yeah I'm not risking it <laughs> yes let's go the button checking we take our time we out there shout out to all the people you know joining us of course today whether you're online or offline we are enjoying it. the hell out of today's events it's been extremely fun but we need to come to a close. And that close will be selecting the champion between Hikari and Wade. Evo champ versus World Tour runner-up. Both of these players have been grinding, have been putting so much effort in their craft. And we okay. want to see. Absolutely. It's time, guys. Hikari in the loser side, of course. Wade coming from winners. This is going to be 
All right, Hikari's chance to do the double. Evo and the World Tour champion, but Wade will not be wanting to let that evade him. This World Tour oh, title that he turned down. We got a turn down. Oh, on the let's go. Oh, let's go. Oh, I feel the electricity out there, man. Damn, Wait. that was a Dragon Ball face if I ever saw one. Damn. Yep. Shame we missed that on the camera. That was kind of fire. Let's go. Wade versus Hikari. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for Grand Finals of the Dragon Ball World Tour 2023-2024. At the end of this match, we will crown a new world champion. Who? Between USA's Hikari and Franz Wade. We take it. It is time for the first set of Grand Finals. Let's go, guys. A whole season of work comes down to this. All right. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Wow. Already off to an explosive start. Everybody throwing assists left and right. Yep, we want the early momentum. Of course, he carries losers. Remember, he needs to win two sets against Wade right now. Wade happy to block for now. He's in the corner against the Jiren, but there is no assist. Oh, wait a minute. And there okay. we go. All right. Let's start. We are. Kari going for the Jiren team here. Does, of course, have that double fusion as well as, an, as a backup. Oh, oh, bro, you might be dead. Terrible guard cancel there. You might be dead. He carry it. We know how much damage you end up, bro. Yep. Off the medium with two assists like that. It's going to build so much bar as well. Boom, boom. Just keeps going, bro. Look. Boom. Look. When does it stop? You're dead. You're done, bro. When does it stop, Tarrant? TOD. Easy TOD. Crazy. All right, well, there you go. That's the character down. Do not guard cancel unsafely. Oh no! Oh, wait a minute. Oh, the no. timing, the timing was wrong. It hit weird. Yep, it hit weird. Wade has a chance to do more perfect attacks <laughs> in this game number one. It is time to not Chicago Titato. It is Grand Final. Oh. oh, there we go. The stomp on him. He's gonna get the extension. Oh, he decides to go for Cell. I mean, even, if, I, mean, I, mean I mean, even if Cell can bait the spark, that's a W, right? The Cell should technically be dead. Uh, he <laughs> wants, see, I respect that. He expected the spark. Knowing that uh, the cell was in such low life, yeah, that yeah, yeah. Hikari was there, but Hikari was a layer ahead. I really like his mind games between the players. Yeah, that was nice. I like that. Let's go. Yeah, Hikari is. Oh, 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 oh. Both, both these guys are really thinking man's oh. players, you know. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Love to highlight his mind games going behind. That's the base layer of the game, guys. Okay, There's a lot to brain warfare on this. Oh, oh my god, what an escape! What a perfect escape yeah, that from was, Hikari. That was crazy right there. Hikari really getting out of danger. Saving himself for now. Here we go. Mm, level one coming up. Level three on the way. Yep. Ah. Yep. Yeah. All right, backing off. Oh yeah, Wade's taking no risk right now. He knows that the Lapco 21 is leading. Ooh. Oh. Oh, oh, my. oh, yo, you thought you could punish? No. Nope. Hold this. We got Cell behind. Yes, and he's gonna be able to uh, send Kefla in. Yeah, knockdown time. Oh. Go, oh, goes oh. low. Auto combo into the low. Well, 17's pressure is so relentless. Yeah, 17 is a, is a beast. All right, wait. Oh, Ooh, the instant air nice. Wade was not ready. And that's going to be finally. After over two minutes of gameplay, Tarrant, one character is about to fall. Yeah, that's crazy. These guys are gaming out here, man. Damn, sweat. Let's go. Hikari versus Wade. Oh, Yo. good escape. Good escape, but could not get a conversion after that. Selby, he's getting the super dash, though. Okay, stomp, super dash, re-jump, okay. And of All course, right. yeah, but now you're not dead. No, no, no. Still there, some level three, yes. He wants to potentially bait the spark. Okay, the early spark from Hikari, which would make sense. He might want to save his team's composition. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. What a call out right there on the counter. No counter. Because, like, you, you think about how many block strings Lamco has, right? Yes. So to go for the DR. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. like, stop. For now, he's looking all right on both sides. It's very, very even. He carry with a bit more resources there. He's going to play this triangle jump gaming with that 17. And that 17. No. Oh, great spark, great spark. Because that 17 has been so good on Hikari's side. Got to watch out. Oh, 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 wait a minute. Oh, no conversion. There he goes behind. Wow. That was the same size. Such a weird. Uh, oh, the spin. Can I get more? Damn. Straight to the spark. 
We are absolutely scrambling right now. Wade is forced to block. Good wow. reflect into the speed. And that's amazing for Wade because that combo is going to run so much. Oh, that parking timer away. Wade sending the 17 down into the moon jump. Oh, oh that, was, that was an advanced as hell mix, man. Yeah, Wade is looking ridiculous right now. But Hikari also gets that hit. Here we go. Super clean. Mm. All right, let's see. That's going to be a dead end for 21. Bro, this is still the first game. This is still the first game. This is game. a long match. And this is a long match. This is a drone out match between these two. Wade is down to the cell. He carries. Having the advantage at the end of this game, number one. 77 seconds left. The lucky number on the clock. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. man. My DP. man went for DP. Re jump time. Is he going to get the. Yeah, he's got it. Look at that. Damn, that was so optimal. My god, he carried. That was such an incredible play from him. Gonna get the first game in this grand finals. He carry. Takes a step forward. Remember that he needs to reset the bracket first by winning the first to three and then sending to a final set. Wade taking his time and Inzem is the one to come coaching him. They've been coaching each other from the beginning of the tournament. Let's go. That's right, of course. Both these guys have multiple high level sets played against Hikari, but now, you know. This is where it really counts. Hikari well on his way to reset in the bracket. You know, 1 0 up here. But that was a long game. That was a long game. That was game. a long game. Yeah. That was just match number one. That was also interesting because Wade is known to like drawing out games, right? Like, it's whenever Wade plays, it's that games take a while. And Hikari is just happy to go at his pace. Yep, exactly. And that's, that's a, a display of skill, man, because. Generally speaking, when someone is good at slowing down the game, you might get caught in the hole now. I want to control the pace myself. Uh -huh. Hikari does not care. He will follow the pace and play. That's right. He'll play the game. He'll play the way he wants. Yep. All right. 1-0 for Hikari. All right. Let's see. And wait. Representing Team Easy Dream in France. Shout out to the guys, of course, for sponsoring him. He is looking to get the performance of his lifetime for now. Hikari made an early statement, but nothing's played just yet. It's been a very back and forth game, number one, and that's what we can expect for the entire set, Tarrant. Uh, yep. I, I mean, I, I wouldn't be surprised if these guys ran down the clock every game. Yeah. Ready? All right. Ready? Fine. Let's go. Hikari versus Wade. First opening goes to Wade's Kefla. Yeah, okay. Good start right here. Yes, we need to that corner. Oh, there oh. it is this time, though. Kari yeah. not put off from trying that counter. And I like that. He's got punished for it earlier, but he's not going to stop. Yeah, it's still one of your tools. You, you, you can't, you know, let your opponent stop you from using your character's tools. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Straight to Spark. He does not want to deal with that mix. Yeah, both players really like using that Spark early. You yeah. know, and then going back to neutral. Oh, play. oh my there goodness. Go. Yo, vanish and then call in that assist. Yep. Yeah, and then get the conversion and Wade's gonna put him into the corner. He's gonna go for the mix, good block, 6 wow. good block, 6 edge, good block again. He carries happy to block in the corner, Damn. trying to dash it. It's Wade's wow. time and the reflex got hit by the 2M right after. M start as well, this is gonna be some good damage. Mid screen all the way to the other corner, look at that. Gohan up to level 1 here. Oh, oh man. Dragon Rush, that's going to be a huge amount of damage and he's got 17 to come in of course. Done. Alright, yep. Kefla's finished. He carry once again, takes the lead, but this time much faster than the first game. It's only been about a minute since we started this game. It took over two minutes for Carter to fall earlier. Oh my goodness, DP. Hikari once again, look at this, slowing down the pace. Exactly how he wants. Wow, evades the beam. That was interesting as hell. Movement option from uh, Hikari. Oh, nice! Nah, the fadeaway. Yep, the 2S. Yep. Oh! Oh, unlucky moment, but at least he blocked. Yes. <laughs> Yo, sell. Investment. It's always his turn. And you know what, Tarant? He's got bars, so you know what? The mix is coming. Yeah, there we go. go. And he's about to get that lab coat assist back, which means, you know what? You're literally guessing. Oh! <laughs> wow, he believed in the nice. DP! Ooh, how much damage are you gonna get for this? Oh wait, he's dead, right? Yeah, he's oh done. Oh my god. That's so optimal. So much damage. That was from the HDP, guys. Yeah, that crazy. was about, what, 6.5 thousand damage of the HDP. He Ooh. carries team, his unlock and weights. Struggling right now. Labco 21 only. I know I've seen him doing literally the most legendary comeback. 
of this entire game oh my with that Diva Flap go that yeah, UFA right. last year. <laughs> but can he do it again? Alright, level one coming up here. Just to take some extra damage off way. And when they the opponent when you don't have spot, oh, oh my goodness. Pro movement. Yeah, that was clean. That man was moving. Okay, this is this is dead. Yes. Level one into three. Yeah. Alright. Uses the bar. Jiren's down. Wade keeps the hopes alive, and that's an important one, right? Because there is a world of difference between 1-1 one, one and 2-0. Let's go, Wade. Looking to get some momentum. But he carries 17, I feel like, has been the strongest tool yeah, for him yeah. today. He's been so good with that character, whether yes. it be his mix, his movement options, his defense, everything about it. This has been so optimal. All right, this is going to be huge. I don't think that's dead, that's a pixel. Okay. Good block. Always struggling in the corner, so you need to block absolutely everything. No more hits. Oh, attempt to spin. Oh! Yeah, Wade is looking for creative solutions there, but... Ah, oh, need to do so much. Oh. Good blocks. Good blocks. Hikari is dancing. Oh. Hikari is dancing. Oh Wade's defense remains solid. Yeah. Wade Excellent. wants to stay alive in this game number two, but... Oh, oh. there we go! Gets his opening. Stop! I mean, this is going to be an extremely difficult comeback. You could breathe on 21 right now when she's dead. Okay. ID. Oh! Okay, okay. Well, that's Andrew 17. He's done. There you go. Not even going to go for anything harder. Going down straight to level 3. All right, wait. Sending all the way down to the final character, but no bar on Wayside. There is a bar on Hikari's side. Yeah, Wade's life right. is so low, can he make it happen? I don't know, it's going to be hard to decide, I, I don't know. Like, we've seen Wade in this situation, like who could forget, like you said, that legendary lab coat comeback. Yes! But, damn, I don't know. Oh, oh never the mind! Snipe, the snipe from Hikari, killing Wade's hopes Woo. there. In the egg, no hopes for Wade. Hikari, dominant, confident, the EVO champ is on a mission, and he's already up to you. In his first set. Oh yeah, he is. He is looking good to reset that bracket. He just needs one more game. Yes. And let's see if he can make it happen. All right. Wade right here, talking to Inzem. They are taking a moment, of course. It's always good, you know, after a loss, take a moment, reconsider, rethink about your game, your approach. What's annoying, what should we do? against Hikari, because Wade has been looking amazing today, right? Like, I feel like he hasn't yeah. really been, uh, like, not challenged, but he hasn't really had a game where he was in full doubt. That is the first, and he needs to overcome this. Because that is what makes a champion. That's right. You know, how many times has Wade been in this situation, bro? Yeah. He's always, always found a way through. Oh, no. Janky hit confirm there on that combo. Causing the drop. That's a shame. Oh man, that cell assist paying off. Okay. Wait, is Jiren dead? Jiren's dead, bro. Yeah, three bars, one assist. Wait, oh, no. whoa, 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 whoa. No, no. Bro, when? literally. Yep. You had lab coat too. Lucky moment for Hikari gets the empty jump up on Wade's side. Wade looking to get the momentum, the Kifla. Putting in work. I don't go high in the corner. Are we going for any level three? Okay. Yeah, yes. we'll be. Hikari might consider sparking. Honestly, his defensive decisions have been so good. He hasn't really relied on Spark too much. He's just been so good at picking his options. Oh, oh nice conversion wow. with Selby as well. And with this, that's the second chance of killing the Jiren. And that should be enough this time. Yeah, make it count. There we go. There we go. Spania! Like this character, man, this has been the one that's really been pulling his weight. Hikari versus Wade. Wade is the one he cannot commit any more mistake in this winner set. Oh. The self movement is looking kind of nice, I can't lie, but oh. there we go! Dashin 5L. Okay, and he goes for a simple cell combo as well. He doesn't even want to risk it. He just goes for, yep, set it up. And this is where... And if, guess what? 17 does not have a DP. Yep. You're going to have to guess. Oh, <laughs> the stare down. Yeah. Well, I like, press a button. I dare you. I double dare you. I like that. No escape. Oh. Nice reflect there. Get away from me. Yeah, Wade is playing absolutely clinical right now. Oh, oh. Ooh. And the assist. There you Ooh. go. 
there we go. Rejump time. Can he get enough to heal him? Yeah, oh, he's yeah. gonna get oh, some. Of he's gonna get some. Doesn't even that. Yeah, he's gonna need it. He's gonna need the bomb. Wade looking like a different beast right now. Absolutely. He carries down to Adol Gohan. He's looking outstanding, honestly. One part of one. Nice. Yeah, there we go. We get level one. Oh! oh. Wait, down tech can try something. Yeah. Some kind of movement option. But a drop! drop yet. No loose. Oh, oh. rolling crush. Okay. There you go. Get some bonus damage right there. And yeah. now the spark, it has to be there for Hikari, right? Yeah. You have to. You're yeah. going to have to do it. Oh, well, he's not. I mean, if you don't do, do it, it yeah. look, look what can happen to you, bro. Wanted to keep it for a potential. Get out of jail free card, but it's not going to happen. Wade yeah. saves the first match point, the first reset point in dominant fashion. Has he broken Hikari's defense? Yeah, I mean, I, I get it, like, keeping it for a Gagel free, but sometimes I also think that it's worth just popping the spark in neutral, you know? Yeah, just for the sake of using it, I, yeah. I, I agree. Depends on the player approach, obviously. And this time, it's game number four right now. Can Wade make it 2-2? The first opening goes to Hikari. Okay, here we go. And down. Here we go. 2L. Oh, here comes Cell. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Oh, all right. Realizing the danger of uh, end stop from Jiren. <laughs> yep. And he's going to uh, catch that Cell slip in with the 5S full screen. He carried. Successfully navigated around that spot. No more spot on Wade's side. Yep, this is huge. Oh, Damn. Ho, ho. masking the dragon rush with that barrier startup. That's so clean. The misdirection. Oh, oh. Adol Gohan fouled up as well. Yeah. He carry as one foot in that grand bracket, grand final reset. All right. Oh. Damn. All right. There we go. The X legs. Great start for Hikari. Look at this, man. Kind of cooking, I can't lie. Yep. Damn! Oh! Two of them! Oh! Yeah, get that bonus damage. Yep, and he goes for level three. He's got access to the double dash right now. Wade is on lap code 21. Seven bars, sure, but three cart. Oh my god, yes, Mark. Yes, Mark, there we go. Okay. There we go. It's going to build that's, the bar. That's going to do it. Build all the bar in the wall. You're dead. Yes, to get. That Android 17, no, not the right combo, Terrence. Oh, wait, no. Not the right combo. I mean, to be honest. Uh, All right, we saved the perfect at least. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we take those. We don't do that in Grand Finals, brother. But regardless, with this, Hikari takes a dominant 3-1 in the first set of that Grand Finals. We've got a Grand Finals reset. And we are going to the final set of the day. Hikari versus Wade. Three games to win to become the Dragon Ball Fighters world champion. And Wade is in full doubt moment. It is time for the pep talk for Inzem. Yeah, man, it's time to really rethink that strategy. I mean, uh, it looks like, it looks like uh, Hikari has really come prepared for that team specifically. And it's working out in a huge way. Yep. This Jiren 17 Gohan is really giving Wade some trouble. I don't know, like, Wade has a ton of other characters, but at this stage, I don't know if it's worth trying them. It's it's very risky. Yeah. He's put all his, his all into that Kefla Cell Labcoat team. That team is solid. The team works. It's He's just getting outplayed. It's that simple. He's getting outplayed. Listen, Hikari has one thing. Like, Hikari is a stone face. No matter what happens, nothing affects him. Mm. If he's, you know, ahead, like, he's not going to lose by being ahead and by wasting it. He's not going to be scared because he's behind. He's stone face. Unaffected. Unaffected. It's, Let's it's, go. It's very, very tough. It, I, I agree. Like, Hikari, one of the best poker faces in the business. The, this guy will, will... He's just gonna... Up on the stage, he's just gonna play his game. But Wade as well. You know, like, he has that quality also. You know? Very hard to shake this man. All right. All right. All right. Wade's cool. having a moment to think Hikari. Wants a drink, real quick. Yeah, quick breather. Quick breather, quick breather, guys, before the final set. I mean, this Remember is, that yeah. this is for the title of World Champion. The stakes have never been higher. That's it. Yep. Very serious time right now, and guys. It looks this like, is it. Tarrant, it looks like we're getting the second team from Wade. Oh, it is the second and team. that team is scary as hell. Because that team, I actually like that team, because that team prevents you from playing. 
Yeah, hit A. Right, right, right. Hit A stops you from playing. Android 18 stops you from playing and sell plays. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty much sell. the strategy. Yeah. <laughs> sell is like, yeah, I'll play and then my boys, my friend on the side, they will stop you from playing. That's it. Let's go. But you, you, bro, like a team switch. I haven't seen Wade play this team for that for any other stage of the tournament. Yep. Yep. Not so uh, let's see. I mean, you could try it for one game, see how you do. There's, there's always that option as well. Yes. You're not locked in. Yep. Um, but yeah, I agree. Like, this is this is not a bad strategy actually because a character like Hit, um, and you know, arguably even 18, and yep. maybe even Cell, they don't really care how prepared you are. Yes. <laughs> like yes. you can you can put all the preparation time in the world. Hit will do hit things. Yeah. And then okay, cool. <laughs> you you got smoked. Um, but we're gonna find out how uh, how Hikari's gonna deal with that in just a moment, guys. We're coming. Up, he's yeah. coming back up to the stage now. So yeah, we're gonna get our final set of the season, and it's been yes, a sir. very very exciting season of Dragon Ball Fighters. I love this it. this patch right now. I feel is one of the best patches. It's got so much team variety. Um, you see just so many different uh, compositions. Um, I've loved it. Like we've had a full top eight yeah. with. So many characters that's just I love a breath it of fresh air in a game that, like, it feels like Dragon Ball throughout its lifetime. It's always been very close on good balance, but there are always like two characters ruining it. Not <laughs> this time. You know what I mean? Like, it's always yeah. been like a lot of characters are good, but these two, <laughs> they're a bit too good. Yeah. Not this time. That's right. That's Not right. this time. It is time. I see the hit was on screen, and Obi Assassin quickly came to a, uh, touch a few words to Wade. It is time, guys, for the final set. Can we make some noise for Hikari versus Wade? A first to three to crown a world champion at Battle Hour here. Wade going for the second team. And just so you know, I heard Kane. I was trying to listen to what Kane was uh, yelling at Wade. And the only thing he said was, if you want to try another team, it's now or never. Yeah, you either it. try it now or you, you lock on the same team. All right. Yeah, you lock on the same team. It is time. It's shit grand finals. It's a final first to three between Wade and Hikari. Hikari looks mighty confident right now. Wade forced to block. Attempting the mix, but that's gonna whiff. Oh, Six M is blocked. Did not work out there. Good defense on display. Okay, now we're back in this neutral, and we saw it in the first game of the first set. These guys are willing to run the clock, but the counter pays, pays off. And now that's the assist, allowing a full combo for Hikari. Look at the damage. Because you tried to press buttons, bro. Yes, sir, he's gonna try and oh. to put up pressure. Oh! oh! Where are you going? The Rotag is caught. Hit Cell got... escaped, but Hit is getting punched up right there. Yeah, and support. we get Cell back. Yeah, give me your blue light. Give me your blue light, brother. Give go. me your blue light. I still got snap mix. Yeah. This is 2019. Meaty Super Dash, of course, will catch you. No perfect attack there. Yeah, there we go. Knockdown time. Wasting the spark for Wade. Mm. And getting a ton of damage to boot as well. Jiren with the level 3. Okay. Curry and full control. Damn. Oh, okay. Yeah, 2S. I, like that. I like that. The 2S works to close the distance. And wait, gonna go straight for level 3 to get the mix yet. That's the strength. With Android 18 and he hits, can lead to a left or right. He carry are you sparking? Oh! Oh, oh my goodness, that was kind of nasty. Yeah. All right, wait, could, I, he, could he be back? I do love the jump S because he currently likes to counter on Wake Up. Yeah, yeah, I see that, I see that. But he dropped the combo, unfortunately, yep. and now look at this. Kari gonna take advantage. All right, 17. This time it's the brotherly fight right now. Oh. And 17 is punching his sister up. Yeah, man, like 17, bro. Man, it's, it's his turn on the ah. Xbox, okay? <laughs> Let's go. 17 putting the pressure. Wade's happy to block. The 18 blocking. The reflex. Oh. Okay, he's been blocking for half oh. an hour and eventually you need to get opened up. Hikari is not giving up. He's gonna keep the pressure on. Wade comes in with the hit. And we are dancing now, but again, the movement from Hikari is just superior. He is straight up better right now, Tyrant. Yeah, he's looking, oh, oh my goodness. He is looking far superior right now. Hikari gonna get that kill away after this game. Will he consider the team switch? Because you know in Wade's head right now, the, the vision, that horrible nightmare of second place last oh season, it's got to be haunting him. Now he's going to be looming, and that would be the worst thing, because you start to lose. You start to lose it, you're just thinking about, my god, I got, I got second last year, I can't do it again, man. Yeah. It can either power you up, oh, or nice. make you feel horrible. Absolutely. 
So Ikari is going to be able to get this kill. Yeah, there you go. First game, and now... Okay, so the pendulum is swinging in Hikari's side. It is, momentum is in his court right now. All right. Wade needs to do something about this now. Hikari is cool as ice, man. And you can see Wade's doubt on his face. You can see the body language. You can see he's currently just looking for what to do. He's back to character select screen. And he's going to go back to the, pro to the first team with a Kefla. I think that was just the experiment to see how the hit and 18 would fare, but they did not get to do much. Wade is looking for the best he can do right now as Hikari is looking incredibly solid. An absolute wall that needs to be crumbled, but how do you break that wall? Yeah, how do you how do you stop this? Like, Hikari honestly, stands strong. It's looking super one-sided. Yeah. Like Hikari, everything is just going his way. He's optimizing every hit. This is this is the best Hikari we've seen all tournament, and it comes out here in the grand finals. Oh, rightfully so. <laughs> Okay. Damn, okay. okay, first opening goes for Waze. The Kefla is putting some pressure. He got quite a few good opponents with Kefla as well. Now he needs to keep that momentum. Goes straight for the Hell Zone mix. I like that. He hasn't done it yet on this test. Oh, that was a bad Dragon Rush. What happened there? Too early. Yeah. Hikari, the fact that Hikari was ready to take that though, yeah. that says it all. Yeah. All right, and it's Aruguan coming in. He is going to get the power up. But Cell coming in. Okay, there we go. Kamehameha, the re-jump of course. He got his son, he grew up as well. That's the actually the, blue, the mini set he grew up uh, as well. Yeah. <laughs> Along with that old Gohan. So junior. <laughs> this is so senior. Huh? I am said senior now. Yeah. <laughs> Seven years later. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Yeah, the assist there, that's done. And the dragon rush after this. Like Check this out. Boom. Oh, didn't need it. Yep. Nice. Okay. Alright. Wade is Wade showing signs of life. Yes. And he needs it. He needs to feel confident. He needs to feel like he can control this set at times. Because that 17 has been so incredibly annoying to deal with. Okay. Oh. Where do you take? Defense. Wade, is it your turn? Good nice tech after the double overhead. There we go. Power Blitz out there. Tries to chase. Oh, oh he gets the hammer for day. And that, oh. Look at this. Look at how much meter he's about to build. Oh, da -da -da. oh wait. Oh. Oh, okay. oh, he gets the cell. The cell is dead. Damn. The cell is dead off screen. Off screen. Wow. Didn't need to play. And wait, not even going for any offense there. He oh, was wait. trying to get anything. Oh, wait. Oh, nice. oh wait a minute. All right. Not done yet. Wait, he's got some fight in him right now. Okay, let's see. Level uh. three on the way. All right, this is uh, dangerous right now for Hikari. Could be on the verge of losing Jiren. Oh, it's an end start as yeah, well. Yeah, so yeah. there we go. Yeah. He tried to uh, reflect multiple times. That was not enough. And wait, finally, finally gets some kind of control. But once again, that 17, the 17 is the riddle to solve. Yeah. The 17 is the thing that has not been solved just yet. Yeah, this pesky character, bro. The MVP, Android 17. It's been super annoying. Oh, that's done. Level three. You're oh, oh god. my gosh! The damage just keeps on going. Okay, oh, right. here we go. Kefla. The final line of defense for Wade here. If he doesn't want Hikari to go 2-0. Oh, he threw it out there. But wait, power blitz. Yeah, the power blitz gonna hit. Yes, indeed. Oh, Get wait, super wait. All right, Wade. Gonna be able to put that 17 in the corner. Straight to level three. The level three. Putting the mix on. Is Hikari gonna press any button on Wake Up? Is he gonna go for a reflex? Is he gonna try to block? There is no two touch anyway right now, so Hikari can't afford to block right now. He's in the corner. Oh. Six H is blocked. Oh. oh! Oh, what a tech! Look at this now. Wade playing the neutral of his life. Does not want to get caught right now. Hikari. Oh man. This is so tense. You can see the pressure oh. within this you. No risk taken. No risk taken. Oh, what a block. Oh. We block, we block, we block. We block for now. Triangle jumps. Okay. Spider-Man Gaming. There. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Auto combo. <laughs> oh! He takes. Bright shot oh, on my chest. No, no conversion. Wade is still alive. Wade is looking for that one opening. But how do you escape? How do you escape that door? Oh, how out. do you escape that 17? He carry relentless. Oh, he's out. Okay, tries the Lariat. Oh my goodness. This auto combo. He do be swinging. Man. All right. Oh, wait. Ow. Oh. Oh, the reply. 
Jordan, Jordan confirms! And there we go, that's gonna do it! Yes, that's the finish there, it's level three! The incredible! There it is, okay. The incredible clutch! He has yet to be buried! This Woo! is the country where everyone drives automatic, yet this guy is built of clutch! Man alike! Woo! 2 0 lead now. Wait. You've got to imagine, the flashbacks from last season are there for him right now. Anime moment. <laughs> it is do or die. All right, do or die indeed. It is match point for Hikari, only one, only one match left. And he's off to a great start as well. Oh, wait, drop. Oh, oh my Zell's God. got caught on the way in. Even when he drops, it still works in his favor. Yes. He is the protagonist today. It's he is the main character. Everything is going his way, bro. And this time, Wake Sparks he doesn't want to go down like that. Oh, the spark as well from Hikari. Yeah, I like that. I like that. That was difficult to mix to block, so just wanted to go for the spark there. Oh, oh, another opening. Dead Tarrant that is already going to be a dead cell. Hikari is already taking an option early to take the cell out. Wait, you need to find a way to bring it back because, man, Hikari is an absolute brick wall right now. Yeah, look at this. Level one, it's a level one. Okay, he gets a level up on Gohan as well, and here we go. Okay, he had enough bar, he could just opt to do whatever he wanted. Bringing Jiren in. Oh my god, almost an amazing pickup from the carry there. And look at this, the reflect. He's forced to block. Wade is waiting with the Kefla right now. Wade, what do you got for us? Do you still have some fight in oh, you? Oh no! He got hit by the IED and now look at this. It's gonna be a ton of damage. Oh actually, I think Kefla's done. Oh never no, mind, no, he didn't want he didn't want to extend too much. Like, wanted to keep it simple and keep the mix. There's no Gajal free card, there's no spark. Oh! Oh, you know what? Revert to Green Square Gaming. Yo. Max that 2H. It's how light works. And it does. All right. Level 3 time. Wait. If you want to mount some offense, it is now or never, my man. Here we go. Good block on the overhead. All right. You have to defend. Oh, the grab. Yes. Okay, this is a full combo and okay. it should be a dead character. Okay, wait. He's trying to slowly but surely bring it back. He's gonna have the three bars and yes, go straight to level three. He wants to keep that lap with 21 on point there. Yeah. It's a 2v2. Wade is on the back foot. Wade is looking to find find the fight in him. Yeah. Fight back! Yeah, it's time, man. You, you, you can't go down like this. Not two years in a row. Okay, Hikari gets the hit though. 5L. And on Gohan. Yeah! Alright, there it is. The lightning legs combos. Bring him down. Go. Levels maybe? No. Level three. He wants the mix. Yep. The Lil he bro. wants the mix. Lil Bro Kamehameha. Oh, oh that was cheap! <laughs> Tyrant! Oh, we was... are getting very close to the end. Wade it... has to perform an absolute miracle with an absolutely bleeding Kevlar this to bring bad. it back. It's bad for Wade right now. It is very bad for him right now. Hikari on the verge of the two peak. Hey, no, oh, oh okay. my goodness. Every single action, every single button press from Wade now is a risk of death, Tarrant. Okay. Every single decision. Wait a minute. Oh. He carries Delays. Play. He carries playing with him. What? He carries playing with him. Okay, that yes. was an important guard cancel banish. And the delayed as well to, to not be caught by the barrier. Yeah. Really smart from Wade. But man, how do you bring this back? Oh! Oh, oh, he's getting, oh, 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 oh my god, oh, oh, that could have been huge. Oh, 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 oh. That could have been huge, yeah. Tyrant. Wait a minute. Wait. Could be turning on the sweat mode right now. Oh. Oh, oh. Got to be so careful right here. Oh my goodness, that 17 assist is down. Hikari finds the hit. Wait a minute, is it enough? Is it enough? That's going to do it, Hikari. Your Evo champ is also the Dragon Ball Fighters world champion what an incredible play wow what an incredible performance what an incredible day for hikari he was the main character of the day put your shoes back on you are done he's playing like he's at home <laughs> nothing affects him tarrant he's on the biggest of stages and he's big chilling and he's playing at a level that no one could break today what an incredible solid play from the american player
completing the double, the hardest double in the fighting game world, EVO and World Championship. There you go. The pop-off man, I tell you what, after an entire season, uh, he was the first qualified player by winning Evolution, and he is the last person to win a match in this World Tour. The last one to take the trophy for uh, the current season of the game. But there you go. He's going to take it. Hikari. And he was looking super strong going into this. A little bit shaky, actually, in the group stage. That's but then turned yeah. things around yeah. completely. Yeah. And you can see it right there, taking it 3-1 um, after the reset. Man, that was a performance of a lifetime, honestly. Absolutely. When, when you realize that his first match today was a loss, a very hard loss to Kane, a 2-0 where he didn't get to play. Yeah. The, the way he just came back was absolutely insane. That's right. That's he came right. to all of losers. Look at this. Luca, wow. Zane, Inzem, Kane, and then Wade. That run was an absolutely difficult as hell run. Yeah. He had to run through all world-class players to go all the way to this grand finals, reset the bracket against Wade, and finish it with a clean 3-0. Today, he was the protagonist. Tyrus. That's right. It was a huge performance. 3-1 and then a 3-0. And unfortunately, uh, for the French fans here in attendance, <laughs> there's not many of them. Mais non. Yeah. Mais non. <laughs> Mais non. Sometimes it's mais oui. Sometimes it's mais non. Yeah. It'd be like that sometimes. There you have it, guys. You know, um, but uh, of course, commiserations to Wade and big GG's for, you know, a second place, a well-deserved second place two years in a row. You know, we will see this guy around, you know, like no matter what competition and stuff, Wade yeah. is always a very competitive guy. He's fine-tuning his craft. Of course, that is gonna hurt for a while, you know. Like just thinking, damn, I, I really, I really made it to run for us twice and lost. But at the end of the day, you also was in the top two best Bro, players in the world two years in a row. You consistently one of the best players in the world. Um, but with that, I think uh, our time here for this season of Dragon Ball Fighters is is finished. Time to in Damascus. You know, we love this game and. Uh, yeah, man, may Dragon Ball Fighters keep living on. And, We're uh, always around, man. Always, Our channels, always. these channels. You know it, guys. You want to play Dragon Ball? Join us. Fun as hell game. But let's throw it to Logan on the stage to give the champion his well-deserved trophy. Logan, take it away. Thank you so very much, brother. What an incredible World Tour Finals. It has been 12 players that all showed out and put on a fantastic show. That's right. Make some noise for all of the players, please. Because right about now, Right about now, it is time to award our medals and trophies. Of course, 12 players entered. So in ninth place, please, can we welcome onto the stage, Yasha. Also in ninth place, please make some noise for Garlic Bread! Yes, let's hear it. Can we please make some noise for OB Assassin? Okay. And your last remaining ninth place finish a legendary bread! Let's hear it! Your top eight finishers put on a fantastic show in the elimination bracket. So let's welcome onto stage in seventh place, Ikuan! Yes! Also finishing in seventh, please make some noise for Luca! Let's hear it! That's right. 
First of our two fifth place finished fighters. Please make some noise for Casca. Congratulations. And also finishing in fifth place. Let's hear it for Zane. Whoop, whoop. Let's make some noise. In fourth place. A player that many were expecting to be part of this finals anyway. A fantastic performance, winning the last chance qualifier yesterday and taking their place in this bracket. Let's make some noise for Inzem! Let's hear it! Our remaining top three players will all be taking their place on the stage. So let's please make some noise. From France, Kane! In second place, let's make some noise for a valiant effort, Wade! And your Dragon Ball Fighters World Tour Finals 2023-2024 champion. Let's hear it. The champ champ, Hikari. Yeah, that's right, let's make some noise, your top three placed fighters today. And finally, and most importantly, as Flo carefully carries the trophy, let's make some noise one more time for your champion, Hikari! Congratulations to all 12 players representing Dragon Ball Fighters and the community this season and putting on an unbelievable show. Hikari, a fantastic performance to take the title, EVO and the World Finals back to back. Thank you so much for joining us. We have one more thing to take care of. Let's make some noise, please, for the man responsible, Flo! Thank you, everyone. Um, first of all, I'd like to say thank you to all the players that have invested time and resources into competing this year on Dragon Ball Fighters. It's been a pleasure. And secondly, I have a message, but it's not directly me. Uh, there's someone very special that has a video for you. So let it roll. Hello, everyone. Dragon Ball Fighters producer, 2023年8月より、えー、始まりましたドラゴンボールファイターズワールドツアー202324ですが本日のファイナルで優勝者が決定し、えー、ツアーが終了となります最後まで熱い戦いを繰り広げていただいた選手の皆様、えー、また、えー、選手の皆様に、えー、熱い声援を会場や配信から送っていただいた観客の皆様1年間ドラゴンボールファイターズを盛り上げていただき本当にありがとうございましたまた、えー、昨年12月に、えー、行わせていただきましたロールバックネットコードの、えー、パブリックベータテストにおいて、えー、非常に多くの皆様にご参加いただき本当にありがとうございました開催期間中では、えー、オ,ンラインに、えー、オンラインによる、えー、コミュニティの皆様のオンライン大会なども、えー、繰り広げていただいている姿も多く見受けられチーム一同、えー、非常に感謝しておりますありがとうございましたそして、えー、大変長らくお待たせいたしましたロールバックネットコードの本日層並びにプレイステーション 
Xbox シリーズ X 版のリリースにおいてただいま最終調整の方を行っておりますリリースの時期ですが調整が終わり次第公式サイトや SNS などでご連絡差し上げますので今しばらくお待ちいただけますと幸いですドラゴンボールファイターズチーム一同これからも皆様により楽しんでいただけますよう努めてまいりますので引き続きよろしくお願いいたしますそう、I think you all wanted a date, but I got some information, and you really, really do not have very much to wait for. So be confident, it's gonna be there very, very soon, and I think sooner than you all think. So thank you for that, and thank you for being patient with us. You take good care, everyone! Cheers!